Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thank you so much for joining up early. Um, obviously, I got surprised with this new DayZ update. So give me a few minutes to get everything set up, and we're going to check out uh, the 1.13 experimental patch. See you guys in a few. All right, dudes, I think we're just about ready to get started for the day. Um, I'm trying to pull up the patch notes for this new update. And obviously we got, um, it's just a little roadmap from the devs of the direction they're going with this new patch. But I'm actually really excited to get in here and check out the new stuff. We got like new zombies, we got a new gun. Uh, we're going to be playing on Chinara, so it's all going to feel kind of new, even though it's the oldest map. Um, but guys, before we get into it, thank you so much for coming. We got Don Crispin, uh, Gorf Option. It's always good seeing you, dude. Um, looking forward to bumping into the servers one of these days. Uh, we got Flysome, Overskilled, um, Exla as well. 
Yeah, exactly, Pliny. Let's go experiment. <laughs> so we're going to be playing probably um, the experimental branch all day today. I feel like I made a mistake in the past by saying, um, you know, let's jump in, do a little bit of testing, and then go back to normal Daisy. I think we really got to dedicate some full streams to just nothing but experimental testing, um, you know, to give proper feedback to the devs for these new updates. Because, you know, a lot of people are kind of saying, or a lot of people, people kind of thought that the last patch could have been avoided with some of the crazy armor and damage changes. Um, if more people would have just tested and provided feedback. So I feel like all of us are in a good position to, you know, fill up these test servers, try to play some normal Daisy, and, uh, you know, just feel everything out, provide the feedback if something feels good or bad. Um, but yeah, before I start listing off all the cool new stuff, let me get through you guys. We got a D show, uh, Wordo, Rybang, Sensor coming in. We had a couple of messages as well. Um, uh, Juice, we just started the stream five seconds before you came in, dude. Thanks for coming in early. Uh, we got Evie as well, uh, DNA, Bad Brains, uh, Pizza Pete. Thanks for coming in. We got RO7 and Toodaloo. Thanks for all the gift for the uh, resubs, dudes. Um, I'm already getting blinded by gifted subs on the side of my screen, so I apologize for that. Uh, dude, thank you so much for all the support lately. Evie's sending out 10 gifted subs to you guys. Uh, check and see if you're getting hooked up with all the support or all the uh, the gifted emotes. We got Dicko as well with the bit says, uh, this is a cool first time I have caught the, or, uh, caught the start of a smoke stream. I'm usually asleep. Oh, nice, dude. Well, it's only 5.30 p.m. for me, so I should be on for hours, man. I'll be on all day, probably all day and all night. Um, getting ready to see this new update, dude, Pirates. I'm excited, man. It's not going to be a ton of new stuff, but I think the main or the problem was like the zombies and the damage system for some people. Um, so we got a couple of new tweaks that are probably going to, you know, change the combat a bit or just change... You know, just quality of life stuff that's constantly affecting you every turn you take, you know, when you're dealing with zombies. Um, I don't think the new gun is going to be, like, insanely good. I think it's more of, like, a starter assault rifle since it has burst fire. Um, but I don't really know until I get it in my hands. Um, played on day one Esker today. Holy shit, it's hard. Yeah, dude, I like Esker, but, man, it's such a condensed experience with a very um, limited flow. Like, pretty much most of your paths are going to be the same. I really enjoy the map. But I almost think that I should take a break from it sometime soon and just let them develop it more. Because, um, you know, it is kind of like... I don't know. I guess I could enjoy being in the big city all day, every day. But it lacks something. It lacks a level of difficulty that I think I got accustomed to with Namalsk and even Chinaris. Um, if like a balanced loot table on Chinaris, you know. But it'll be nice to play. That's the other thing. We're going to be playing Chinaris today. So we'll get a little taste of the good old days. Um... I'm always going to say that Esker is, is awesome and has a very special feel to it, but it's much more like simplified, condensed, deathmatchy. It's not true Daisy, if you ask me. Um, but, you know, it, it'll be good to bounce around because the only reason I'm saying that is because I've been playing so much of one map. You know, it, it, you got to keep things fresh by bouncing around, obviously. Um, and let's give the Esker guys some more time to update their map, obviously. But yo, Stansfield, thanks for the four months at Stansfield DEA. God, what is that from? That's such a familiar name. Um, yo, Run, thanks for the four months. We got, is it Lit? Litwees, thanks for the five gifted subs, dude. We got Resin, uh, Style, Polis, Exla, and Egar all getting hooked up with the gifted emotes. Thank you very much, Lit, or Lilt. Um, Aussie Panda, his voice is best two months ever. I've been off work with an injury, and your streams and VODs have kept me entertained. Thanks for the content. Oh, dude, I'm glad I can help you heal up. Or distract you while you're healing up, dude. That's awesome. Um... Yeah, I hope it, I hope you get fixed up soon, dude. We got Creepy Joe with the, the Tier 2 11 months. One of the best around here, inspiring a growing community of amazing streamers and players. Uh, keep up the great work. P.S. Great mods and admins. Aw, oh, thanks for crediting the mods and the admins, dude. And uh, thanks for being an awesome part of the community. Thanks for being a big freaking supporter, dude. That Tier 2 is no joke. Um, we got, uh, and thanks for saying that, man. That's, that's fucking awesome. You know, I try not to think about it too much because it hits me, but it's so cool to see all the up and coming um you know daisy streamers and it's cool that some people think this is like a little you know daisy renaissance 2.0 or something you know because there are a lot of people checking out daisy and filling up the servers um dude infinite zero thanks for that 39 months we got mint berry juice thanks for that tier 2 11 month sub we got nils with the gifts we're about to get into the patch notes here dudes um snowflake thanks for the five we got uncle buck thanks for all the bits uh i'm glad that you like the music dude we got Dude, is it X Hoarder as well with the gifted subs? We got Toxic, um, Nardo, Rel, Dark, and Snickle. All getting the emotes thanks to X Hoarder. Appreciate it, dude. Uh, there should be more puzzles like in the malls with you. All right, well, there is a little spoiler that I'm not going to mention. 
that a few people figured out about this experimental update. They looked into like the code or they looked at behind the scenes. I'm sure it's going to come up later. And it, and it seems like the devs might be thinking of a little extra something, something, you know, and they might have been inspired by Namal. So I don't know what it is yet, but uh, maybe we'll be able to check it out while we're playing experimental today. Maybe something random that might just pop up. Um, but yeah, we got Strato. What's up, dude? Uh, yeah, we do have the new command. If you do exclamation point update, it should give you the patch notes. Um, yeah, food. I set one up before the stream for just exclamation point update. I guess either way, whether it's a uh, daisy patch command or the update command, uh, they'll both take you to the same spot. But we do have two different links. One just has a list of all the new stuff. And then the other one is kind of like a message from the developers. So I'm not sure which one of those we want to include in like the main command. <clears throat> um, patch notes are looking juicy. All right, well, let me bust it open. Let's go through the message from the devs first. All right, so 1.13 experimental release. Uh, greeting survivors, we're happy to announce the new update. And a lot of us didn't think it was coming so soon. I remember last stream, I was like, man, I wish they would just pump out a new up, a new little update to fix like the armor and the damage. And then I wake up today and we got the new update on the way. Um, I don't really know if it messed with the armor much, but let's see. Big part of this game update has to do with further iteration on the infected. Um, we're going to sum stuff up below. Uh, a stealth approach is now more viable because of increased noise dampening, which is lesser ability of infected to hear the noise through obstacles, um, and lower the noise from a player's crouch sprint. So now we're going to be able to actually like crouch, sneak around, and execute zombies. A lot of people were saying that they were way too aware and just turning on you way too quick. Um, infected are now attracted by smoke grenades, flare guns, fireplaces, and explosions. So that's kind of neat. If it's nighttime or maybe just any time and you're lighting a fire to cook up some chicken, you might aggro a few zombies. Um, or maybe you can come up with cool ways to distract the zombies or make a little scene, um, you know, to divert the zombies. Uh, infected are now more likely to leave a position of unconscious players, preventing frustration cycles of uncon. Okay, so if they knock you out, they might walk away from you. Yeah, that's always a weird one. You know, I'm a fan of like, if you're the only dude in the area, and you're unconscious, I think those zombies should probably ch eat you. Um, it does help when you get bugged, though. But if there's, like, another player in the area shooting or, like, meleeing, it does make sense for the zombies to leave the uncon guy and go for the alive guy. But whatever. That's going to help all of us wake up when we get knocked out. Uh, and sometimes it, you know, makes one encounter feel like two encounters. It's kind of cool. Uh, reduce range in which infected can call for help from nearby infected. Now, see, I don't really think about it like that. But apparently when they do that loud scream, that's going to aggro their infected. Or really just any noise that's made in combat from zombies, it could aggro another zombie. So it seems like they're going to be making the most of that in this patch. Some zombies are going to like scream for others. Uh, all Oh no, ch dude, check this out. I'm, I can't wait to feel this. All infected attacks are now blockable. And overall infected attack speed has been reduced but not down to the previous 1.11 levels. That was like Namalsk prime time before the recent update. So we were saying the other day, like, why the fuck do they, why don't they reward players that actually block attacks, right? Because nobody even was using the block. Everybody was just trading blows, just accepting that they're going to get smacked once or twice. You know, I feel like over this last year, I've been seeing a lot more players blocking and stuff, but, you know, let's actually reward the dude that blocks. And now they're doing that. That's cool. Um, now, is it going to be too easy, though? That's the question. Like, should there be a freak? Now it's going to be like, well, should the freaking heavy attack break through and do a little bit of, you know, we'll see how if it's too easy now. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are saying that they like the new zombie feel. Uh, all right, balancing of damage and bleeding chances dealt by various infected types. Balancing of damage. Okay, so we're still talking zombies. Generally scaled according to player progression through the world. Are they saying that zombies are getting harder as you travel? I, mean, I guess that makes sense. Like a spawn zone zombie should maybe be easier than like a northern zombie on Trinaris. Holy shit, E Club, thanks for the 10 gifts. I really appreciate the support. Let me actually pull up my alerts on the side here. Um, Jaded as well, thanks to almost three years of support. Um, I really appreciate you. We got Perfect Dark with the 16 months. Negative Face as well with the 13, or the 15 as well. Thanks for the entertainment, dude. Always love the funny random encounters and how it plays out. <laughs> Ah, dude, thanks, man. I don't know what, what kind of stuff we're going to get into today in the test servers, but I think the server I'm going to play in already has like 40 people or something. So I think it'll fill up today. 
I'm going to try to play some normal Daisy under the circumstances of uh, experimental testing, you know. <clears throat> Yo, Desmond, we got Pope Wax, uh, Fly some, quit it. Thanks for all the big resubs, you guys. You got the new M24 yesterday. It's so sick. It's so sick. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. I had it, too. I, I only got a few kills with it, but I can... Or I at least heard the noise. My only regret was um, next time I get it, I'm not going to use an improvised suppressor. We're just going loud all day. It's so sick. All right, so we've looked at player versus player combat based on the feedback that we received. The unconscious state length is now tied to the caliber that is used to knock down a target. Holy shit. All right, so you can be knocked out for longer periods of time from a bigger caliber. The vest no longer covers the arms. So check that out, right? And all the previous updates, the little vest that like barely covers your whole body was covering your whole arms. And maybe, I don't know if it was doing fingers, but uh, think of all the times when you're facing each other, raising your arm up with your gun in front, you're shooting at each other. You were hitting arms and hands so often. You know, we used to bitch about in combat, I'd shoot somebody in the hands and it would, basically it would have been a headshot, but it was a hand shot. And sometimes I got saved because it was a hand shot or an arm shot. Now it's like, you know, all that meaty stuff in front of you when you're fighting with your gun is going to be weaker. So armor isn't going to feel as OP. Like, they're not changing armor, but they're allowing, like, a shoulder hitbox and arm hitbox and shit as flesh. So it's going to be different, for sure. Um, <clears throat> let me see. Shoulders are now part of the chest zone, previously arms. Um, the hips are also part of the torso, previous legs. Or previously there were legs. So we got more zones. Uh, additionally, we've increased shock damage on the legs, thereby reducing the chance of double punishment in the form of both an unconscious state and a broken leg. Increased shock armor on legs. Okay, so that's a weird way to say it. Like shock resistance on legs or something. Okay, that makes sense. So they're going away from the whole leg meta option of just like shooting a dude in the leg even though he's fully geared with the best shit. Uh, what's up, Kush? No, we're just getting started, dude. We've been on for like 10 minutes. Well, actually, fuck, 20 minutes, but that's because we're going through the patch notes. And uh, we don't have to wait in queue to get into the server because it's not full yet. So we'll be just fine here. Um, thanks for coming in, dude. We got cracks and jugs. Thanks for the three months undercover. Thanks for the two months sub. Uh, what's up, Rauschenberg? Um, all right. Tweaks are also applied to the damage zones of the arms, resulting in less health damage suffered from getting hit in the arms. All right, well, let's just get in and, you know, in a minute. I don't know if we're going to get the best PvP, but we'll try to shoot some people and test it out. Uh, we're introducing the chance for wounds to get infected. This means from now on, you should always keep an eye on the items uh, to treat wounds. So, I already know what they're going to say, but let me just read it out. Uh, we've added a new label on items displaying their disinfected state, which allows you to quickly recognize which items are safe and which are not. Damaging disinfected items removes the state from required uh, and requires applying disinfectant again. Um, okay, so basically, let me just read through this because I don't want to read that whole thing. All right, so remember back in the day when you had to, like if you used a damaged rag, you could get sick? That's back. So if your rags are fucked up, you have to use alcohol tincture or disinfectant spray. And then when you use it, it's going to say like, oh, this, is, this has been disinfected. So you gotta like hover over the item and see what state it's in. Uh, all right, as teased last week, we're introducing the M16A2 assault rifle to the game. So a while ago, I thought somebody was saying that this was just gonna be a modded, like some modder made a, a burst fire M16 and you could like add it via a mod. And I was telling everybody like, nah, nah, it's just a fucking mod. And now I'm realizing that it is coming to vanilla. It's coming to official. So I don't know what the deal is with that, but anyways, excuse me. That's the new gun that we're getting. Um, apparently you can't put any optics on it, but it's it does have the burst fire capability. Uh, we're primarily looking for feedback regarding the way the burst fire mode works, which is currently set to hold down fire to shoot a full burst. Holy shit, so you gotta hold down mouse one to fire the full three shots. Maybe you can like time it to only fire two shots or one shot. Speaking of firearms, we've also looked at various weapon attachments and added more pronounced differences between each. Dispersion, recoil, sway. Interesting. Besides that, we've added some cool weapon attachments and melee weapons, so keep an eye out for things lying around during your experimental adventures. Right, so we got some new melee weapons and we got a new scope. Uh, some smaller weapons or some smaller gameplay tweaks include allowing fire or wait, allowing fireplaces to be lit even under bad conditions and rain or wind. Oh yeah, that had to be super annoying when you were dying. 
and you had to cook like one piece of chicken, but you couldn't light it. Um. All right, we're almost at the end. Uh. There's also a guaranteed lifetime for plants on a garden plot set to two hours uh, before the timer kicks in and they eventually spoil as well as a lot. All right, so farmers are getting buffed. Got it. Uh, we hope you're going to enjoy your time in the experimental servers, and we're looking forward to your feedback. If you're eager to learn anything that's been added and changed, you can visit the official forums. All right, so here, if you guys want this link, check it out. Wait a minute, I feel like I missed a massive part that they didn't talk about here. Maybe I just skipped over it. All right, so there are different zombie types. I'm going to skip over to the other page to talk about the zombie types. We've got, like... Easy zombies, hard zombies, zombies that all that have plate carriers. Uh, they've like they've completely removed the plate carriers from the loot table, and now you have to find a certain like super military zombie that's gonna wear the plate carrier. And apparently, like it's always badly damaged, so you have to be very careful when you like kill the zombie to get it. Um, so they didn't nerf the plate carrier, but they made it like very specific to get. Like you gotta be careful. You gotta repair it. You gotta find that zombie. He's a tough zombie. Um, the military zombies are much harder than the normal zombies. Um, yeah, yeah. I don't actually. I don't know if I want to spoil all this stuff. I'll, I'll post the link in chat, and then you can read it if you want to. Um, I guess who gives a fuck? We the, the updates are so far and few between. I'm just gonna read this stuff out. We got the M16 with burst fire. We got the new 6x ACOG. Um, we got a 45 round mag for the AK74. We got a 60 round mag for like M4s, M16s. And it's not a coupled mag. It's like a like a standardized big ass 60 round mag. Um, wound treated by unclean rags can get infected. All right, so yeah, you gotta watch out what you're bandaging yourself with because you might get infected. Um, added sounds when the character is starving. Dude, that's so cool that your character's gonna be like, his stomach's gonna be groaning when he's hungry. Um, fever symptom added to an influenza. Okay, so we got some new sickness. Added radial blur to the hit effect. All right, so we gotta take some damage and see what that's all about. We got a new iodine tincture. To probably disinfect like a infected wound um we got two new types of machetes um okay new special infected types heavy soldiers military officer runner and heavy police what the fuck wait so runner maybe one is like super slow and one super fast um some of them have armor and helmets maybe i don't know that sounds cool though everyone was saying that we should have different zombie types with different health levels and i think that's exactly what this update is bringing um, so I'm really excited to, even if we just jump in today and just play with the zombies, you know, I'll be happy with that. Um, all right, there's a ton of fixes and changes. There was some bug that people were probably abusing last patch where they like canceled out all ambient sounds except for player sounds. And they're just sitting there like sound horn the game that got fixed. Uh, that weird thing where you could go from like standing to laying prone and then back up again, that got fixed. Um, Yeah, again, I'm just going to post this link in the chat. You guys can go through it while we're playing here. Because, uh, yeah, I'm dying to get into the server. You see. Did they fix the hand bug, though? <laughs> Nothing matters unless the hand bug is fixed. All right, and as always, dudes, um, there are some experimental servers, and we want to spread the word. Like, tell your friends, you know, that... Anybody can play in the experimental servers. There's a lot of, I'm sure there's a few official ones, um, but the day one team is also hosting their own, um, like day one experimental on Shinaris. Um, so remember, if you guys are trying to play this branch, you got to go into Steam, go to your Steam library. Um, under DayZ, there's going to be like DayZ experimental. It's a brand new download that might take you a little bit while, or depending on your internet, it might take a while to download. Um, so you might want to start it up now. Um, but as usual, I'm not going to be too critical on people and experimental because at the end of the day I'm just happy that people will test this update uh, but I might be playing on some official servers I might be playing on the day one server um, and when I am it's gonna you know the same rules apply if I feel like somebody's kind of sketchily watching while playing I'm just gonna kill them or run away um, you know if you're gonna test in the server just please close the stream you know as simple as that uh, but I think day one I think the test server already has like 35 people so I'm probably gonna jump in there first and see what's up let's try to fill up the experimental servers tonight um, and do it at Kyrus. Thanks for all the gifted subs. Let me get my alerts back up. Dude, we got Fuka with the six. Summage, thanks for the ten months. Botox. Um, Akira's with the eight months and all the gifted subs, dude. Thank you so much. Uh, Colossus, we got Virtual. Thanks for the sub as well. 
Um, I'm not sure I like the update, dude, because I haven't played it yet. We're about to jump in right now. Um, we got Kovis, Goldfish. Thanks for all the bits. Blade as well. He's been a, he says, I'm a, been a full-fledged Daisy addict as of late. Thanks to you. Have a good stream, Smoke. Dude, thanks for someone for almost three years. And that's awesome to hear, man. I'm glad that I can uh, spread the Daisy addiction. <laughs> um, dude, Eldad, thanks for almost three years. Luna Loves, thank you so much for the brand new sub. I hope you enjoy the streams. We got Undercover. I think I already got you, but thanks again for the two. Trevor, he says, my favorite streamer on Twitch. Keep it up with the awesome content. I miss the duos with Bino, the Brazilian menace. Cheers from Brazil. <laughs> dude, thanks for the four. I miss Bino as well. He's like one of the best dudes. He just, uh, you know, we had a little language barrier when it came to like when he can use the stream to come and team up with me. He was like the only dude that I allowed to do that shit every once in a while. And uh, I think he just took a break from DayZ. So he's been in the chat recently, though. We'll get him back in the mix, hopefully. I'm going to have to ask, uh, or I'm going to have to see how many hours he has in the servers. All right, dudes, we're joining up. I'm trying to get through this. Uh, I clicked on the wrong branch. I'm trying to click into normal DayZ, but I got to click into experimental. Uh, let's go servers, community. And then we got to type in experimental for the filter. All right, we should be loading. Yo, yeah, what's up, Nipes? Silence. Good to see you guys, Poondy Hulk. Thanks nice for coming in. What's up, Andy? Voice changer win. <laughs> uh, we're going to get a new mic set up soon. And then from there, we might just plug in like a shitty mic on the side and then keep the good mic for, for talking to you guys. Or if I could queue up like a $5 mic for in-game chat, maybe. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, if there's a restart in 10 minutes, I'm not just going to save for 10. I'm going to get in and, like, fight some zombies and shit, man. Or wait, do we have something new coming in 10 minutes? Or is it just a normal server restart? So day one test servers are on experimental. Uh, yes. Okay, normal restart, cool. Yeah, yeah, if you want to play, it's just um, download the experimental branch and then type in day one to the community filter on the experimental launcher. All right. Oh, man. It has been a while since I've seen, uh, or at least this part of Shinaris. I did play a little bit of Shinaris off stream the other day. So the new thing now is they're spawning us in with a... Half thing of bandages, which these are the fast band-aids. Um, I guess they don't want you spawning with rags. And as you can see there, it says it's disinfected. It's got the little icon. Spawn with that fruit. Oh, wait, you guys can't see this? Oh, it's because it's experimental. How do we fix this last time? Sorry, I'm already getting too immersed that I can't look at the fucking second monitor. Um... How do we fix this last time with Daisy Experimental? Uh, let me go over to the dis yeah, display capture or something, something. Man, this sucks. Okay. Give me a second here, dudes. It's going to be black screen for a few seconds or for like a minute. All right, so I'm going to right-click on my scene for Daisy. Let's go. Oh, yeah, we got to make a whole new game capture. Fuck. Okay, hold on. I probably still have this saved from last time then. Can you guys see this? Okay, there we go. Yeah, yeah, I still have it saved from last time. Damn it, experimental. You know, you'll realize that there is always something to fucking Daisy. Every time. They're gonna fuck you over somehow. But now, okay, so I gotta get rid of that scene, click on this one, and then we should be good to go. There we go, there we go. That's gonna be confusing. I'm gonna have to redo my hotkey or something. All right, so what I was showing you is we got these, this is what they're spawning us in with. This is the disinfected thing. Apparently they thought it was a good idea to take rid of, or get rid of the rags and spawn us in with like a half band-aid wrap. So, all right, that's new. Oh, it's already a person up there. Yeah, we spawned outside of Cherno. Hmm. 
Is there no Esker 1.13? Nah, I don't think you're going to be able to test like new experimental updates on modded maps. I mean, maybe you could, but I don't think it's the best idea. Oh yeah, I don't know if we want to make any friends right away. I kind of want like all the zombies to myself. And I want to shoot some people with a new gun. I bet this dude suicided to get a different spawn. Yeah, I want to fight all the zombies. I mean, we might team up, but... I don't think that's what, you know... Might slow down the testing. You gotta remember, too, these default band-aids are fast. So, hopefully people aren't just farming fast band-aids off of freshies all day. And they already come clean. Uh, could give this guy a wave. You know what? Experimental messed with the sensitivity and stuff too. I don't even know if I have the same settings right now. I did do the right uh, video settings though. We gotta figure out which route we should take. I wanna hit as many mill spots as possible. So we can check out like the different tiers of harder zombies. So we either go through Truno and then Belota and do like the Western military run. Or we go to Electro and then do like the Steroy run. I guess West is gonna have more military stuff. Oh, and I see two people down there too. Yeah, Gustav, I copied the exact settings that you told me the other day, and I put them into experimental. That was a flare pistol. We can go over them again, though, during the server restart, whenever it comes. Bloda's new hot area. Yeah, well, Bloda's going to be good to find some military zombies. I want to see how common their armor is. Probably just go whichever direction has the closest water pump. Yo, Sanguine, good to see you in here, man. Um, Turtle, thanks for the five gifted subs. Uh, Polgren, thanks for the four. Always love watching and keeping you. Oh, thanks, dude. Turtle with the resub as well. Stocky, thanks for the 18 months. I hope it's a good update for us. Actually, no, let's go to the spot that's going to have the most zombies. There's usually plenty of zombies in Electro. I feel like there's a lot in Cherno, but they're very spread out, right? I feel like the zombies might be a little bit more dense in Electro. It's all good. We'll be able to hit both sides of the map eventually today. You're so hyped for the special zombies. I know, it's really such a good idea to have different variations, different types of zombies, maybe different HP, speed, power, loot. Like, it makes good sense. And I think we've always mentioned this, too. Like, we were saying not too long ago, like, hey, let's have some zombies that have armor and helmets. They're really hard to kill. They're like, uh, you know, freaking tanks, like bosses. I don't know if they're going to take it that far, but it'll. it's good to have some variation. Makes your zombie fights less predictable, too. Might need the, actually, yeah, we need to collect all the shirts and pants for rags. Okay, so I already got a uh, little bug there. There we go. Ugh! <sighs> 
Oh, he swung a little bit. Oh, what? I'm just getting started. I'm just trying to get started here. Dude, he did. He swung a little bit early, though. See, that's the thing. I got the timing down to a science with the dodge, and now this update is going to completely uh, change all the timings with the zombies. So that's cool. But man, remember how we went through the meta of like you just get a fire or get an axe and just one tap zombies in the head? Then we're warming up to like, holy shit, I can actually dodge these zombies and just, you know, get my stamina back and do that. This new meta, and now we got a brand new update with the zombies. It's going to be completely different. But I think it's going to be a mix. Like you might be able to do the one tap headshot on like the normal zombies, but then maybe fighting like the harder ones, you're going to be utilizing the dodge and, you know, power attacks and stuff. So I don't know. Anyways, we got a server restart. Let's get this out of the way so we have a few hours uninterrupted at least. And we're not going to have to deal with those Esker crashes either, hopefully. Um, but yeah, with any new test update, there could be some other issues. We'll see. I'm uh, not sure if you talked about it. How about Streets of Tarkov possibly having 40 PMCs? Yeah, I saw a funny post on Twitter where it was like that new meme going around. Where it's like, um, yo, new map's going to have 40 players. And then someone's like, yo, the fucking new netcode's going to be dope, right? And he's just looking at him like, it's going to be, they're going to redo the net or the net code, right? <laughs> it's like, man, I hope it's good, man. I hope fucking 40 players are stable. And I'm sure they know, they got some trick up their sleeve, but dude, fucking, we could barely play a map with like 10 people, you know? So they're going from like level, level two to level fucking 10 with this map change or with the new map. So yeah, I hope it's good. I hope it's really good. Um, but yeah, Cretan, thanks for the 38 months T-Bone thing. I mean, that sounds amazing. Being in a map that almost feels like a daisy world where like, you know, there's gonna be people, you know, there's a bunch of space and loot and it's not just like point A to point B and then you exit the server. I mean, shit, there, there's probably gonna be some people that only play Streets of Tarkov all day, every day, because I think the, what the devs already said, there's a rumor that like, once you see streets, the other maps become almost obsolete or something. Um, so if they're right and it feels good, it's going to be amazing. But I, I can also see it being like, all right, we just played streets for 200 hours. Um, you know, we're rich. The progression hasn't changed. I got infinite guns and loot. I killed the new boss. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, it might get to that point again. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but you'll conquer again. Thanks for the 15 months. I'll be right back, guys. Let me grab a quick coffee. And uh, we're going to join or rejoin the server. We're not going to have to deal with a queue at least until maybe later. Guys, we're almost back in. I'm just changing my hotkey uh, to this new experimental scene so we don't have to deal with the black screen all day. This music makes you feel sad. <laughs> um, all right. Well, if this is the sad track, what is the... Do we have like a more upbeat track or something? This is kind of like we're about to get into some, some shit.
All right, let's see if this works. Thanks for the patience, guys. We probably won't have to take a break for like the next four hours now that we got this restart out of the way and we got this little hotkey fixed. Yo, Mind's Eye, thanks for the 10 month sub. And Kujo, thanks for the two year sub, dude. Appreciate it. Yo, what's up, Kate? Depression cured. Depression is temporarily cured while we're playing Daisy. We gotta get fully immersed in this new update. Oh my god, I thought it was Clockworks. Clockworks. Thanks for the two months up, dude. Porcelain Ninja as well. Thanks for the 29 months. What's up, man? Ran into four of the cool ass people last night. They were all named Rick. What the fuck? We all stood in a circle and talked about your last stream. Awesome dudes. <laughs> How the fuck are all four of you guys named Rick? <clears throat> uh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, last few streams have been alright. We've had like some fucking stupid, oh, stupid fucking deathmatch moments in Esco though. Oh, 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 oh. Hockey yeah. working. Yeah. Let's try to do a 1v1 here with the zombie. Yeah, he's swinging a little bit earlier with that big one. Like it almost feels like you shouldn't even dodge. We're getting thirsty though. This guy's getting fucking power slammed by these zombies. Oh, he's actually pissed him up pretty quick. Oh, see how early they do that swing? That's way different. Whoa. Oh, yeah, so we can block the attacks now. Look at that. Wait. So I just do this the whole time. For every single attack. What if I just sit in the corner all day? What if, what if they hit me in the back? What? They can't even hit me in the back? I mean, that might be too fucking easy, dude. Good luck, my son. I say it's too easy after my first kill it's just like if you're in a no shit moment I guess if you get pinned in a corner and the zombies are all around you you can block all day but you're not gonna be able to get out you're gonna have to let them knock you unconscious so here's the next step they should implement I think if you block an attack I think you should use your stamina or like just while you're doing this it should drain stamina maybe like a little bit I don't know Somebody had a 17 percenter, powder milk. Or like big attacks do 40% damage. Yeah. That's what I think about your fucking broom, buddy. What? My fucking zombie killer, dude. <laughs> Look, he's acting sketchy. He's not saying anything, alright? He should have said, like, yo, what's up? I 
got some sheep. Actually, wait. We gotta get a decent melee weapon here. How do you play 1.13? Well, first start downloading the experimental branch in your Steam library. It's gonna be right under normal DayZ, probably. Uh, 1.13 looks like good changes, more realistics. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, hopefully. I don't know, man. They didn't really touch up on the like armor and the damage. But they did do some stuff with like the, the arm hitboxes and add some shoulder and different leg zones. So I want to see how that feels in combat. Now we're going into electro because I think there's going to be more zombies here. Or at least more uh, zombies in a smaller area. And we're going to be able to find some police zombies and some military zombies right up the road. Just like Cherno though. Alright, what can we test on a player in this update? <laughs> this guy needs assistance. I think he's trying to flag down the sheep or something. Oh, yeah. Uncon rates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long does it take to knock a dude out? Now I shall take it. Now let's leave him with a bandage. He's probably going to keep testing. <laughs> He's just doing some workouts. Some jumping jacks. Well, no, that, that's, the uh, block has always been like that, where you could just, as long as you're blocking a player that was behind you, could never hit you. However, if the player does a power attack, it would break through the block. So all the other, all the attacker had to do was chill, like the blocker is doing. You know, they both just have to sit here and do nothing, regen their stamina, and then power slam through the block. Now the zombies, they can't do that now. No, I don't think any of us liked getting hit by zombies doing that overhead attack when we were like, we thought we were too far away. And I don't think we'd like taking damage through a block either. But yeah, with this new update, notice how the last update we're all like, what the fuck? And now this update we're like, ooh, these updates seem cool. So we're probably on the right path and uh, maybe they're going to make some tweaks on top of this. Is someone's like running around? Is it the bug or is it what they said in the patch notes about runners? Yo, like Cozy, thanks for almost three years, man, and checks out. Thanks for the seven months. What's going on, step? Yo, yo, get over here. Just you and me. One on one. Yo, fuck face, over here. No, 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 other way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, not quite, not quite. theory you can just like never oh that was a new attack but in theory you can like take very very minimal damage from every zombie fight as long as it's like a one-on-one -on -one. <clears throat> all right this one's got a helmet 
Yo, Spez, what are you running around for? Oh, he's slower. So yeah, if you have the stamina, there's no reason to dodge. It's, there's just a reason to just power slam them before they hit you, which I was too late there. Ooh, dude, check out that new little attack there. It's the one that you would rarely see on the mollusk. Do it again. He like reaches out with one arm. Not that. The uh, claw. Oh shit. So I haven't bled yet. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. So he canceled my attack there. And if you fuck up your timing, you are gonna get smacked. It's gonna be all about learning the new timings and figuring out your reach which you, with uh, whatever weapon you're using. Let's get that. That one's still pristine even though I smacked him up. I think the one-on-ones are going to be kind of like, you're eventually going to get it down to science, obviously. And you're not going to worry about these like spawn zone civilian zombies. But what they said is, as you progress through the map, they get harder maybe. But definitely like military and uh, police zombies and firefighter zombies are harder than these ones. So, yeah, I liked how the, the dodge was actually good. Because uh, you could utilize, like, once you get good at the timing, um, you know, it was like a nice mechanic you could utilize. And I hope they maintain that with the harder zombies. Because right now I can just, you just wait and spam power attack and these guys are pretty, probably going to be pretty easy. Like if you space it out even, you just make sure that they finish their attack, right? You're like, okay, are you done? Are you done? Also, you're really good at... Well, I think a lot of people are going to be good at these civilian zombies. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Sounds a bit arcadey having different levels of zombies. No, I think it's like one of the most new things. Different types of zombies. It's like basics, you know? Oh. I guess I just have to accept that blocking is the new dodge, for the most part. What's up? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm just running around. You said I was gonna fight the zombies to practice, but you took them from That's me. That's too fucking That's bad. Okay. All these zombies are mine. That's what I'm doing too. I killed all of them. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your own fucking spot, dude. No, I'm just kidding. There's probably some more down here. Okay. <laughs> He's like, all right, Wait. you fucking douchebag. Ooh. That's probably a decent, yeah. I don't know if I want to damage it. Sometimes you damage the can and then it goes or disappears <coughs> if you ruin it. Oh yeah, so these are runners, right? That zombie's just running around. It's not the best look though, because they stop and then run, stop and run. Ooh, this guy's got some armor on. Stab vest? He's like, yeah, I'm looking for zombies. See any zombies, bro? Oh, 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 he's got his fist up. Oh, oh, he's pulling up the shotgun. Oh, oh. It's a BK. This is a stick up. Oh, he's getting robbed. Oh, oh, he's about to ask him to take his trousers off. He's getting out the handcuffs. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's saying, fuck it. You're a, you're a piece of shit. Get on the fucking ground. All right, that's more like it. That's, that's, that's right. 
What's your fucking name, dude? I don't know. He's too close. The gun. Dish. 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 What the fuck's going on? Yeah, I'm about to fucking blast over there with my flare gun. I can't watch this. Don't fucking move, asswipe. I'll fucking blast you. I saw what you did. I saw what you fucking did. Ah. What? What? Yeah, why don't you pick on somebody your own size, huh? What are you gonna do? You fucking killed him. Fucking open this can. Oh, oh. I'm gonna open this can with that crowbar. Oh, shit, he's probably gonna fucking kill me. Is what he's gonna do. Fuck this. <coughs> Yo, help Done. me out. Help Get me away. out, dude. I'm here to save you. Oh, you're gonna get a third party. I'm blinking. You should have killed him when you had the chance. I didn't know if you could hear me or not. My, um... Yo, hit this dude in the back. pretending my mic didn't, wasn't working or something. Hit him in the back, dude. Come on. If he sneezes, I'm not dead. Get him, dude. Fucking... I'm here to save you. Back the fuck up! Back the fuck up! <laughs> dude, power slam him, dude. Just power slam him. You got full stamina, brother? <laughs> Fuck yeah! Got him. Dude, hand, dude, fucking high five, brother. Good shit. There he goes, man. Oh. Fuck yeah. Let's get those that zombie train in that we spoke about. What a fucking There's punk. somebody else over. Oh, it's a zombie coming for us. Oh, dude, I got a new item. Right now. <coughs> the zombie's moving around weird over there. Dude, I, yeah, I think they're new Don't runners. It. My, yo, my screen's a little hazy when he... I think when he smacked me with the crowbar, I had like this... Longer haze, dude. You're not, you're not fit for that zombie fight, bro. Yeah, no, I know this one, dude. Let me fucking handle this. I'm watching, him. <laughs> I'm screwed. <laughs> back I'm screwed up, back up, dude. But like, I was noticing, yeah, of course it's coming for me. Actually, wait, like, yeah, you're easier to block stuff. Yeah, you can take the zombie. All you gotta do Long is block. Yeah, yeah. Where the fuck's that crowbar at? Here, let's, you get that screwdriver, dude, I'll take the crowbar. Oh, dude, that was so cool, I like, yoinked it right out of his hand. Are we blurry now? Sweet. Dude, I'm fucking blurred out from the crowbar hit. I got some everlasting blur going on. You already have a backpack? Yeah, dude, yeah. I'm sweating, dude. I'm fucking sweating. Wait, how'd you get that backpack? I thought it was ruined. Oh, I already got a backpack. And I got a backpack inside, yeah. inside of my backpack. You, uh... Oh... Yeah, they're both damaged. Yo, I'm sick. Yeah, so is there like a fever? There's like a fever now or something, I think. Is that yeah. why you're hot? Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, I read I got... in the patch notes. It said there's a fever. <coughs> I definitely have a fever. <laughs> dude, I'm insta-sick. How do we... You got any pills? Nope. <coughs> I have nothing. This guy's fucking useless. I have a ruined glow stick. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, give me a second, dude. I gotta get this guy's trousers. Yo, take that guy's denim jacket, man. It's good shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. Just yeah, 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 yeah. Did he say a ruined glow stick? Alright, so the blurriness is from... Fetch. Hello, stranger. Oh. How's it going, man? Oh. Uh, you don't look so well. Yeah, I'm having a rough day. This guy jumped me. I think he was pretending he couldn't hear me or something, but... You don't happen to know anything about that guy, do you? Oh. 
Oh no, I just spawned her in the beach. Yeah, I was trying to cooperate with him, but he was like, just kept hitting me and crap. Dude, Whatever. My, my fucking screen's all blurry, dude. We gotta get to the hospital. Test out the new version. I can tell you that guy's name just by him saying two words. Check it out. I just spawned in. I have no, no idea what's going on. That guy's name is Nipes. Almost positive. I saw the patch and it was some pretty uh, interesting changes. <laughs> Guys, see how long that attack is? You'll see on the previous fight, I ran away because, like, somebody got it mixed up the other day, too, when we were talking about the whole, like, stamina running attack thing. Or the extra reach on the running attack. I will happily, like, open up a fight with a running attack versus a guy that I think I'm, um, you know, if I think I'm outnumbered or if I think that the dude has a better weapon than me, I'm at a disadvantage. I mean, I will absolutely open the fight up with a running attack, but I do my best to not utilize the, like, extended range of it. I try to make it look realistic. Um, but yeah, like, I will absolutely fucking, because it is a mechanic after all, like, being able to do this to, uh, either get a guy that's running away from you or to just open up the fight and stun the guy that has like a fucking axe and you have your fist like it makes sense i just get annoyed when somebody runs around in circles and only does the running extended attack over and over and over and over you know what i mean that's when it's like a little bit too much oh shit my teammate's too slow yeah man that zombie over there's got a backpack for you back in the yard hey dude let's uh let's cut up to the hospital dude my screen's getting all fucking blurry yeah, I'm slow. I'm like yellow, like food and water. Let's wa hey, let's walk through this apple orchard and see if we can pick a few apples. Oh shit, I'm fucking, uh, I'm yellow water, dude. I gotta walk up here anyways. I'm gonna open up this can. Yo, you mind, um, busting open this can with your screwdriver? Maybe that'll explain sure, why sure, I'm sure. feeling so shitty and fucking dying. Yeah, yeah. So your screen, like, gets a new visual effect? Like... You're saying with, yeah. with the blurriness? Oh, you're not getting any blurriness? Mm -mm. Oh, dude, I just slammed no. that whole tin. I'm so sorry, bro. Let's let's find some more food. No. That was like the smallest tin ever. Alright, so Sweet. what is Thank this? You. Iodine tincture. A common antiseptic used to medicate exposed wounds. It's a solution of iodine so and potassium iodide. I was just lagging there for a second, sorry. I'm so Desmond. So if you, How are you doing, man? He's just lurking back there, dude. Let's okay, <laughs> let's gain some distance. I don't know if we can trust this guy. Whoa, he just fucking vanished. He just like oh. crashed or something. I thought I would. I I thought I was lagging. Yeah, something must have happened because might be something with the new update too. You never know. All right, so if you have a infected wound, like like uh, maybe a zombie just tore me up. I used a nasty rag on it. Do I then use the iodine on myself? Or do I use the iodine on a reg? Used to medicate exposed wounds. Okay, so right onto the wound, huh? Isn't there a water pump up here? Right over On regs? I need oh. water pretty bad. In these Wait, houses? So. Yeah, 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 water, water. We're fucking dying over here and I'm inspecting my new iodine bottle. Yeah. I mean, it can't be something that, like, you need to survive every single life, right? Unless it's mega common. Because now there's alcohol tincture and there's iodine tincture. Uh, Sanguine was talking about it earlier, but I can't remember exactly how to apply it. We'll figure it out. <coughs> oh, wait. Let me just do this. Combine a rag with it. Disinfect. Yeah, yeah. So when I drag the rag to it, it obviously gives me the option. I'm not actually dying of the water anymore, but he might be. I'm gonna go drink after I loot. Oh, dude, I have a water bottle that we can use. Are those my cookies? Fucking put a little tiny bit of 
nasty water in the bottom there. Here, go ahead and fill yourself up, chug it, and I'll come back and do the same. Yeah, but you're sick, but did you drink from it? Oh. Good thinking. Well, this is what I did. I put it in my hands and I poured out the little bit that was at the bottom. That's all I did. Use it at your own risk, dude. Maybe just don't use it. You don't need to. You yeah, already fucking I'll... chugged a bunch. Yeah, I'll do this slow way. It's, it's cool. I guess we gotta cover our faces. Yeah, I didn't catch it yet. Even though you're sneezing on me. You know, next this guy's just just gonna wanna go separate ways. Doesn't wanna drink my bottle. Doesn't wanna fucking hang out with me. He's like, dude, you're fucking sick, man. You're fucking sick, dude. I don't blame him. Oh, I got the sweats again. I got the fever. Might want to keep your distance, dude. I got the sweats again. Things are getting hazy. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm full. I healed up a little bit. I'm not blinking. Still red, though. You getting pretty hungry or what? I'm about to slam these Makaukis. That guy's pepper he gave me got me back on white. Oh, good. I'm yellow. But I'm probably just barely right out. Threshold would be my guess. But yeah, I'm not, I don't need it. All right, well, let's just go to the hospital. And uh, maybe grab a few apples if possible here. It's usually like apple orchards don't yield as many apples as small patches. So Over I here. got hit by a zombie earlier. I got hit by a zombie earlier and my screen turned a little blurry with the impact. Mm -hmm. Is that like the same thing you're seeing? Yeah, there's some it? there's some new blur and shock damage effect, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's just get, you'll you'll notice it. I'm just getting a little blurry here and there. It's not too annoying yet. Okay. Actually, yeah, that is kind of fucking annoying, but um, I imagine it would be more annoying for somebody that has glasses or contacts, and they're like, wait a minute, is my shit working right now, or do I need to change my contacts? Like, I don't know. <coughs> it, it gives me that. It makes me feel like I need glasses for a second. Didn't see any apples. I was gonna say, you hear that dude? There's a gunshot down there. It's kinda like a weird sounding gun. Maybe indoors? Ah. Yeah, I heard it. Daisy's it's like, dude, way. we're gonna introduce this fucking dope sickness. And it's just like blurry screen the whole time. <laughs> uh, it's alright, it's alright. Let me see what kind of pills can fix it. I like the sweats, but uh, damn, this blur is pretty so constant. So there's some kind of new special zombies, it said? Yeah, you know about that? the zombies are all like tiered out now. Like we got these little easy uh, civilian zombies in the spawn zone, and then I guess they either get harder as the map goes. But like police, military, and uh, fire zombies are the hardest. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think there's like a military type that is the absolute hardest, obviously, and that's the only way to get like plate carriers and shit. <coughs> yeah, yeah, I think I saw that too. Yeah, I saw this. There's like a heavy, countered any yet. There's like a heavy zombie. I wonder if he has armor and a helmet or like extra HP or something. <laughs> so funny. Oh shit! Ow. Dude, you can't. Dude, I can't be hitting you like that, man. You don't have enough fucking HP to spare. I'm so sorry. I'm fucking, dude. Just keep blocking, man. This crowbar hits it's hard, okay. too. Are you blinking? It, no, it got me back to red, though. Fuck me. That's good. Dude. You look like shit. Let's get you to the hospital, and we'll just, uh, we'll just chill there for a little bit. Not, not the first time that's happened. Well, I'm getting <laughs> a little... I'm, I'm too, like, testy with the zombies. Like, oh, let's fucking do it together, but I'm just gonna let you, uh, 1v1 them. Actually, no, let me, let me help you out. I forgot I had this screwdriver. 
fucking ran over roadkill toad here. Get hungry. Yeah, the screwdriver. I was kind of trying to just fist fight him earlier, but yeah, I should use the screwdriver. Oh, dude, let's start sneaking around like little. little let's start sneaking around like little ninjas. You get stealth kill with your screwdriver. Hey, does that work? I think so. Oh yeah, it does. I think. It... <coughs> Yeah, it seems they're weaker too. Especially yeah. civilian ones. Well, dude, you can block every attack, and I think the civilian ones are gonna be a pushover. But yeah, let's try to get to the police zombies after the hospital. You go ahead and leave, man. You got the fucking stealth attack weapon. I don't think mine can do stealth attacks. I hear one over there. Dude, his fucking uh, sneaky limp is so good. Like he's got a fucking stick up his ass. Like, ah, shit, dude. He reminds me of the NPCs in, uh, like, Oblivion. When they first introduced, like, the Dark Brotherhood and their Thieves Guild and they're, like, have the sneak around animation like that. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> Let me take over from here. Oh. Oh, you get that soda. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna drink this. Yeah, it's all yours. I don't want to like share with you because then sickness, maybe you know. There's a rifle in here. Oh, uh, oh, I have 22 shots actually. Do you have any 762 by 39? Nope. I don't have anything. I just have rags and a screwdriver. Alright, well, I got two rifles, but no no 7.62, so I got... Let me load up this 22. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Is this Namals? No, this is Trinaris. This is the original signature daisy map that... You know, I think for me, especially, I did... I need oh, to get dude, back into yeah, this Yeah, I just got blurred. I got the blurry. Uh, I have the sweats. Oh shit, you got the sweats as well? Alright, let's get to the hospital pronto. I wonder if this is burning through our food and water faster. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. It's like it pulses. Wait, it I gets wasn't... blurry for a second. I wasn't coughing though like you, was I? Have you heard me cough yet? No, just sneeze. Damn, so you immediately That's coughed all I noticed. with your not, sickness. Not that you didn't, but... I, yeah. Maybe you did. I didn't notice it though. Have you guys heard me cough? I wonder if we have different types of sickness. Oh, you were coughing? Oh, I was. Okay, okay. Maybe it's just like kind of random and spread out. I guess I just didn't really notice it. Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Wait, is my buddy here? Or did he just like die in a die in a bush or something? Yo. Did you pass out, bro? No, no, I'm here, I'm here. I found a rifle too. Oh Got sweet. A BK. Sweet, sweet. No no bullets though. I just remember you being like, man, it's getting fuzzy and then you fucking vanished. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's funny, like I I gotta get used to this. This weird pulsing blurriness. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, I don't want to get used to it. Let's get some damn pills. I'm gonna hear somebody. <laughs> somebody here? <coughs> so you said you had iodine. What does that do? Just oh. treats wounds or something? I can combine it with my rags. So I guess it's just like a guaranteed way to <coughs> either clean a wound or make sure well, that you don't infect a wound. Right. Have you got infected wounds yet? No. I haven't bled from a zombie much yet. Maybe once. 
I think a lot of people are just getting sick naturally, like without zombies, right off the like fresh spawn start. I guess it does make sense. Like, or it is good if you get sick early on if you're looking for more of a challenge. You think the thermometer works now? You mean the crack pipe? <laughs> yeah. Uh, thought it always it says I'm 39. Well, yeah, but it was like always random. At least when I did it. Not too much now. Let's <laughs> fucking sneeze all over the doorknob. Oh yeah, it's gonna be kind of tricky setting up gamma. <laughs> did he just exhale? Jesus Christ. So, uh, how hot are you? Or cold are you? Or actually, no, you're, we're hot right now, right? For, first time was 39 Celsius, now I'm 38.6. <coughs> okay. I'll well, maybe keep that for later. Oh, but what I meant by not working was like on the mosque, for instance, when you'd be freezing cold, like flashing and junk. I do it with a <laughs> thermometer. And my temperature would read higher than when I was warm and junk. Right, let me here, let me temp myself here. Let me check my temp. Let me yeah, there you go. Partake here in the temperature. <sighs> Fucking shitting. Yeah, this takes yeah, a like time. I'd be sitting at a fire. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be sitting at a fire and the temperature would read you know colder after I warmed up by the fire than when before when I was freezing cold, that type of thing. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm 39.3. I'm getting blue. <coughs> I like the hot sweats. I'm getting cold and hot. Or the cold. Yeah, isn't it? I meant to say cold sweats. Isn't that when you're going from hot to cold? Alright, so absolutely zero meds here, except for charcoal tablets. Yeah, I saw nothing. There was the medical pouch with like a IV kit or something in it. But that was it. That's all I found. Hmm. So we're not sick in, in a way that we can have to like nibble and just take sips, right? I'm saving this toad for later when I get desperate. Ooh, I can cut rags with this crowbar. Alright, so let's not fuck with the damaged rags. Or damage doesn't mean um, that it's going to get you sick, right? It's just in general, a rag is a rag until it's disinfected and then it's a good rag. Right? So like, does the wear actually, uh, actually matter? Let's cut some shit up. These rags are pristine. These rags are worn. Let's get some damaged ones. Everybody's sick. Well, fuck, dude. For the current state of, like, Essica, for example, I think it would be good if everybody was sick. Like, give them a barrier of, like, needing to survive and take care of themselves so they're not just, like, running around in YOLO PvP mode. So, it's not the worst thing, but it might get a little annoying if this blurriness is constant. Alright, so this is damaged. The thing about this iodine is I only have 13%. So if I combine it with a rag... Oh, we gotta get out there. Oh shit, I thought you were somebody else. Oh no. Do you need more bandages? Found some morphine. You want a morphine? Nah, you're fucked up, dude. You keep that shit unless you have two. Um, okay. Do you no, have yeah. bandits? Yeah, I have two. Oh, two morphines? Yeah, half a bandage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take one. Um, so I was sh yeah, yeah, I was yeah. sharing one with you. Do you want some more rags? If you got extra, I have half the... I think just the starter. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> I 
But I have, I, I mean, I have rags. Yeah, I'll cut some stuff up, too. Yeah. Game is hard enough. Well, I'm talking about condensed, like, the Essaker and Namalsk have, like, more of a condensed, smaller feeling experience as opposed to this map. So do we have to disinfect, like, all this junk now? I don't fucking What's... know. Right? Like, I guess, do we just have a chance of getting sick with these normal rags? Here, take those three clean either. ones. Take, take six cleans right there. <laughs> Yeah, like loads of rags, you know. I think I'd rather f turn a flashlight or glow stick on in experimental rather than give you guys gamma. Ooh, please zombie. I'm going for it. I think you might have armor too. <laughs> which I'll give to you. I, mean, I could shoot him with my sporter, but I'm gonna melee him. him to come away from that other zombie if possible. <coughs> he was attacking kind of quick there. There you go, take that. I noticed his first two attacks were about to be really quick, but I like punched him too fast to realize. But yeah, I think their attack speed is better. Yeah, the timing seems a bit different. For sure the timing but... is all different. Hey, go ahead and stealth kill that one if you want, dude. Okay, okay. Wait, did he hear us? No. Interesting. <coughs> she turned and then forgot about it. Look at her head. <coughs> no. <coughs> we throw this guy the assist. That was weird, oh, it was like it kept seeing me and then... Wait, what? Dude, did okay. you hear that? No. That was like four explosions going off. Oh. All the way yeah. down the fucking strip. That's probably Beloda. Yeah, when I was sneaking, all that zombie like saw me and then didn't see me and then I saw that. Yeah, yeah, that was kind of cool. I was about to throw an item behind her to like try to assist, but she came after you. Oh come on! With that attack right there, I like how they do the one-handed raise there. One more zombie attack to worry about. Throw into the list or the variation. Ah, uh, yeah, it looks like with that you're just lacking reach, swinging a little bit too far away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just, yeah, just right in his face. <coughs> I mean, I'm gonna try to get, I guess, closer if I have something short. That's cool. Yeah, well, I was fighting earlier, and when... I don't know how to describe the timing, but, like, for instance... <coughs> the, um, right when the zombie would run, start to move towards me, if I attacked at that very moment it was still hit me like it was like i was having to like preemptively like predict if it was gonna come at me or not right 
Yeah, I'm trying to get used to it. <laughs> Definitely new timings. Different style, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, shit, that makes me want to go down towards those, uh, the noises <laughs> instead of going up the road towards Staroy. No, I think at this point we should go to the closest medical spot, which will be right up the road. Whoa, whoa, are you trying to fucking smack me? What the fuck? Oh. No, 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 I was just, I was just, just seeing the, how fast this... Oh my god, I thought you figured out was somebody else. <coughs> no, no, no. I was fighting a bunch of other zombies before, and I actually liked the knife. I was using, like, a pipe and, like, a hatchet and a baseball bat and a steak knife and... All kinds of different junk. Yeah. I actually think, think I like the knife the best. The knife is great. I, I want to say that, like, the pipe in this crowbar that I have is kind of just like a knife, but a little bit longer. So I feel like it's just as good. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you could only pick one, I think it would be a knife, for sure. Well, I haven't really played this update enough, but that's what it seems like. Hey, we got some animated <laughs> emotes. Oh, uh, no, I, I'm actually working on the animated emotes with Mars. Um... <laughs> Or we're discussing which ones, which are the normal emotes we have right now to turn into animated emotes. There's a Glock mag, so we might do like three of them and then leave two open for just new ideas. At first I was worried that animated emotes are just going to turn into... <laughs> ...chats being nothing but like moving, flashing pictures and shit, but I think it'll be... We'll keep it under control. And uh, each viewer has the option to turn it off if it gets too distracting. But yeah, it's going to be some really cool options, man. You can set up the animation so, like, it looks like the guy is constantly eating or, or like, constantly drinking or, like, uh, the gun is firing. Like, cool shit like that. Or, like, the facial expression is changing. Dude, I can't use this ladder. Oh, I gotta get, like, really close to it. Tie somebody up with some barbed wire. What are the changes in the patch? Uh, do exclamation point update? Hey, do you have shotgun? No, no, no. Shells? Oh, shells. Got a shotgun. Uh, no. Sorry. I do have other bullet types though. If you get something else, I'll let, I'll, let me know if uh, I'll try to find you some shells. Well, shit, we can go up the road. Also, what'd you get? You have 380, I have a scorpion too. Oh, dude, I have a scorpion mag with four shots in it. I got the sporter with bullet single load in, so why don't you go ahead and take the scorpion? Oh, shit, I'm yellow hunger. I gotta eat the stuff that I got. Little Weight Watchers pet right here. I kind of like this lighting. Sweet. Really feeling like a ch like a chilled out uh, Chinaris run here, man. Hopefully we find some people, but even if we don't, it just feels good to be playing this map again. Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Yeah, it doesn't s with the test servers usually not. Sorry, usually not a lot of people. Yeah, I noticed it was already at like 40 but when I, just... I joined, so I think it's going to fill up. Oh, uh, cool, cool. <coughs> yeah, I just came on just to fight zombies, actually. <laughs> but, yeah. Pretty much same here, dude. That's like the main thing I'm interested <laughs> about in this update. Hey, you want to skin Anything this tater? Extra's cool. You got something like uh, that might skin that tater? <sighs> just the <a> screwdriver. <coughs> oh, it works. Ah. 
Dude, do you know how long it would take to skin a potato with a screwdriver? Why the fuck are we even skinning the tater? Let's be honest, dude. If it we're in the apocalypse, I'm gonna bite into that shit and skin it with my teeth. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's you true. want half of this? I'm sick. We're both sick. Ah, uh, sure. I mean, shit, I had like a. I had some potatoes the other day with the skin right on them. They were cooked, of course, but. Yeah, I guess you're not gonna eat a raw fucking tater, but. Ah. Pump outside. Skin has the vitamins, why peel it? Yeah, I think the whole potato peel thing was probably just like a little extra at the office. Someone like, oh, this would be, <laughs> this would be so cool to do. But it's kind of like, eh. A little extra. Ooh, this is a good melee. So these ones that are kind of like swing like a knife, but they're a little bit longer. I feel like they're pro. What the fuck is that a car? Dude, 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 this yep. vehicle. I'm dropping a pipe there. Should we fucking dome the driver or talk to him? Oh, he's, he's taking off. I don't have my shout bound. I feel like a dickhead shooting at people, but I'm shooting at someone that just got a car. But uh, gotta let him know I want that shit somehow. Give me a ride. You piece of shit. Oh, that actually hit his windshield. Dude, that hit right where he would be, actually, but I doubt it hit him. He's going towards that noise we heard, probably. Sweet. These are the uh, super zombies right here. God, that feels fucking god awful. Are you kidding me? Two ghost hits in a row. Let's try that again. Yo, don't kill this guy. Okay, that worked. The uh, weapon melee didn't work twice in a row there, point blank. Yeah, uh, get it. Failed on me on that one too. I got. We got not, we got more. Keep forgetting that we can block every single attack. And it's actually the point where, um, if you know you can block, you just do a little attack and then immediately get back in your block if you want to. Oh shit, you're getting fucked up, dude! Back up, back up, back up, back up! Get out of there, just run to it. Ah! It's gonna get the zombies away from him. <laughs> Fucking shit. Oh. Oh, getting fucked up. I don't have my shout bomb, but I need to do that. He's not dead. Well, he might be. And yeah, we're over here saying like, oh, this 1v1 is too easy, but once you get multiples, it seems like maybe it's a lot harder. Oh shit, dude, you're alive. Fuck me. Yeah. Are you bleeding? No. Well, I didn't think you were dead, but I just trapped all the zombies to make sure you didn't die. Sorry, I wasn't oh, ditching you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I didn't just bail on you. <laughs> that was funny. Notice how I didn't take any of your shit. <laughs> no, that's fine. There's another zombie down there with a uh, stab vest. Damn, it's so expected. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. interesting aiming when your vision goes all blurry. Now that happens in the middle of a crazy fight. Oh, you just experienced something new. Well, you know how the... I have the fever and it goes blurry. Yeah, the sweats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The zombie was attacking me. It was all phasing. <coughs> right now, um, like... I believe it. I actually just got swarmed by zombies and like three of them hit me at the same time and I felt a little bit of that. So, like, dude, we've already seen how many stab vests? This is our third or fourth. I see one on that zombie down there. Yeah, so three we've seen at least. I wonder how good they are. I mean, they haven't changed, but, like, they're pretty fucking good. So can you only get stab vests on police zombies? <coughs> or is or a stab vest in the loot economy? I wonder. 
I gotta drop it. I gotta drop it to uh, tomato. You want some of this? Yeah, we can share. There you go. Yeah, I know this guy's great. Sounds like he's like a little sick in real life too. He fits the part perfect. Yeah, good. I'm kind of feeling like shit, man. Today, fucking help me out. Alright, so what I was saying is let's test just doing small attacks, right? Like, what's the point of even doing a power attack on these civilian zombies if you're trying to play really safe? Because you can transi or transition from a uh, quick attack to block so much faster than risking, like, a super slow build-up power attack, right? So I guess we are still thinking about all the different timings. Yeah, the zombie got me back to red health again, though. Man, I don't think... Yeah. <laughs> I don't think this blurry shit is gonna be a fan favorite. If, uh, if, like, most fresh spawns get this blurry shit right off the bat, I don't think they're gonna be very happy. This should be, like, a fucking... Like, a once-in-a-while sickness, I think. Oh, should I drop... I didn't pick up my yeah. glow stick. Yeah, I think this is funny right now, but if it happened a lot, yeah, I think I would get annoyed. But yeah. This is kind of funny. It's not bad. I like that people are going to struggle, that's for sure. Or if people have to struggle, it's a good thing. Well, shit, we know that car is driving down towards Belota. I say we go up the road a little bit to the military, and then we can hit the medical up the road. And then from there, we can still dip over towards Belota, where we heard that noise. Maybe some more military shit. I know you're a bit slower than me. I'm not worried about it. Okay. But uh, let's start walking. You know that military tent in the middle of the town? Let's go there. Okay. <coughs> Holy shit. Oh, he's up on the roof. Yo, this fireman's helmet might save you. Bulky as hell. Yeah, I hope that there's an axe or something. I'm just gonna leave the helmet at the bottom of the stairs. Oh, I got one. Fireman's stuff is so heavy though, I'm not gonna take that jacket. I definitely wanna get another glow stick or flashlight working. Seeing him pass out trying to take out the zombies. <laughs> Shit, we got a runner. Do you see what they said about like runner zombies? Are those the ones that we see in the distance, like running around? Oh. Yo, we got a fucking. <laughs> Wait, yo, are you Maybe. in here? Somebody's outside. Should we fucking cap his ass? I'm on the top. Yeah, if you want. I only have one bullet. Scare the shit out of him. I want that glow stick. He's getting beat up. Wow. Shit. He's coming in. Oh, she's me. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Heard sneezing. Hello? Hey, hey, hey. Someone's sick. What are you doing? What are you doing? You got any pills? We're not hey. doing too good. What are you doing? Hey, hey, what are you hey, doing? Hey, hey, hey. Be cool, be cool, Try. be cool. No, hey, hey, hey. What do you got in your pockets, dude? Here, I, I, I can strip. You want to see me strip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just drop your shit. Oh, 
just looking for a melee. I'm be taking these beans, son. Uh, look, let's give him a melee weapon. We're taking his beans. It's the least we can do. Appreciate it. No, that's all unnecessary. Right. That's unnecessary. That's unnecessary. Um, all right, what do we got for him? I don't have another. <laughs> My stick works. Please. All right, all right. Let's go thirds on the beans. Fucking a. We can open them for you. I have, a, you have a can opener. I have a can opener. I'll open it. You should. What's your name, dude? How y'all doing? You look a little hurt. We're fucked up. Yeah. You're not, I've been struggling, man. You're not sick yet? For sure. I'm just. No, I'm not sick. No, I'm just thirsty. We got the sweats. Just keep your distance, dude. We both got a fever. It's a nasty sickness. Sure, We've sure. been dealing with blurry vision and all this. You, just, you definitely want to deal with this shit, dude. Blurry vision? Is it a glitch or is it one of the new features? I think it's a feature. Yeah. Now, now see, he's touched those beans, so I don't really know if you want to now. Pretty sick. Uh, I don't have any other food, so I guess I kind of got to. Yeah, see, I mean... Yeah, I ate half. I ate half. I was yellow, so I need to eat a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I just spawned in, so... Yeah, I can just take this grab. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the zombies still drop uh, food, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I heard somebody yeah, sitting yeah. around. We gotta I be got careful, boys. Let's, uh... Let's get this light, see if I can spot them. So let's head out back. Ah, oh, fuck, this guy's following us around now. Oh, it's a zombie here. Take your light back, dude. Two zombies. Alright, so these are working. Three. All three of those worked. Oh, shit. So again, it pays to just let them, uh... Let them finish their attack. Yeah. yeah, you got a guy sneaking up behind you, bro. Coming in hot, boys. Coming in hot. Come on. Oh, I was going to kill the zombie. Oh, shit. No smoke. No smoke. I don't want no smoke. What? Friendly. Friendly. Did he really just like call me smoke in front, in front of like two, one, maybe one possible random? Don't be like that guy, please. It's fucking. Do we have to kill this guy? It's fucking unnecessary. <laughs> uh, I don't know, dude. Let's just get away from that guy. He doesn't want any smoke. Yeah, sure. That's what he, I mean. You know how it fucking goes. I think that's what he's tr tried to cover it up with. Oh, help! Oh, help! Oh. He can help himself. Help him with a fucking bullet. No. Yo, dude, it's a good melee in here. Just one of those, uh, like a longer knife type. Yeah, I grabbed it. Let's go, let's go. Yo, I, I know one I know one thing. <laughs> if we're sick as fuck and uh, like not find a bunch of food, we're uh, absolutely just going duo with this one guy. We're not going. Uh, we're not getting like a four-man squad going. Or else every two seconds, it's gonna be like, oh, dude, I'm fucking. I need some food, I'm sick. <laughs> I'm trying to get healed up, though, I keep getting hit. <coughs> um, we... <coughs> we haven't gone to that military tent yet. I guess I'm just looting around for food. <sighs> Damn, sorry, man. Oh, did you smack him up again? I love how my buddy keeps healing up, but he, yeah, whack him. we're fucking smacking him back down to limping every time. Dude, you can't make any progress with your HP, huh? Yeah, I know. It's, it's okay, though. Hey, it's kind of fun. Yeah. Let's 
do uh <coughs> Man with the sickness and the lack of food dude let's just fucking bounce out of here. I think the sooner we get out of the spawn zone the better. Yo guys, we all know what no smoke or uh we all know what it means. <laughs> or I mean I know what it means. What? Like went through that guy's fucking skull. That perk is a guy. That's yeah, a fucking guy, dude. Run, oh, run. Yeah, it is. There we go, my own glow stick. So if you need it, you exchange not your hoe for something. Dropping the hoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yo, let's just bounce, man. Fuck that little solo military tent. I bet it's probably the most looted thing in this whole town. Let's just loot these few houses for food and uh, head up the road. It's a nice med spot okay. up there. Hey, you know this map pretty well, dude. Just a little bit. Okay. I mean, like, I've been around, but, like, I don't have, like, it memorized and junk. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, one of my favorite runs is just up this road to Steroy, but, uh, the western side of the map has more military-type loot. So, make mm -hmm. a decision once we get up to the next few spots. <laughs> Count my inventory. Now that I jumped, that could... Yeah, I'll go on... I would go on little treks exploring around. But yeah, like this map is so big. Like it's, it takes a while to explore the whole thing. Like, Oh yeah. Yeah, I miss it. I used to play it all the time. It's definitely the biggest map. You got a good weapon, so I don't need to help you. Yeah, it almost makes sense to just let them get their first attack over with, so you don't even risk taking a hit when you're that weak, right? Just, like, let them finish. And, then... and even, like, short attacks, right? Like, what's the point of even power attacking these civilian zombies when you can just tap, block, tap, block, once you have a good weapon, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I guess so. I've been so used to doing the power attacks lately. Me too, yep. Hey, let's let's take yeah, a look yeah, detour yeah. over here. Maybe that we'll might see some, right. some zombies. Like if your weapon's good enough, you don't have to power slam at least the civilian early zombies. That's what it's looking like. Yo guys, we're all well aware of what that slang means, but we're also or most of us should be kind of aware that like we're doing a little test server thing. Plenty of people know what server I'm on. Plenty of people are going to come up to me and know who I am before they should. And if I if I'm just even have the slightest inkling, I just don't want to interact with that person, you know? I don't I'm not going to like make a big deal of it. You notice I'm not talking about it um, until now. Like we're just going to go play the game and hopefully they don't overdo it to the point where we need to do something drastic, you know what I mean? If he was just actually saying that, great. But I'd rather not take the risk and just fucking get away from in case it's like a troublemaker or kind of like a you know, look at me, look at me type of guy. So yeah, let's just go. Let's play the game. Let's do it. Nobody gives a fuck about the slang right now. Oh my god, I thought that was a player. So 
does that helmet really help? <coughs> Four hits. Yo, you want these pants? I don't know if they're any better oh, than yours. Yeah. Too fucking dark to even see. No. Once I've got it better. I feel like the night cycle is very long. Well, I'm getting my brain experimental. We're probably using all the vanilla settings, or at least for the most part. It's all pretty much basic default stuff. So maybe their night cycle is still pretty long. Uh, what is the vanilla night cycle, actually? I guess what I want the most out of this melee system is like every fight to possibly be different. Like one time it makes sense for me to do the dodge, the next time it makes sense for me to power slam, the next time it makes sense to do this new like block attack swing, block attack swing, you know. Like I really hope that there's multiple ways to engage in a fight that makes sense instead of what we're doing now which is just let them finish, hit, let them finish. Because it's foolproof, at least for 1v1s. You're never going to take damage and it's also kind of like... It's not as exciting to me as needing to hit like a specific timing. You know what I mean? That's that was I was like, holy shit, we've got this fucking Dark Souls dodge attack with zombies. Like you're always fighting zombies. <coughs> kind of like adds to the whole skill based thing. I like that. Um, I just hope that they don't, you know, simplify it or dumb it down too much. Shouldn't there be more zombies? Well, it depends where you are. If you fire a shot here, they're they're all gonna like gather up. If you go to a mill base or certain areas, there's going to be a shit ton of them. But you got to remember, this map is so big that they are going to be spread out. And we got two up here. Yo, dude, I don't have my whisper bound, but if you want to go stealth attack... Actually, wait, I got a blade. I can do stealth attacks now, too. I think they hear us talking. Whoa! Oh, he's ready for him. And obviously, the, uh, we're just gonna get down to like how fast can we kill this guy, you know? Like, can I get off three quick knife head shots before he does his new attack? We'll see. Gamma, please, now. The only gamma you're getting right now is this. This night cycle should be over soon. So this is experimental, and it's like, I have to have new scenes in OBS, and I don't have a experimental gamma scene. Maybe at the next server restart, or next night cycle, I'll set that up. Should probably kill every zombie right now though for food. Almost like they got more aware of us at night or something. That was crazy. Well, I don't have my whisper bound, and I think they the first three heard as soon as I talked to you about the stealth attack. It's so weird. You like step on top of bodies. It's so goofy. It's 
like mid swing when you kill a chicken, you also like step on it, canceling your swing. So it's just like, what, what happened? There you go, man. Take one of these chickens. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are you about to say, bro? The, uh, the, the blurring phasing in and out is like getting trippy, man. Yeah. It's too much <laughs> it's for funny. me, dude. It's funny. <laughs> At first it was kind of cool. I was like, man, this is like neat. It starts making me, like my eyes start giving me that feeling where I imagine yeah. like you know you need glasses or something. Like the day that you realize, oh shit, I yeah, need glasses. Yeah, exactly. It's like, That's, I don't like that feeling. It's like it, yeah, it's like focusing the eyes to go out of focus or something. Man, it's weird. Because mm. of the way it gradually like does it. Yeah. Like I said, if, it, if you always get this sickness, like, you know, 8 out of 10 times you play Chinaris early on, that would suck. But I wouldn't mind if it's kind of the rare sickness. Right. I don't know, maybe you guys watching we aren't... We weren't able to find any meds. Well, the, so. the medical is right up here, actually. Uh, <laughs> new one. But yeah, you're oh, right, yeah, that, right, that hospital was freaking barren. Dude, I almost wonder if there was like a house or a car near the hospital that had all the med loot, and maybe we just missed it. Sometimes that's how it goes, like the surrounding shit. Right, right. Oh, bro, I got ammo for our rifles now. Take three shots, I got four. You said there's a new place? Uh... Say what now? Oh, there's a medical you spot. You said there was a new... A Up new ahead. place, though. You said it was new. Oh, fucking... Um... Maybe I heard wrong. Maybe I heard wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I was probably saying new sickness, my bad. I didn't realize I had those bolts for the rifle. I'm kind of like, I'm not necessarily always going out of my way to try and, uh, you know, be like a fucking PvP machine and experimental. I'm mainly here to test out the new stuff. If I get the new gun in my hands, then we'll go into, like, PvP mode. But until then, I'm, you know, I'm not necessarily trying to kill everybody I see. Um, but, you know, there's going to be some people that it'll be easier to kill them than maybe deal with them. Whether there's not enough food to go around or they're... You know, following us because we got a light on, whatever it may be. <coughs> let's hit up medical. Well, actually, uh, let's hit hunting first. If somebody's over at medical, we'll see them. Some food back here, man. Just a nibble of cereal for us. Cool. Yeah, I found some of that one of those little meat pack processed meat things too. Meat rod. Yeah, I, I put the cereal in the back room there. Okay. <coughs> you find a fucking slim jim or something. Yeah, hey, what's up, Amish? Let's eat these stems. Good seeing you guys. Oh. Okay, so we don't need to do that as much anymore. Yeah. I think we're going to see some more changes. Yeah, the sweating a lot <laughs> keeps canceling the animation out for, like, picking stuff up. Oh, interesting. <laughs> the fucking, when you wipe the sweat off your brow, it cancels animations. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was trying to pick something up, and it wouldn't let me. I want there to be a good reason to do this dodge. Because right now you just block everything, and I think the zombies need to have a special <laughs> attack that can fucking do something about you just constantly blocking. Or maybe just drain stamina when you're blocking. So I'm gonna just do this all day. And there's really no reason for me to ever do this. I don't know, I don't know. I just friend players. Not really. I'd like to see uh, dodge like a player melee attack. It usually doesn't work. I mean, the, the intention of the dodge mechanic being added, maybe that was for players, but it worked better with zombies in the previous updates. I could never pull it off on a player, really. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> I 
mean, it is still good to get to a different position and maybe still establish that same distance. Just to be like, alright, I'm out of here. Or to like get to a different side of the zombies if you have like three zombies on you. But that's about it in this patch for the uh, dodge mechanic. Yeah, I'm liking the block top. Yeah. I guess I gotta accept that. That might be the move. The block, yeah, the block is just so essential that uh, it's a new fucking thing for sure. Do I have a knife hockey dude? Fire. Yes, yeah, so I wonder if like a light is just lit in this building if that attracts them. Or does it have to be a fireplace? Oh, damn it. Dude, that's that new attack. It's got some range to it as well. Hey, dude, dude, someone's coming. Someone's here. Okay, okay. Someone's coming down the road. What the fucking. Dude, this guy hit twice with something. This medical chick is the hardest zombie I've fought yet. Let's back it up and bait out the, like, the uh, glow stick house, dude. Makes sense. I should have let him finish. Uh, nope. I'm getting piped. Did he see you? I love how I say I want all the zombies myself and then I team up with this guy. <laughs> He's cool though. Did that guy see you? Uh, I th maybe. I was going towards the medical building and he was up at the road. Let's see if he's skipping us to get the upper hand here. There's a, there was a zombie chasing him. Uh, I, I think we'd see him down on that road. I bet he's in our place. Yeah, there he is. There he is. He's going to the fucking glow stick house. Oh shit, it's that guy we talked to earlier. Did we even loot medical yet? No. I didn't know if you slipped in there. We gotta fucking... I don't want to share my meds personally, dude. I was about dude. to. I just want to go you and me only. Oh shit. Is he, he's going to the right, to the right? Yo, it's you again, dude. We're just fucking... We're, we're looting. Yeah, Yo, we're fucking oh, shooting... Holy shit, you guys the fuck, we're fucking shooting anybody we see, dude. We had a bad run-in with somebody else. We're uh, looking for meds. Oh, we, fuck. I got camp. some codeine. Uh... I don't think that's what we need, dude. You keep that for yourself. I appreciate it, though. Oh, shit, this looks like it's already been looted. What's what's good for the blurry vision? That's exactly what we're looking for, man. <laughs> Did we get you with it? We have no Earlier? idea. Maybe. I also have tetracycline, but I only have one. <laughs> this is where things get weird. <laughs> uh, yeah, the tetra think. usually just work for the peaking diseases and stuff, right? I don't think that's enough Stunts to crap. cure any of us either way. Even if you pop it yourself, you're probably gonna need multiple pills, right? Sure. <coughs> what, is steroid next up? Yeah, there's a few, uh, there's a fork in the road up ahead. I'm sure people can get the, the hint eventually that, like, you know, we're gonna be struggling with food and sickness and all kinds of shit. I'm either going solo or duo. Oh. Where's my buddy at? Yo, I think there's more loot over here, dude. Come on, let's fucking book it over here. Yeah, I feel so I, I feel like a dick when I'm like trying to send people the message and they refuse to take the hint and then it's like, dude, dude this is why it is better to shoot people, by the way. It's probably a super cool dude, but we're just like, yo yo, we're going solo, we're going duo. <laughs> Alright, I ah. Uh. As soon as we have a fucking struggle for food or meds, I'm gonna shoot him in the back of the head. Alright, but whatever. I'm not. Uh... Backpack in here. I already gave him the warning shot. You deflected it like it was fucking nothing. He deflected it and ran right to it. <laughs> he 
It's always funny though. You realize he's hungry now. You realize how often though uh, people in Daisy will like run after gunshots while they're a freshie, and then as soon as they get shot at, they're like, "Dude, I'm a freshie." It's like, well, you fucking ran towards the shots. You want our shit, but they always forget to mention that part. You're very thirsty. Oh. I have a... I have a full water bottle. I guess I was a little worried about drinking too much while I'm sick, but I don't think I have the sickness that's gonna make me puke, right? I'm just chugging this shit. This apple looks like it's rotten, but it's just dried and damaged. I got some 762. Yeah, we'll take that, dude. We got 762 rifles. Yeah. Do you have any extra food to spare, by any chance? Uh, here, man. Take this, uh, actually, no, I got a chicken breast, but we gotta cook it. Let's get a fire going. Alright, for sure. Yeah, give this to my buddy. <laughs> Yo, dude, take these bullets before we head up this mill. Okay, thanks. Alright, this is my first taste of military zombies. Have you guys fought them yet? Let's see what they're all about. Oh, the mill zombies. Right. <laughs> Let's get up here and scope it out. <coughs> Give one of the bullets back to him. We could send our new guy in to deal with the first few. Whoa, fat loot sack. Alright, so apparently the, new, the uh, plate carriers can only be found on military zombies. I think it's like a certain type of mill zombie. He's got a specific look to him, right? I don't know if it's gear or the color of his clothing or what. Okay, that was like two power slams and six smalls. I might give this guy an ultimatum here. I don't have any bones for fishing. Tell you what, dude. I'll hook you up with all the uh, I'll hook you up with all the survival supplies you need. Um, but me and my buddy are heading up that road and shooting anybody we fucking see. All right, here, take that. It's probably just gonna be the two of us rolling together, man. I dropped you that food and I dropped you the bones, though. Maybe I'll see you around, dude. Yo, hey, uh, let's fucking head up to uh, we're going to destroy, man. If you want to continue on this road, you could be in uh, mogul. Oh, we got a guy coming down the road. Yo, let's go. Let's go up this road. Oh shit, we're we're, being, we're under fire. He's behind the. He's at the entrance. Yo, boys. Yo, we ain't shooting at you, dipshit. There's a guy down the road shooting at all of us. Nope. He's at the uh, right side barrier. He's peeking the little window. Here, don't walk in front. Yo, let's go up on the hill. fucking thing. Dude, what? This keeps happening to me. Every time I pull up my gun, my thumb is on the iron sight. It's something with this update. Hopefully this guy didn't tag my teammate. He's so fucking weak already.
There we go. Saw just a little shade of blue sticking out of the leaves. He's got the kukri. Ooh, he's got <coughs> shells. He's got all kinds of shit for us. Fuck yeah, here we go. Dude, I got the fattest loot sack as well. <coughs> Alright, so they made an armor bigger. Bigger in the inventory, I guess. Hey, here you go, bro. We're, uh, yeah, yeah, I killed the guy here. Take that, man. And uh, we're heading out, bro. His body's in the bushes. Take whatever you need. Skin him up. Good luck, dude. Yeah, let's go on our own way, man. I fucking I don't want to struggle for. Two cuts. Two cuts. No rags. Two cuts. Two cuts. No rags. Please help me. Gotcha. 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 Sorry, dude. Oh, he's got pills. Dude, he's got pills for our sickness. I regret nothing. Oh, sweet, sweet, sweet. That's a fucking beggar, dude. We gotta take him out. All right, yo, let's get out. Here. Let's go. Here. I hope you guys know that, like, in, a, in an alternate reality, I'd probably love all these guys, but I, I do want to fucking try to have a normal Daisy session here, too. That guy was being normal, but, like, you know, if they're asking for food, that we're sharing our meds, like, we gotta keep the team down to just me and this guy. We can't have all these fucking people mooching off our meds and our food here if we want to actually have a run. Because I don't know how hard it's gonna be to get the stuff. Back down to yellow food again. I don't know if we're gonna find the meds that we need to get rid of this blurriness shit. Do you have that right. piece of chicken? Yo, yo. Um. Is your armor fucked up? I gotta, I'm gonna drop this armor. Um, here, take this tater. That's all you. I got another tater. Take this other tater. I got some some uh, pate. And uh, look, I'm gonna pop you with a med okay. or with a pill here. No I? Okay, thanks. <coughs> I don't move, don't move. I don't wanna fuck this up. Sorry. There we go. There we go. There we go. Blue, yeah. Okay. Man, my armor's pretty good actually. Yeah, I just don't want to carry that extra one around. All right, let's keep going, and I'll uh, give you one of these extra pistols, too. Yeah, that guy hit me once, I think. I don't have a mask on. Oh, he shot you with the 22. Yeah. yeah. Trying to justify the kill. Oh, so I'm just My armor was yeah. pristine. It was down to warn. I'm going to justify it because he's in a fucking war zone. We just got out of the fight. Um... Well, here, let me, uh, what do you have for firearms? I got a Glock and I have a 22 pistol, and I got more stuff here, some machine gun. Just got the BK-18 and the shotgun. The here, take, shotgun pump. Take, take these two shotgun shells. Take, uh, <coughs> this, well, fuck. I have a 22 pistol and a 22 rifle. Do you want one of them? I got a mag for the Glock, too. No, that's fine. Well, I don't need both 22, so... This is... Oh. I only need one. There's a scorpion, too. <laughs> so we got the... You got any 9 mil? No. Alright, well, I'm gonna give you an extra... Uh, scorpion mag right there. Three shots. Here's 10 rubbers for your shotgun. I don't know if you want to load those in, though. Okay. Here's some uh, matches. Do you want to cook up that chicken later? <laughs> Those little sneezes. <laughs> what are you laughing about? No, nothing. This is a jiggling. Oh, I don't know why the fuck I'm standing out here in the open. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, we should, we should go to a different spot. If I die, I don't really care. It's all it's all good. Yo, who the fuck's that? I mean, I kind of care, but yeah, this guy's coming our way. I told him to go the other way, but he might not have called that. Let's just let's just fucking book it. Hey, you're not dying on me, dude. We're we're surviving. We're taking a shortcut that this guy's unaware yeah. of. All right, he's on the road. We're cutting through the woods or the hills. Keep your matches dry. They don't work up damp. Right, right. So in this update. It gives a purpose to have in like a, one of those little dry sacks in your inventory. Not the dry sack um, backpack, but like a little waterproof container sack or whatever. And then you just put all your valuables in there, like matches and I guess whatever you don't want to get wet or ruined. Um, there is some kind of system in Daisy where it's like targeting fruit. 
suppressors, scopes, and maybe some other valuable shit that can get damaged unless it's in a container like that. Blast is clinging ass. Nah, guys, it's like, it's so hard for me because at one, uh, at the end of the day, some of these guys are just in here to test. But if I feel like they're going out of their way to like lurk around me specifically, then yeah, I'll kill them. But I don't want to like kill all the testers if they seem pretty innocent. If they give me one red flag, though, I will happily, uh, I will happily kill them. Or try to kill them. It ain't about, like, it's not the personal, it's not about who's who, it's about, like, food and meds, basically. Yo, let me know when your pill icon goes away, dude. I'm gonna skin this tater up. Okay, yeah. It's still... I still have it. <laughs> Yelled up potato too. <laughs> Need to test the guns. Yeah. Do you have a knife? Yeah, I do. Or, I have extra knife. Okay, good. We're just teaming up with this guy so we can test the new gun on him later. Need a live target. Nice, cool. So, uh, there is a military camp up ahead. Maybe we can find that new M16. Wait. I'm still fucking blurry with these pills. I guess I gotta beat the sickness. You gotta, uh, Yeah, yeah hopefully some of this food. Sorry. Oh. No, no, go ahead. Ho hopefully some of this food will help get filled up. Yeah. Dude, it's fucking raining. I haven't seen rain in a bit. I was gonna ask if you had a sharpening stone, man. No, I do not. Oh, wow. Sweet. Have you seen this? Fucking like kukri? Yeah, yeah, I've had one of those before. It's cool. There's, uh, they said they added two new machetes. Have you seen those? Nope. Oh, shit, I forgot that this guy's not racing yet. for our loot. Let's go. I think he's actually going to stop and go fishing. So, maybe we'll uh, get one up on him up here. Yeah, two new machetes, apparently. I haven't seen what they look like yet. It sounds like this dude is permanently just waking up from a deep sleep. <laughs> He's in chill mode, and I think I, I sensed a little bit of nervousness rise in his voice when we first met, but he's, he seems really chill. I get, like, randomly nervous, too, sometimes. It could be with any, any given person, just a total random person. Like, I'll be super chill for, like, nine encounters, but then that tenth one, I might just be like, uh, 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 do, do you want to... You, do you need some food, dude? Do you want to team up? Team up. <laughs> There's a treasure chest. Ooh. <coughs> Whoa, dude, you're a fucking power lifter. Let me hear that again. Don't fucking bust your groin, dude. Hold on. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> hey, let's take that outside. Yeah, don't. I don't hear the noise. I don't hear myself pick it up, the groan. Same, same. But I, can, I can hear you do it, yeah. It's funny. Yeah, yeah. Hey, so the... When I pull this, I have this pipe in, like, my backpack or... Yeah. Something. It, like... Doesn't do the quick pull-out. Oh, dude, I think I saw that. Hold the fucking phone. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute. Put your... Your scorpion's in your inventory, right? Equip your scorpion from the hotkey. Okay. Why are we doing this? No, no, no. Pull out your scorpion from a hotbar. Dude, they took out the insta-equip. Remember, you could put an M4 in your backpack and instantly pull it out. Now it's fucking slow like it should be. That's yeah, fucking... Yeah, yeah. That's money, dude. That shit was so fucking broken and all the, like, mega... Fucking PvP dudes are abusing the shit out of that. Right. Yeah, it was throwing me off with the pipe because I was trying to pull the pipe out when the zombie was running at me. And it was coming out slower than yeah. I thought it was going to. I guess that sucks. <laughs> I like being able to pull up my melees but, quick, but the gun thing, the PvP aspect was fucking broken. Right, right. I'm just saying that. Yeah. I wasn't as ready for the change. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. I didn't realize. <laughs> I love this guy. 
Yeah, I'm just putting some random shit here, man. You can take it or you can dump some shit if you want. But yeah, pulling huge out of items out of the backpack is, is kind of funny. Yeah, you shouldn't have been able to pull them out like mega fast like it used to. Guys, I don't know how big of a change you realize that is. That is fucking awesome. Like, that is really good. Really, really good. Oh, your pill icon's gone? They yeah, it, it just went away. Alright, this dude's probably scooping up all of our goodies, right? So, let's go. One pill left. No, two pills left. <coughs> we got one more cycle. <coughs> I don't want to make it like a big buried long-term uh, stash on experimental. I will be playing this probably for the next few streams though. <coughs> like I would want to encourage everybody to try to just do a normal DayZ session in an experimental server until they pass this to stable. Because if we could get in the habit of doing that, it would probably be... Really, really good feedback for the devs. You see some pants. I just realized my <laughs> pants are ruined. Okay. There's not enough people test experimental, so, you know, if you like Daisy, if you want Daisy to be good, consider downloading it and playing. And if you find, you know, you realize something you, do, you don't like or something that might be broken, then you can uh, <coughs> submit it to their feedback tracker or tell us about it and maybe we can. Oh shit. Ooh. If that's the dude we met earlier, man, and we just see somebody running around with a gun, don't fucking hesitate. Just blast anybody you see. I feel like Marvin. Do not hesitate. First stream at your new place. Ooh, congrats, Beaver. That's always a good feeling. Getting all set up at a new place. Get all that stress out of the way. Okay, let's see, are the zombies actually going for shots, or are they just, like, losing interest after two seconds? This guy seems to be non uninterested, but it is kind of murky out and rainy. keeps bugging so I can't use the iron sight. Let me see if I can replicate it. What the hell did I do to cause it? You want to kind of stick close together? Oh yeah, sorry dude. I keep having this thing where my thumb is blocking the iron sight. Have you had that yet when you're holding the gun? No. Alright, alright. Wait dude, going. I'm at red food all of a sudden. What the heck? Fuck me. Red food? Dude, I have no food yeah, on it, bro. I think something's... Dude, I think something's happening to me. Like, I think you're super sick, dude. There should be... Dude, there's gotta be food in one of these houses. Let's start... Let's start looting. I only... Sh I only show one arrow going down, though. Let's start it looting, bro. Been, like... <gasps> dude, it's the fucking... It's the Whoa. goddamn guy that we let live. Check him for food. He's got meds. There's a zombie move. Yeah, dude, my stomach is, like, growling or something. Like, Yo, what the heck? eat this guy, bro. Eat this guy. What do you, what do you, what do you, what? I'm gonna start looking for food. Yeah, I hear some weird noise, like, okay, let's cut him up. <laughs> oh, that weird noise is your stomach growling, dude. I heard that too, it's like, Rawr. Oh, you can hear it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. It's your stomach up grumbling, bro. You need a fucking PB&J or something. Yo, we getting a cookhouse going or what? Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah, it sounds like something's swishing around. All right, dude, we need food. I'm gonna find some real food. You're not eating that shit. I just saw a zombie run over there, I too. Have a piece. All right, what'd you say? 
I have a piece of chicken still. Oh, well, let's get, get a good. let's get a cookhouse going. Let's go back. Let's go back. There's too yeah, many fucking problems go. out here. It's red house. Here's the stomach sloshing around over there. Here to break these sticks down and uh, get that shit started. I'm getting more wood. See how funny it is though? Like if I would have, if we would have had that three or four man squad, and then this guy starts dying of starvation. <laughs> It's like, it's like, why do we do this? He's like slowly dying, just laughing at himself. Oh, this is how they fuck you, bro. Oh, dude. You're going robotic on me, how much time left? My, yeah, yeah. my matches are wet. Don't worry, Cyborg, I got you, dude. I got mine, mine are wet too. I'm gonna get you some old fashioned bark here. He's like, system failure imminent. Uh, it's a fucking cyborg this whole time. <coughs> it's fucking wiping the sweat off his brow, though. This is pretty funny. Dude, you turned into a fucking cyborg on me. <coughs> yeah, no worries, dude. I can't be by this fire with the sweats, though. I'll be outside. I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna find some real food, dude. Watch the door. Hey, watch the uh, the side that we came from. There's probably somebody coming up. Okay. <coughs> Time to fix this mic. Well, no, I told me it sounds like a cyborg now. I thought that's... Well, I'll, I'll tell him to fix it, but... People can't always fix that. I don't want to, like, ruin his moment here by telling him that he's fucked. Wait a minute. Is somebody in this building? Oh, that was my teammate that I heard. Pills, pills, pills. Oh, shit, we gotta pop a pill. Come back with your dose, man. I got your dosage. Cool. Yeah, I need a pill. It's almost eight. <coughs> oh, your mic is all fucked up, by the way. You sound like a literal robot. I don't know if you changed something, if you stepped on it or what. Or if no. You a voice meter. No, it's all. You're gonna be fine. Can you make You're gonna it? be fine. Can you understand me? Nah, nah. Yeah, your meat sticks are uh, <laughs> are burning, bro. I'll be right back. We gotta get some real food so I don't end up eating that meat or that man meat. How did that other dude die, though? He wasn't laying like he killed himself. He definitely got shot or killed by zombies. So is this all that a runner zombie is? They just do this. They stop, they run, they stop, they run. Oh shit, I gotta, I gotta get my head in the game here, so we just do... Block. Hey. Oh shit, fucking shit. Who are you? Hey, don't run, man. No! Oh! <laughs> Damn it, dude, there's so many of them! Oh no! Dude, I thought that all my shots were gonna scare him away. Fuck me. Ah. <laughs> oh, we're fucking dead, dudes. Alright, let's fucking chill for a second. Our fucking... Our teammate's gonna be all on his lonesome trying to get back in the game.
Dude, there's too many of them, man. They're like, I think three of those guys, or two of them had shotguns or something. I should have just hid in the house and fucking tried to like pistol whip them or some shit. Uh, all right, dude, give me a second. I gotta run to the bathroom. This is it's shitty timing, but at least it's a good timing that we can take like a five minute break here. Um, yo, Bosch, thanks for the seven months. We got, uh, is it Rint or Rin Tin Tin? Thanks for the five month sub. Spec Ops, thanks for the 19 months. Um, dude, I'm so behind on the all day alerts. We got Magpie with the 13, sir. Thanks for the resub as well for three months. Man, it sucks, but I really want to start a fresh life and see if I immediately get this blurry sickness again. Because, like, the, the whole time we've been playing, we've had that blur. So it's kind of nice to get rid of that, at least. Um, but yeah, Whimsical, thanks for the five months. We got Danny, thanks for the four months sub, dude. Hope you're still enjoying the streams. We got Antsy Pants with the 29 months. Um, we got Late Night, Shadow Man, Power Torch, D-Star as well. Thanks for all the big support. Nitno, thanks for the 32. Um, we got Sword, Wild West. Been obsessed with Daisy since I discovered your channel. Keep with the awesome content. Oh, dude, thanks for the mega support, man. I'm glad that you, uh, I'm glad I could get you into Daisy. We got Hoppy as well. Thanks for the two months. What's the best thing about the update so far? Well, the best sounding thing about the update is tiered zombies. So you have like, you know, different health levels of zombies, different, um, maybe speeds or, yeah, just like how much damage they take, how much damage they put out. Um, I guess there's like different speeds. Some of them are fast. Some of them move a little bit slower. I don't know. The timing of their attacks is different. The main thing is you can block every single zombie attack now, you know, just by doing the basic block, which in a way it's like, man, I want there to be a reason to do the dodge. But if you can block everything, then you can pretty much win like every 1v1. But as you can see there, while I'm trying to do the perfect 1v1 with a zombie so I don't take too much damage, which I was failing with, you know, because we're just, we're kind of playing around with this new patch, a dude and his team shows up. Right, so if you do take like the the best way to approach the zombies, it might take longer, leaving you susceptible to players fucking you over and other zombies aggroing onto you. Right, so you know there, there's going to be a few. It's going to be definitely a learning phase for all of us to get rid or to get used to the new zombies. Uh, but the other thing too is the the only way to get the plate carrier now is to find like the the souped up best military zombie in the game, and there's supposed to only be a few of them. Um, and if you get the plate carrier, it's always like badly damaged. So you have to be careful about killing the zombie, and then you have to nurse the plate carrier back up to or to uh, warm. So, um, here, guys, I'm just gonna lay in the grass real quick, so I don't get immediately spawn killed while I'm AFK. Um, so yeah, we got some cool changes coming. Um, oh fuck, dude, actually, we need to before we go AFK for a second, let's run into a house, or else I'm just gonna get immediately sick from this damn rain. <laughs> But I do want to alt-tab real quick and read the patch notes again. Or let me just glance over the patch notes so I know, like, what we can actually test out um, as a freshie. I know they said that, like, pliers can open up cans. But what are some other little changes like that? Oh, yeah, so you spawn in with a half-used rag. This one's actually damaged. But it's disinfected. You found two at Zonagorsk, and they were only damaged, so they may need to tweak it. Oh, you found two plate carriers at Zonagorsk? Yeah, I think they're spawning too much. Like, Amish, we already saw, like, four stab vests on police zombies. And I think the plate is pretty damn good, right? Um. But, yeah, if, hey, if you guys are new here, if you see something happen in a different stream, don't tell us about it. Chances are we might be in the same server as them, and we, that's, yeah, we don't want any cross-contamination with all the meta. Um, here, give me a second, guys. Let me run to the bathroom real quick. Um, yo, Krev, thanks for the 42 months, dude. Blade Sama, thanks for the 48 months. We got some huge subs in the house. Um, Pond the Beat, thanks for the three months as well. We got Sure Shot with the six months. Thank you guys so much. I'll be right back and we'll continue testing this out.
All right, let's get back in here. Let's start a fresh life. Um, like I said, I'm pleased with that. We're going to try to stay solo, try to not get sick, and then all the food and meds we find will hopefully be for us. Um, you said leave, or, uh, the new bandages make uh, freshy bodies more valuable. Yeah, I guess you could say that they're all going to be hunting down like these fast band-aids. They're already disinfected. They're already super fast. But I doubt you're going to see a geared guy just like, you know, slaying 10 freshies just in order to get band-aids. I'd hope they're not that low. Um, but it does give you a reason to go and like get a knife, cut up rags. You only have two, you can only fix two bleeds with this, right? So you immediately have to get something sharp and cut up some rags. Um, and then also, is this going to be like a sick simulator? If you run out of your first two band-aids, you bandage with the first rag you find because you don't have any disinfectant and then you get sick from that, you know? I think this patch is definitely going to cause a lot more sickness. But yeah, we're already kind of cold. Let's try to get to the med spot as soon as possible. Um, you can get bar with a screwdriver. Yeah, I'm trying to think of those small new things. Before you stream, did you ever uh, run into a streamer that you watched? How'd you handle it? Um, God, let me think. Did I? No, I don't think I ever like randomly bumped into a big streamer that I knew about before I started streaming Daisy. I did play a lot of Daisy before I ever started streaming, or really. I, I can't remember the big gap, but I discovered Daisy mod on Twitch, and I discovered Daisy mod maybe around the same time. And I think back then the main dude that was streaming Daisy Mod that had like the most viewers was probably Sacriel. So I definitely caught some of his like Northwest Airfield squad play with his buddies and stuff. Um, but I didn't, I think that was really about all, all I watched early on. Um, I mainly just played a fuck ton of the mod. And then we, I started streaming during like early standalone kind of. Or like uh, right as one of the prime time periods of the standalone was going on or ending or something. Oh shit, first thing I find is an ACOG. So there is a new ACOG that's like a 6X. This is the basic one. The 4X. Yo, Artie, what's going on, dude? You gonna check out this new patch? Come help us test it out? Okay, so this dry sack will be essential for protecting our matches, right? Anything valuable. Oh yeah, and obviously running mana, um, I guess what I'm saying is back in like the mod, early, early standalone. Oh shit, someone over there, breathing? I don't think I found running mana until, obviously, like mid standalone or something. I think that's where somebody's mic over there. Oh, he was doing that fancy attack. But yeah, anyways, um, I never bumped into him. I bumped into any of those guys randomly. How much do you think you need for a decent PC to run Daisy these days? Oh man, it's always a. Uh, everybody always has their own answers in chat because you could probably get away with what, like a thousand, twelve hundred bucks. But if you want to get a nice PC that's going to run other games, maybe you want to spend closer to like two thousand. But yeah, you could probably get away with just around a thousand, I'd say. I guess for me, if I was going to build a gaming PC, I'd want to make sure that I could eventually upgrade it and make sure that it's, you know, top of the line, if needed. Man, I'm not the best with building PCs. I always get help with that. I've only actually built one by myself once now. And obviously I had some help. So we're not sick yet, at least. Gunshots in the distance. <laughs> Damn, I 
could have sworn I heard somebody talking or somebody like queuing up their mic, but they didn't say anything. Let's see if we can find a pioneer. <laughs> Let's go down Mars. Yeah, I can't wait to eyeball some of those animated emotes. How do you try 1.13? Well, the main thing you gotta do is start downloading it in your Steam library. Download the Daisy Experimental Branch. And then, you know, you just open up that separate launcher. It looks just like normal Daisy, but it's under Experimental. And clock mag at least. I should probably work on binding my Whisper and Shout. Is that it? Did I miss something? Huh. I got some 9 mil rounds at least. Is a storm active on the server? Ah, uh, no. There's no, like, EVR storm. That's only on Nemolsk. But there's, like, a little... Uh, rumor going around that they might be adding something neat to Trinaris, and uh, I just don't know what it's all about yet. And if you do know, maybe don't don't spoil it for us just yet. Maybe we can find it today. not that good really well so what i started thinking about the other day remember how we domed i shot this dude at a, at a mill base the other day like three times in the upper body in the head and uh, i was using a suppressed pioneer and uh i guess mindless was like 100 percent sure that if you have a suppressed gun it does less damage than a loud gun so maybe that's why we think the pioneer is trash because a lot of our shots are suppressed i don't know we got to look into that Zombies. Tire repair kit. Man, it'd be kind of nice to have a car for this update. Just cruise around, check out all the new stuff. Or cruise around to get the M16. Food. Oh, nice compass. Yeah, I guess that felt kind of good. Ah, and it's a rewarding kill. It's up to Dems. Hey, no worries, man. Yeah, it was just Dems' birthday. And I, I noticed that when I was flicking through Twitch or on Twitter or something, so I wanted to stop in and see what's up. He's been playing a lot in the mall. He had a Pioneer, which was pretty sweet. As soon as I tuned in, he sniped somebody off a tower. It's pretty badass. Made me want to use a Pioneer. But yeah, my last experience with a Pioneer, we were hitting the shots, but the dude was just not dying. He kept waking up from being uncon or something. I think it's that new, uh, the assault helmet right now is very, very good. Oh, I'm hearing that sound again. Like static mic. The zombie's chasing that guy. Huh. Yeah, we're playing Chinaris. I gotta get some dome protection. I doubt that 
guy's got too much. He's got a baseball bat, though. I need a melee weapon. No, I still gotta get my hands on a 3080 as well. I was thinking about looking into what people are saying with buying a pre built PC just to get the 3080. And then maybe using that pre built for something on the side. Or give it to somebody. Miss Trinaris. I think Trinaris deserves a little bit more, or more like full first person servers as well. Oh, yeah, the SKS right now in this patch is really good. Um, the 762 by 39 round is so good. It's always been like a railgun for point firing, super accurate, don't need a magazine, find it pretty early if you want to. Artesian builds, I gotta look into that, artesian builds. Um, Amish, I heard a bunch of explosions going off down by uh, Chernor Belota. So we gotta head over there at some point today and see what the hell that was. Cut up these rags. We need something sharp. Or I don't know if there were explosions, dude. I just heard, yeah, I just heard some strange noises that way. It just sounded like a boom, 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 or something. I was so far away, I just guessed and was like, all right, it sounds like, you know, grenades or gas station explosions, but they were too quick to be that. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, there is a lot of timing that goes into this. Like, the timing of hitting them, blocking, hitting them, blocking them, and you taking no damage, but you killing them as fast as possible. That is a little mini game in itself. I guess I'm just a little disappointed that they can't, they haven't um, utilized the block and the dodge simultaneously. But maybe that's going to be the next step. There's just no point to do the block or the uh, dodge now. Unless you're trying to get a little bit of a different position. Like if I wanted to get away from this wall or something, or if three zombies were all charging me a little bit to the right and I just wanted to be like, fuck, and then get out of there. Oh shit. You guys buy the apartments with guns. You guys with apartments. That. Oh, he is limping very slow. He's very injured going up the stairs, man. I got bullets for this piece. me dude you go in there first under one condition I give you a gun with one bullet I got one too let's fucking do this what's the he's condition in the, he's in the apartment bro let's kick his fucking ass here it is take it right here let's we'll just clear out this apartment with this dude and then Sketchily evade. 
Yeah, right side, right side. He limped up the stairs. Super hurt. There is, there is. He's fucking limping out front, dude. How many did you see? C2, C2. Hey, let me, I'll get him. I'll get him. Oh, he's got a vendetta against this guy. He's like, yo, but that's my fucking kill, son. Watch this dude in his natural habitat. for the gun. There we go, there we go. Behind you, behind you. Oh. Sorry, good call, dude. Good. Shit, that dude just snuck up on you, dude. That was fucking crazy. Dude, I didn't even hear him. I'm trying to give you bullets. I'm trying to give you bullets, bro. Here, take these. Good fucking shit, bro. You just saved my life. Did you guys hear that guy coming? Fuck's sake. Did that guy take his shoes off? No, he didn't. Yo, is somebody, I think there's still somebody in this building, unless that was him. I think that might have been. Dude, I'm fucking grumbling like a goddamn... My stomach's grumbling, dude. I'm starving. I gotta eat somebody. Let's go raid this shit, dude. This is so good. Still magging this fucking thing. Is there a magging the other one? Here, 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 here. A little something. Find my whisper. 
It's been chat saying that um, you keep getting two bleeds as a freshie and you can't find rags. Excuse me. Oh, so you're saying maybe they should reconsider having it as a, a half. Wait, so let's think again. Why did they remove the rags as starter items? Why'd they make it a half roll of bandages? I'm trying to think of like the exact reason they did that. So you can't make a... Can you make a fireplace? With a half a thing of band-aids? Okay, huh. What's right that? Here. I just heard it again. It was like... Doo, doo, doo. Rags cause dirty infection. Firefighter jacket, this is me, this is me right here. Okay. So they just didn't want to spawn in like two disinfected or like four disinfected rags, I guess. Was it like maybe it was kind of hard to give them the disinfected status without actually combining it with the item with their new system? I don't know. Guys flying around. What's the thing about inland spawns? Alright, so I think if you're playing in the official experimental servers, the ones from the developers, then you might get lucky and get an inland spawn. Or maybe like every spawn is giving you some kind of starter loot and uh, a boosted position so you have a better chance of getting um, up north to get the new gun. Or like get to a military place and find the M16. I think that's kind of what they said. Is it in this server though? I don't think so because it's a community server. But if they can figure out a way to switch that on, maybe. I'm not sure. It's probably a developer only thing. Stable or uh, official. And this guy had been like so sketched towards each other. Like he just came up to me, gave me some information. I gave him a gun. We teamed up. I don't know where he went though. I think I should just grab the shit and leave. Oh, there he is. There's somebody. What's up, Diabolical? Graphics settings are way better since a couple streams ago. Looking crisp. Loving it. Oh, yeah. Again, let me check that real quick. So our graphics settings right now. I don't know if Gustav is still here, but I think this looks good for experimental. You got to remember that when you download experimental, it doesn't save your settings. Like my sensitivity and my graphic settings were all back to default. Does this look good? Cool, you are there. Alright, nice. Alright, so we need a weapon repair kit for the pistol. Got band-aids. Got our matches safe. Got our food safe. my acquaintance. Where's the shooter? Ooh, he's hit. Yo, you okay, dude? I, I hear you bandaging. Is that you bandaging? Yeah, he, he got me. I, I shot him once. 
I shot, him, shot him. Dude, once. he's bleeding. He's, he's fucking. I shot him in the house, dude. The zombie's right outside of his house. I pegged him. He shut the door. Teammates going in. I think my teammate got him. Ooh, got him, got him. Not that you can hear me. Fuck yeah. Alright, so cool thing about this is we can just do a little system now. Um, hold down two, press two, hold down R. Press three, hold down R. We gotta go tell our teammate that he's dead. He might not find the body. Yo, I got him, dude. You alright? Yeah, 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 I got his shit, I got his shit. Is it any good? Oh, I'm glitched. Glitched. What's going on? Oh. What's going on? I got trapped by the, I got trapped by the zombie. They don't let me mantle up the wall. Are you okay? <laughs> Your death is for the best. Just let go of Oh. Yeah, you alright? Was that attack? Yeah, that's one of the new zombie attacks. Yeah, you take whatever you need, man. You, uh, that was your kill. I just stole yeah, it. Well, you, well, you, the, you got the last kill. Oh. Nah, man, I fucking stole that okay. shit from you, bro. You, you down to go cook this chicken? Yeah, yeah, let's get a little cookhouse going. Hey, do you have a, you got a 22 pistol? Do you need some rounds? I want the sweet looking. Uh, I don't have a pistol, no. I'm gonna fix up my armor if you wanna, if you can cover that door. Ah, beautiful day in Chinaris, it's been a while. So, what do we got here? Two knives. Probably some dirty water. <coughs> My name's Chaz, by the way. Yeah, Chaz. Honestly, dude, back there I was, uh, you know, I was a little, con you ran up to me, said something, I, I found two guns, we fucking pulled this shit off, that was pretty dope. What are you, what are you up to? Oh man, just trying to experience the new, uh, 1.13. But you. Right on. Yeah, well, I was I was over in Steroid trying to do the same thing with a buddy, and we got fucking blasted. We'd been sick the whole time, uh, struggling for food. He was cooking up, like, a piece of chicken and some man meat, and then we got approached by, like, a group of three or four, and we got fucking shotguns. So, yeah, man, if you want to, uh... Oh, damn. If you want to roll, let's just keep it the, the two of us, though. I feel like with the current update, it's like, fuck, man, we're going to run out of meds or food if we get anybody else, so... Let's roll, dude. Um, All right, man, it's, it's tough. Yeah. You got any buddies? I'm on a yellow HP. Uh, not not playing the experimental, no. Okay, okay. Um, wait. So you're yellow HP or yellow food? Uh, yellow water, yellow food, yellow HP. I'm too far. When they start to introduce themselves, I just like, damn it. Let's just fucking team up with this guy. Think all right, we'll be all right uh, though. I'm gonna we yeah. just hit the well, cook the chicken. Let's get, get out of here. Let's go up to the well house and make that our cookhouse, and I'll protect you. I got a pistol with a full mag. Um, here, hold on. Okay. I got a bunch of shit, dude. All right. Take take this uh, 22 ammo. I'm gonna split it with you. I got my own box here. Let's go down and get up all that loot. I dropped it by, uh, underneath the stairs. There should be a pistol for you. Okay. 
I'll meet you down there. I'm gonna visualize real quick, scope out the windows. This guy might be fucking ex military or something. He's talking he's talking about visualizing shit. <clears throat> We're gonna have to keep him around. Oh, that's kinda of delayed. I saw a car uh, driving, or uh, I can't remember the name of the cars, but it was going towards Belota. Have you seen that car? Clear? Uh, I have not. Was it like an Ada or something? Yeah, here dude. Under the stairs here. Oh shit, I'm sick. Don't want to stand back. Oh, you're fucking sick. Do we have some face? I think I have a face cover, yeah. I'm good. Hopefully. Do we get everything off all these bodies? Yeah, pretty sure. There's a mask there. I don't know if that's gonna maybe contain your sickness. Cool. Give it a shot. I'm oh, sure you're sick. Oh no, he's sick. I'm not sick yet, but yeah. Yeah, let's go to the hospital actually. Maybe try to kill your sickness before it gets too bad. There's a guy up here. Or a zombie. Dude, he's got a rifle in the house. He's jumping fences and shit. He's a uh, last house you can see. I don't know if he's hit again or not. He's in the other house. Oh fuck! He's out of stamina. for fucking shooting all this, getting all these zombies on us. Oh shit. Hey ladies. Um. This is fucking awkward. Can we, uh. Can we, uh. <laughs> fucking shit! House, just get me in a house. Okay, we are bleeding. We are bleeding. Maybe. What the fuck? Oh, fucking hell, that's you, dude. I'm on red, I'm on red food, I gotta cook right here. Fucking hell. My bad, my bad. As soon as I saw the guy, dude, all I could see was blood. I forgot that you're fucking starving. Cook it up, cook it up. Oh shit, I'm on red. I'm just, should I just eat this shit? Dude, fucking slam it. You're already sick, right? Just slam that, just take like 20% nibble of that chicken. It's just chicken, dude. Right? Like, you'll be fine. Fuck me, this guy could be anywhere. I've been dilly-dallying with too many zombies. Oh, oh, oh. Is that him? No, that's not him. That's not him, but he might have food for you, dude. I'm sorry, but this is for my teammates' health and safety. We're starving. 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 He had no food. Do you want to eat this? Or we have chicken. Dude, let's go cook. Let's go cook the chicken.
He's like, no, no, no. And before he could say he doesn't have any food, he's fucking dead. Yeah, my stomach's making a weird ass noise. Yeah, dude, it's it's grumbling. It's that new. Uh, That's kind of cool. I like that new update. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, dude, just get the shit for the food. I'm gonna look for food while you make that fire, man. I mean, I can help him, but it's really a it's a one man job. I think if I can just get him food, it might be faster than the whole fire scenario. Oh, you're eating, dude. Oh, oh, never mind. You're gonna fucking just keep eating raw. I thought you were just gonna do like 20% raw and then do the fire. Yeah, I mean, I want to, but I'll have to. Yeah, I guess I'll just do it right here. It's a 22 here. Or a uh, sporter, I mean. What the fuck was that? Was that you? Yo, eat, eat chips, chips, eat the chips. Fuck. Actually, wait, maybe you're gonna throw the chips up. Shit, good shit, good shit. Right. You might throw them up, dude, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I'm going to the hospital now. Okay. <laughs> just, oh, just, shit, low water. Oh, no. <laughs> just save yourself and fucking play this new update solo for a couple of days. Um, where's the closest water well? Alright, come on dude, come on dude, let's go to the water. Wait, do you wanna go to the one on the hill? Let's go to the one on the hill, there's less zombies dude, we're just gonna fucking sprint. If we go down to the town, we're gonna have to deal with some fucking zombies or some players. Up here is probably safer. I don't know which one's closer technically, but if we fight zon- Oh wait, this guy's dead, man. <laughs> do I have some water? Oh my god. This guy is fucked. I love how I poured out my dirty water. I'm gonna do- dude, I'm gonna make a water run. I'll get the water and bring it back, dude. Just keep walking up to the houses. Yeah, I'm flashing, man. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm outta here, man. <laughs> Alright, dude, that was a sweet little fucking- uh, That was a sweet little apartment breach, Yeah, man, dude. dude. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. What's, what's your name again, dude? Uh, Chaz. Chaz, Chaz, alright. My name's Rick, dude. I'll see you around, man. I'll see you in the next few lives, probably. <laughs> Maybe at the end of our barrels. Alright, man. Take care, bro. And we'll fucking blast each other. I just wanna see. How many zombies we got here? One, two, three. These zombies might actually have food if I can get them to come out one at a time. No. Oh, I think he did the sickle suicide animation, and I wasn't there to see it. Well, shit, I could have, like, could have done a little bit better for Chaz there. I think I'm just in that solo mood where I'm, like, kind of being a, kind of shafting my teammates, and I think it's just, let's just go solo. That's all we got to do, and it's the easy solution. We just keep meeting cool people and they talk to us. Once you hear their voice, it's kind of tough to disengage. I'll wear his helmet. <laughs> Rip Chaz. I wonder if his real name's Chester, but they call him Chaz. I don't know Chaz is short for Charles, of course, but I thought it was also short for Chester or something. Maybe there's just a movie I watched. Yeah, probably airheads is what I'm thinking of. Dude, I tried to figure out how to 
watch airheads these days and you gotta pay like 50 bucks to get the DVD on Amazon or something. How the hell do you watch airheads these days? Well, no, I actually want to, like, legitimately buy it. I want to fucking own it so I can just, you know, put it in the Blu-ray. The Walmart $5 bin. Oh, really? That's a good idea. I guess. So that first uh, attempt at, like, grabbing it and dragging it didn't work, but the second one did. I think that you really notice that when you're trying to pick up a weapon in the middle of a firefight, but it's not that bad right now, obviously. And sometimes it just, you just can't pick it up. Okay, so we got a scorpion, 22 pistol, two macrovs, well, two scorpions. What do we really need to take? Maybe I'll cook up the chicken while we're here. I guess the thing that's going to annoy us with the, this patch is, like, you constantly are going to have these little 25 and 50% bandages and you're going to want to combine them but you can't maybe we'll see combining okay two flashlights don't need those i think we'll keep the good looking backpack Definitely need this 22 pistol. Bullets for it. employer there's some real gems in the five dollar bin but please sanitize after going through them all sorts of people rifle through that shit oh god yeah you're always going to see some characters in walmart and make a fire with these band-aids did your buddy die yeah he died of starvation pretty quick and i feel bad because the guy that we killed had enough food for the both of us to continue on but I, w I just, uh, just fucking slammed it, man. I was starving. My stomach was making that new sound. I figured he had a little bit, he was a little bit fresher than me, but, uh, yeah, definitely in solo mode right now. I want to get some more sticks. very bush that he used. Are we winning? Well, I think as long as we come out of today's update with a good understanding of, like, the new zombies and if we like them or don't like them, or I think that's probably enough of winning, but the main win is going to be getting our hands on the new M16 and then killing somebody with it. So, we're going to try. Or at least just shoot some zombies with it. that chicken. I thought I was going to have way more time until I bandaged. Should have bandaged after. Um, and do exclamation point update and that should have a list of all the new stuff for you. It's going to be a lot fa uh, faster than me trying to list it out. Oh shit. No problem. 
How much what you cooking in there? Mm, just wrapping up, man. Just gave you some uh, fresh right, sticks. Uh, we can we can do a little exchange here, so you could like you could just come out and I'll go in. That sound. Yeah, that sounds good. Just give me a good. minute. Is there enough fuel in the fire there, or do I need to get more sticks from us? Ah, there's some sticks already laying on the ground up the hill in the bushes. Go for it. So, all right, I'm gonna I'm down by the well over here, so I'll just wait for you to. <laughs> I recognize this guy's voice. I think he means well. This guy means well, but he always comes off sketchy. <laughs> He's looking at me though. Alright, let's go. Fires. I left some gear in there for you, by the way. I don't want that extra shit. <clears throat> I'm not in the mood tonight to be like, you know, fort making stashes and doing all kinds of stuff. Like I said, I think he's a good guy, so I'll leave him the gear, but we're going to go solo, 100%. Yeah, bag is bigger, but we can actually make this one bigger if we want to, just add sticks to it. I like the look of this, though. Kind of low profile. So what was the main mission? We were going to try to get some meds, but I guess I'm not sick. We got food. I was thinking we need to start hitting some of these deer stands. thinks we should loot this place, but nah, let's just get out of here. Since we died in Staroy, let's try to get back that way as quick as possible. Next time we spawn near like Cherno or Electro, let's go over to Belota since we heard the noises over there. But I think this will be the best route to get up north quick. Torch was so silly. I think somebody in the Discord made a video of um, like a m movie moment. He was trying to put my voice over one of the action moments, and it made me laugh so hard one night. And now it's been stuck in my head ever since. I gotta stop. Oh, I'm missing stuff, dude. Gunner, thank you so much for the thousand bits, man. Never been able to stream or play this game for long periods of time myself, uh, but you make it enjoyable to watch. Keep it up, brother. Dude, thank you so much. It's a massive tip. You can hear the uh, the wooden ambience over here. And dude, DC, thanks for that tier 2, 42 months, damn, I love my new badge. Dude, thanks for the massive support. We got Snur, thanks for that 3 months. Buckshot, thanks for the Prime sub for 2 months. Just skip over all this. Oh no, that's the one problem. I didn't drink, did I? Uh, maybe we can drink in Steroy. I didn't drink enough. I'm going to skip the hospital too. Let's just loot the medical on the way. Oh, the zombies so far? Oh, there's a guy down there sneaking around by the zombies. Or no, that's, that's one of the new runners. So let's watch this. They run. They stop. They do a little run. They stop. These are the runners. They're fucking crazy. Are they actually like faster in general or do they just do that little dance? But yeah, since you asked, let's try to fight the zombies. I have a sledgehammer right now, so it should be maybe back to where it was in 1.11, where we can like one tap with the sledge. Let's see. But that's because they're civilian zombies. I think if they're police firemen or military, they're not going to be as easy to kill. <laughs> yeah, 
Pimps on. Sledge is going to make it look easy. Zeds are too easy now. Yeah, but again, remember how they had some drastic changes over the past few updates? We're going to get some more changes after this, but this is definitely... I think m more people would prefer being able to block the zombie hits. You can argue that right now, like, you know, fighting them one-on-one -on -one is too easy, but earlier we had, like, three or four chasing us, and uh, they get, like, lined up and just nail you and almost knock you out, so... You're right, though. For an experienced player... They're very easy right now, in a way, once you get all the new timing down. But uh, during experimental, the devs do make some changes sometimes. So the more we play and talk about it and feel it out, the more likely we are to see a few little tweaks. Kind of sucks taking the same route, but we're going to maybe speed run back up to Steroy. There are one shot head taps even on military zombies with a splitting axe. Really? So just the little baby swing is a one tap headshot now? Okay, so they brought that back. Yeah, I haven't got a two handed axe in my hands yet. Oh, heavy hits. A heavy attack. Gotcha, gotcha. Fill this up with dirty water just in case I get really desperate. Hey, thanks for the thousand bits, Gunner. Do I ever stream with other people? Um, yeah, I mean, I've streamed with a few other people in the past. Uh, we've done Daisy with the Running Man a few times. We've done Daisy with Shroud a few times. We've played with... Um, a couple of my buddies I used to play a lot of like CSGO and armor with, even though they haven't been around lately, we used to do that from time to time. Um, I do the occasional duos, man, but I definitely, my preferred Daisy playstyle and stream style is definitely just playing solo and trying to meet up with totally random people. Um, but I really should make it my mission to do more duos with awesome people from the community, you know, because these days there's so many people that would probably be, um, you know, down to do some duos. And uh, I think it's smart to, you know, I think it's smart to do that type of stuff because it might encourage another person to team up with another streamer and then they become good friends and, you know, you get a little bit more of like a community friendly feeling going on. So, you know, it's easy for me to just press the start stream button, but I should go out of my way to team up with people more often. Um, but if we do that, we got to come up with a system like we use Discord until we get close to each other and then we try to use in-game chat. And then once we like go back to the meetup phase, we can use Discord again or some shit like that. Or if we have like some issues that we really need to talk about, we can just use Discord. I think that'd be cool. Actually, hold on, let me chill in here for a second. This is a good mushroom to eat, right? This is safe. Red pine mushroom. Yeah, yeah, surprisingly tasty. Brittle mushroom filled with milky fluid. the pros play tactically well i'll be honest with you man i don't like the whole like tactical pro like outlook towards daisy you know like i go out of my way to do the random team ups because it's kind of like it creates this play field where you can't take it super super serious like you can in discord where you're making constant pinpoint accurate call outs to your buddies and you're fucking sweating over everything like when you're playing with randoms in game you kind of go into it knowing that like 
you might just get fucked over. Some things are kind of out of your control. You're not going to have the best teamwork and tactics, but it's fun. I used to play Daisy like that super sweat, like hardcore mode all the time, where it's just like get in Discord with my buddy, fucking shoot everybody we see. My buddy protects our gear while I run back, you know. I kind of got that out of my system for the most part, but you still go into those moods when you're like super geared up down at the mill base and then you just flick that switch on, you know. But I'm not always in that mood. Sometimes it's like easy to dispatch. No, it's because I have the literal like best zombie killing melee weapon right now. Or one of the best. But yeah, for the most part, they're going to be easier because we can do this. Just block everything. I almost wish, like, you know, when they do that forward attack, it's like, oh shit, like, one of these attacks should maybe penetrate the block. Or, while you're doing this, maybe your stamina should drain. Slowly. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's the solution to this kind of new system we got? Because, again, there's no point in doing this anymore. It's totally unnecessary. You just let them base plant and before you're even done swinging you're already blocking again you're pretty much invincible 100 percent i'm sure you get two or three and then it's a different story but the one-on-ones you're invincible I, I, i'm taking hits right now but i'm just like you know imagine us in like two weeks with this new system we're just going to be fucking acing all these solo zombies Maybe they should just have a specific attack that does something kind of neat. I don't know. In their favor, I mean. have an unblockable that you have to uh, react to to dodge. Yeah, I think this system's great. Maybe they just add something that's back to that, like, Dark Souls-y, like, oh yeah, I recognize that they're doing that attack, I gotta dodge it, or I gotta, I can't block that one specifically, you know, just something like that. And damn, it might be a pretty freaking awesome zombie, or uh, melee system. If they can maybe bring the best of point eleven and point twelve together. I'm sure that's what they're looking to do. Best of both worlds. Let's get out of here. Let's kill that chicken on the way out, too. I gotta get to the water pump and destroy ASAP. Let's see now. They said they reduced the amount of noise that you make when you're like crouch, sneak, sprinting. So let's see if we can like sneak up to them as fast as possible without them reacting. I almost wonder if they have like a little built-in system where they're like programmed to wander towards players. Yeah, 
that seems to be a little bit smoother. Alright, let's wash up. Oh yeah, and another thing for like the latest wave of a few of you guys coming and asking about the update, one of the biggest changes is, uh, remember how you could pull out like a full-size assault rifle immediately out of your backpack or like you could immediately pull out a uh, shovel or a sledgehammer and smack somebody while they're waving to you? Okay, so I got my sledge in my inventory, press the hockey. It's the slow pull out. It's not the immediate, oop. There's that noise again. So no more just insta fucking AK commando that you thought was like a fresh spawn. Um, it's still quick, but yeah, not as quick. It is good, it is good. I mean, imagine, dude, you gotta fucking unzip your backpack, ru you know, ruffle f through like all the stuff, or rummage through all the shit that you have in your bag to get to what you want. You know, it shouldn't have been instant, so. However, like a pistol from a jean pocket, if they want to get, you know, really in detail, maybe they could rethink the pockets of your pants or something, but not for a backpack. says have you had any aim down sight bugs so far because i've had none in experimental Ooh. i guess i haven't had any ads bugs dude but there's this new thing i was having with the bk18 where i had like a streak of almost every time i went to aim down sight my thumb was blocking the iron sight so i had to put the gun away or jump <laughs> but you're right i feel like i would have noticed an ads bug with a melee weapon <laughs> by now during one of the zombie fights Oh, you got the ADS bug once earlier? Okay. You gotta remember too, like, um, I wonder, the ADS bug might happen more often if the server is, like, full and really active. I don't know. Or higher ping, maybe. zombies. Let's see what kind of gear they're spawning with. Also, the server hardware can make it happen a little less as well. That's probably why you notice it less. Oh, right. The server hardware that we're on, or that this server is on for experimental. Yeah, yeah. What option said is a good point. for a sec. We got more chicken breasts. We got the means to go fishing if we need to. We got a flashlight for the next night cycle. So f are you kidding me? There's a couple of fucking dudes here. Got a shotgun. Other dude just has a pistol. Where'd the shotgun guy go? Friendly. Chill, chill, chill. We're friendly, brother. We're friendly. Oh my god. Dude, how did that first one not kill that dude? Are you fucking kidding me? 
How the fuck? Oh shit! My gun's jammed. You're shooting at the wrong guys. This is Chaz. What the hell, man? See, I love how he knows it's me, too. <laughs> he's, he's answering. Dude, he's answering how he knows it's still me when I said that to only you guys. Like, dude, you're doing it wrong, Chaz. Let, let it go, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It's way too obvious. I'm not stupid. I've been doing this for years, bro. I see through you guys in like 10 seconds. Just play the game. I don't have to be involved. I don't have to be involved. We got to test this update, bro. You're making it hard on me, man. It's not even just Chaz. It's people like Chaz. It's rude. Ah, it's all good. People get excited over fucking stuff, and I gotta, I gotta remember that. I just want to get you guys in my headspace sometimes, let you know what I'm thinking about, because it happens. <clears throat> but yeah, we're going solo, and you see why. Gun jammed on us at the worst time. Or was it even jammed? I don't know what the fuck happened on us back there, but we only have 10 shots left. It's bound to happen in testing, but you know, just gotta assume people kinda get the hint. Anyways, anyways, uh, let's try to skip Steroy or fucking blast these guys. It's kind of a weird situation to handle when you're like, <laughs> let's blast these guys and then they're listening to you say that. That's why it's so weird. <clears throat> Yo, Coney, thanks for all the gifted subs, dude. Judah, thanks for the 1,500 bits. F Sid, thanks for the almost three years subbing. We got Dizzle, thanks for the three months. Thanks for all the support, dudes. We got Weddy, um, these are random toys, hells, and suicidal anomaly, all getting the gifted emotes. Thanks to Coney. Thank you very much, dude. Skater helmet's pretty good protection. Fuck it, I definitely can notice I lost a little bit of blood there from those zombies too. You can see a little bit of black and white kicking in. Shit, we gotta get our fast band-aids ready too for the eventual trouble. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, how cool is this? I'm at the phase of my daisy time where I'm more interested in getting a screenshot of this fucking dude than shooting him in the head. Not really the best screenshot material though. He's like, <laughs> he's like hiding in the tree. Alright, somebody snuck up on me perfectly earlier. Let me see if I can pull it off. Hello? <coughs> yeah, please don't kill me. I'm not gonna kill you. <coughs> There's some freshly cooked fish right behind you. Listen, dude. I need some ammunition and some meds and some food. What do you got for me? 
All right, I'm not going to do anything funny. Um, <laughs> I I don't have much, honestly. That's, that's what I like to hear. <laughs> now look, we got a couple of baddies coming I've out. Got They're this. coming quick. Okay, and then I've got a knife and charcoal tablets, and bandage or er, rags, not bandages. I got a weapon cleaning kit. Do you need that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me get a hit out of that. Dude, I'm, uh, you got any purification tablets for water? <coughs> no, I don't. All right, well, look, That's what, do you what I was trying to drink. What do you need? Maybe I can give you something for what you give me. <coughs> uh, nothing really. I'm just gonna keep fishing and, and cooking. I'm not much of a pvp -er. I just like to kind of survive and enjoy the scenery. I got you, dude. I got you. You got any bullets for that rifle? <coughs> no, that I don't. Let me see if I can hook you up here. <coughs> No, I got nothing. All right, well, look, dude, go That's ahead. That's all right. Keep, uh, hey, keep fishing. Well, thanks for not killing me. Look, I'm going to leave you with your uh, your repair kit. Let me just use it once or twice, all right? You go ahead and keep uh, keep cooking, brother. You can you can keep it. No, no, no. I don't I don't need it right now. My gun's pristine, so no, no, I don't you're... even have a gun that fires. So. No, look, dude. Hey, these fucking guys, they're coming down the road. All right, be careful. Let me let me repair my gun before they okay. shoot. Okay. <laughs> all right, sounds good. I'll, I'll cover you with my stick with the chicken on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stab them if they come close. I'd feel a bit I'm safer if you just continued to cook, man. Go for it. Sounds good. <laughs> Do you know if this, like, uh, sickness that I've got where I'm, like, sweating is curable with just pills, or, like, what do you have to do? Uh, I cured it with a fucking bullet to my head. I don't know, dude. I was looking- I was on vitamins. And I was on my last vitamin when I got sick, or when I got killed, so. Probably tetra or vitamins. Okay, sounds good. You don't want these charcoal tabs? Here, bro. Oh, uh, no, no. Hey, uh, you mind if I slam a little bit of this fish here? That's, yeah, that's what it's there for. I'm just, right. you know, sitting here chilling. I'm going to replace with a piece of uncooked chicken there, dude. All right, yeah, I'm out of here. Good luck. All right. What a fucking nice dude. Maybe we can protect him while he's cooking. Yeah, what if he was getting jacked by those two thugs and we saved him? <laughs> Best NPC ever. Didn't get his name. Ah, I'm just, yeah, like I said, man, we gotta go into solo mode. I should've got his name, though. Okay, so what kind of bullets do we have here? We've got two mags. Let's just get filled up. So glad I didn't kill him, right? In another world, or another time, that's a dude that just gets one tap on the back of the head and doesn't deserve it. He's got a pretty sneaky spot, though, as his fire goes out. Damn, the least I could have done was give him some sticks. He'll be cooking on that charcoal. And man, I'm starting to think that those guys are ahead of us, not behind us. <laughs> I wonder at what point he heard me though, like did he hear, I think he heard my footsteps before he heard the clink of the, the gun. I imagine that like chills would go down your spine if you just hear like a ch -ch -ch right behind you. You take your shoes off to sneak? Nah, dude, the guy that made no sound earlier had sneakers on. I think it's just like sneakers, like Nikes, are quieter than boots. And uh, also you gotta take into account the ambience, like the wind was blowing, you heard the fire sizzling. Sometimes that's all you need. guy likes just likes to survive oh yeah you gotta remember there's so many different levels to this you might just play daisy to walk around and get immersed into the atmosphere and just enjoy it and try to survive and avoid conflict or you might be that dude that's like you know you're trying to enjoy the survival part but you're also looking to get involved in all the like you know dangerous pvp encounters as much as possible too 
Everybody does different stuff. I think the best is when you you go for the fights, but you choose them wisely. You don't just blindly run into a bad situation like I sometimes do. You know, but if you haven't had like a whole lot of meaningful shit happen for two hours, and then you have the opportunity to like investigate some noise, it's usually more fun, more entertaining. You know, that's obviously why I do it. But if you're having like an eventful day, no reason to take those risks. Let's try to actually get past this place since I died here last time. I wanted to check the military goods here. Figure it might be a spot that can spawn the new M16. No fun collecting loot for people for hours. See, Cold Duck, you're in that mindset that you gotta get out of. A lot of people, I'll see like the occasional YouTube comment or, oh, my ch chest is still here. I'll see the occasional comment of someone like, man, I just fucking waste all this time looting up just for someone to kill me. It's like, these days, I don't even think about the loot that I just lost when I die. I think about how much fun did I just have on that character. Oh, this guy bad. And if you're in the, if you're playing the game where like you're literally not having fun while you're looting and you don't really look at it like you're playing the game to its fullest potential like while you're looting or like while you're um, progressing from being a freshie all the way up to like your ideal gun and loot and food then like dude you're just playing it wrong you got to get in the mindset of daisy where you just em enjoy the whole journey instead of just being like the guy that's fully geared getting kills you know i don't give a fuck about the loot that's secondary am i did i encounter a player and laugh did i get like a cool intense pvp moment during that life that's a win you know fucking kill you start over Usually, sometimes death is the best thing for you. Get a new adventure, new options, new teammates. Clean slate, you know. If you laughed and your fucking heart was racing, you maybe got a kill. That's a win. Maybe you talked to somebody, met a friend, added them on Steam. Go for some adventures, you know. It's like, you got to have those little wins in Daisy. Oh, this guy sees me, just curved his head. I was gonna rob his ass, but now it's kinda... Alright, alright, he's that type of, he's that type of waiver. Alright, alright. Uh, we just gotta beat him to the good shit. Leg him, well we gotta... Oh god, I swear I died earlier. Backpack from earlier too. Gotta remember, if we fire a shot here, we might have so many zombies. Not that they're that hard, but yeah. Don't want to do anything unnecessary right now. There could be some bad dudes around. I want to go to military first since we have a gun and we'll come back to the town and then maybe hear shots at military later. Shit. Also gotta get some clean water. Oh no, I'm using mouse and keyboard. Yeah, so this server obviously does have the uh, the gun rays. If you get too close, kind of flops up in your face. This always reminds me of, like James Bond, though. Mm -hmm.
22. I'm just gonna leave it here. If I die again though, I'm definitely not taking this route. But let's just free up some space and hope that we get something good at this mill base. What year is it? Uh, I gotta remember, man. The only people that are like the ones saying, ah, oh, fuck Trinaris are the people that have like 4,000 plus hours in it, you know? There's a lot of people actually that I think in our little bubble that got into Daisy somewhat recently with like Livonia and Namalsk Asaker. And they really don't have many hours in Trinaris, so you gotta put yourself in their shoes for a minute. I think we can always enjoy Trinaris as long as the server's full. Or not even full, just active. Just a good dispersion of people. Somewhat regular encounter. Not too frequent, not too far between. Alright, no more. Let's just go to the middle base. I'm starting to worry that people are getting here before us, scooping up all the good M16s. Maybe the new scope. I think you can put a little red dot on top of the new scope as well. We'll come back and loot this later. Is this modded? No, actually this is completely... This is 100% unmodded. Because we're in like an experimental phase of the newest update. So you want to test the, uh, the purest, most default form of it before you slap on all the extra shit. I know it's bushes. Maybe they're zombies. That looks like a dude. Somebody's got hard again, they take many whacks to go down. Ah. No, I think if you're hitting straight headshots and you're blocking all of their attacks, you know, taking 1v1s, they actually seem to go down pretty quick. Depends on the melee weapon you have, obviously. I kind of just want to get like a big military base to myself so I can kill the hardest zombies over and over again and get a feel for it. And shit, and I just got yellow water. Alright, well, I got no meds. Um, I wonder if that guy got me sick. Oh! Look how blurry I am. Dude, I'm hearing bushes too. What the fuck? My screen just got so blurry. block every single zombie attack. I mean, theoretically, we could make the system bad if we wanted to by literally blocking, getting in a corner, 
and literally like showing your exposed back to a group of four zombies and none of them can hit you while you're doing this. Um, <coughs> but there comes a point where you're probably trapped there once you let go a block if you have too many zombies on you. So you're still going to get fucked up eventually. Um, however, then they knock you out and then they let you wake back up. And in this patch, they um, actually are like forcing the zombies to walk away from unconscious bodies. So, yeah, it's a little, you know, they're trying to find the sweet spot. It's like, I don't want to be too judgmental on day one of the patch. <laughs> let's just, let's just play the game. I guess we can't put any optics on our future M16, huh? <coughs> I assume there's going to be some kind of optic you could put on the carry handle. So yeah, we're not going to be able to cut this into a ghillie suit, obviously. Not in vanilla. That's awkward. Oh, it's jammed. You said shit. So sledge is gonna make anything look easy. I think the best testing will probably be done with like a knife or something. Somebody replaced their sporter with an M16. It looks like people are dragging loot outside of the tents and putting it out here. Just give me the M16 now. I can't wait. Alright, well, unless we miss something, I think that's it. Ago. Um, he died, but we're, we're going solo regardless. It's easier to go solo for this testing period. I'm already battling uh, sickness again. Shit, I didn't kill that zombie. Let's go to get water. I feel like you go from yellow to red water pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think for people that want the zombies to be like a minimal impact thing, they're gonna like this a lot. Because you can just block all their attacks. Um, but again, let's get into some PvP hopefully where we got a bad dude with armor on and M16 <laughs> shooting at us while we got like four zombies hitting us. That's the type of shit that we need to get into. <coughs> Getting sick so fast. Yes, yeah, so I wonder if we need to try our best to uh, get warm clothing immediately, even on Trinaris, to avoid this sickness. 
Like, how am I getting this? Or how is everybody getting this specific sickness so frequently right now? It's just like a... It's gotta be getting too cold, right? The fisherman cough in your face. Yep, I was by the sick fisherman and I ate some stuff that he touched. Oh. Okay, so that's one of the new runner zombies. Maybe that's why they had him. They're like running back and forth and it makes you think you just saw a player. It's just weird that they only run for a few seconds at a time. Why'd I get blurry? Uh, because we're, we have a fever right now, so we're getting blurry. I don't know, my vision never got blurry when I had a fever, but they're just trying to give you some kind of effects. I can already see them maybe reducing how frequent the blurriness pops up, though. If it's a common uh, sickness. fires oh like getting the heat buff early on yeah maybe i guess getting the heat buff would give you a little bit extra time to not get sick in theory we got four hot slots zombie and pd give me some meds punk at all. Usually you find at least a few junk items in here. <laughs> Let's get rid of this dirty water. Get some fresh. Everybody closed doors while looking at them. I can't figure it out. Oh, so we're always looking at them. So look at it like this, right? You got your HUD turned on. Study where the little F button box is, right? Once I look up here, it disappears. Once I'm even here, though, it works, right? So once you figure out the zone of it, and look, I have to look at the handle, right? I can't just look at like, well, sometimes you can't look at like the edge of it or too far. And then when you turn your HUD off, you just got to imagine where that little box is and just be like, you don't have to sit there and like actually be like, ah. if you just tap it, you can do whatever the fuck you want. You can be like, you know, doosh, doosh, and it's closed, you know. Just gotta tap that little uh, sweet spot. <coughs> Alright, I gotta get some water right now. I just hit red. Oh, this fucking chick is going for the... I'm a snake. Undetectable by the AI. Oh, shit. Oh, fucking shit. Whoa! It's fucking crazy. Oh, no, no. No. Oh. 
me a little bit. Just give me a little bit. We got pushed into an emergency water moment. Plenty of 22 rounds. I should probably be using those to kill the zombies instead. Man, I'm kind of bummed that that zombie uh, didn't go for the first <laughs> set of bones, though. It kind of goes to show that that throw distraction isn't perfect, but it's all good. Maybe she went for the second throw because it was so it was right after the first one. Well, he's not exactly like that. Well, you can throw stuff to distract him. That's all the bolts I've left. Eight shots for this. With the gun rays, can we even do this? Be careful too. Uh, when he raises his hand to like wipe the sweat off or um, cough into his hand, like that right there, I almost wonder if that could cause some problems. Like if you go to aim during that animation, hopefully it doesn't cause any little hand bugs. I got this guy in PD. I feel like I'm missing so many like easy headshots. Point right at their head. It's gotta be like the pistol and accuracy at range. That's the same firefighter jacket guy from earlier. He had a friend. Oh. Zombie. Let's see if this guy has meds, man. Do I drink another beer? Uh, how many are you up to, dude? I don't know. You know, I went through... Um, I was bad. I didn't drink for months and months, but then when I had the craving to drink, um, it's it's crazy how fast like you could sit there and just drink like fucking eight beers, and uh, even after not drinking for so long, it didn't like hit me as hard as I thought it should have. You know, it's kind of nice to like let your fucking tolerance go down so you can just get buzzed or drunk off of just a few beers, right? But I almost feel like some of that tolerance like sticks with you if you're just drinking beers. Maybe, actually, maybe I just ate a lot of food that day. That's probably what it was.
get him out of a buddy here. Wait a minute. No, don't tell me that I... No, 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 okay. This is not the fisherman. Holy shit, if this was the fisherman, I was about to feel so bad. This thing from macro of <coughs> right, let's get two full bottles of water for the road didn't have any meds for us Got a decent rifle though. We gotta get some 7.62 rounds. Actually, I killed some of these zombies and I didn't loot them, right? Take his pants. I'll wear his pants better. Oh, you know what? The uh, medical zombies might drop exactly what we need. You guys are nuts. What did I just miss here? We got Eevee with the 25 gifted subs and Lugs Live with the 10 gifted subs. If you guys haven't checked these guys out, we just hosted Lugs Live the other day. Awesome Daisy streamer. Really chilled out, dude. And uh, Eevee as well. Awesome Daisy streamer. And she's super chill as well. Thank you guys so much for the big support. We got Stoke the Fire with the five months. Uh, Class Clown. Thanks for the brand new prompt sub, dude. Uh, Stuntman with the 17. We got Legal Business. Schmeckler. Uh, good Wrench. Seth. Uh, Rooftop Korean. That's no good. Anima Calls. says time flies when you enjoy. And, um... Time flies when you enjoy yourself. They said these 33 months flew by thanks to you and your stream. Dude, 33 months. Thank you so freaking much. Um, we got ship actual, florus, funeral shovel. Hope I didn't miss any of you guys. Make sure I'm not getting killed here. Thank you guys so much for all the support. And Gustav as well. Thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Check and see if you guys are getting hooked up with all these emotes. We do have the full 50 emotes <laughs> filled out for you. And um, is it Yiddy as well? Thanks for the 7 months. I can never pronounce your name. Hitty. Thank you so much, dude. Oh, did the screen go black there? My bad. Okay, let's see what kind of pants he had. I don't know, wait, this, uh, this dude could have had what we needed, but he didn't. Check his pants on the way out. Might get some bullets from the hunting shop or some of these houses. <coughs> I'm to check this once. Let's actually go with that sweet sweater. Ah, no, it's way less inventory space. There's only 12 slots. Seriously, thank you guys so much for the massive gifted subs. That is no joke. Um, the next thing we're going to get is going to be the... Am or I think everybody's getting like five animated emotes or something. So that'll be the next thing to work on. And if you guys have any cool ideas for which of our emotes could look really good animated, uh, definitely let me know. Am I hearing somebody? Sounds like somebody's sneaking around to our right. Nitro, thanks for the thousand bits, man.
Yeah, so some of you guys probably don't have a whole lot of experience on Shinaris if you did come over for Livonia or Namalsk. If I can get out of here, this is probably one of my favorite runs to take. Um, oh yeah, decent pants. They're barely damaged. Basically, you spawn out and like around Electro and then you come up here to Steroid. And with the medical, hunting, police, and the mill tents, it's a great starter spot to get geared up. And then you can head to the center of the map after. And it usually has some people. Let's do a little bit of inventory management. Bless you. The eyeballs would look great animated. Oh, like they pop up from down below or something. Yeah, I know Mars already has a couple of really good ideas too. I don't know why, but the stream in the game gets blurry sometimes. Yeah, dude, I, I unfortunately know why. It's this new, like, common sickness in Daisy. So, I gotta figure out how to cure it ASAP. Haven't been finding many meds. But I do feel bad that you guys got to deal with it. Oh, I can get a bullet out of this and put it on my macro. Cog is like binoculars. Oh no, we can use the rangefinder as binos. <laughs> Need a nice fire. Uh, oh yeah, maybe. That's not a bad call. Should we just get the heat buff and cook up this meat? It's probably a good idea. sick. Now you don't, it's not guaranteed that you're going to spawn in sick, but I guess if you don't do something pretty quickly, then yeah, it seems pretty common to get sick early on. Dude, Gustav, thanks for the 10 gifted subs. Is that a thousand? This dude has hooked us up with a thousand gifted subs on the dot. Thank you so much, dude. Thanks for everything you've done for the channel and the YouTube, obviously. Too many names list off, but check and see if we're getting one of these gifted emotes or gifted subs as well. <laughs> What's going on, Nick? We got DC gifting a sub over to Bino and uh, Awesome Ass. Thanks for the thousand bit tip. Alright, let's see. Yep. We should be able to do the fast sneak all the way behind these zombies without them turning. So this is broad daylight, it's sunny out, and they're not turning. Oh yeah, you know what could be kind of cool? Let's make the fire and see if these zombies come for it all the way over there. <coughs> I think you can naturally beat the sickness, or some sicknesses, yeah, over time. If you get full on food and water and take care of yourself, get warm, you should be able to beat it eventually. the holster out I got a chest rig will I answer questions from donations I mean I'll answer your question if you type it in the chat dude but I would also like answer a question in a donation you know I mean I try to answer as much as I can regardless of money being involved dude I definitely like talking about Daisy and you know if you got some Daisy questions shoot them if I can't see them hopefully somebody in the chat can see it for you dude Oh 
Yeah, there's animals in Daisy. You can go hunting. You could solely survive off of fishing and killing animals in this game. Okay, let's see if these zombies just show up while we're chilling in here. That's a good point, man. Yeah, maybe we should swap <laughs> over to the scorpion because it does do more damage than the macro now. That look kind of weird. does, but I think the scorpion does like 35 damage per bullet, something like that. Okay, we got two mac mags. Let's store one of these in the gun. We're gonna sit by the fire until we get the heat bonus. Do a little bit more inventory management here. Northwest airfield. Yeah, basically my mission every life here is to just hit all the closest medical and military spots and police spots. Seems like the best way to test out all the new zombies and try to get the new gun. <coughs> Sweating with the fire. Well, I just want to get the even if I'm like technically hot from the sickness, I just want to get this heat bonus and just see if it helps. I don't mind. We gotta do this stuff to learn. These are all disinfected rags. Okay, we got the heat buff. And all this water is clean. Have we tested the smoke grenades yet? So what's what are we testing with the smoke grenades? Just to see if they distract zombies? Or oh sorry, bump the mic. Did they change something else with the smoke grenades? Uh, I'm not sure what part of the sickness, but my guy's grunting in pain. I've been sick for a while now. Uh, I know that your guy starts gr or, um, his stomach starts growling when he's hungry. I haven't heard anything else yet. Okay, so these zombies didn't come for the fire. Probably just too far away. You can't really get a easy shot on some of these runners, too. Need an open fire. Oh, the fire has to be out on the ground for them to come for it. Can't be in a house. Well, I wonder if it, like at nighttime when the fire and the light is shining through the windows, if that'll attract the zombies. <coughs> fuck am I doing? Hitting that server restart is what we're doing. Damn, I was about to stealth kill that guy. Well, we don't need that backpack anyways. Oh man, I should have tried out that main menu music. Um, we got a guy named Shitfuck donating $3 or Shift Tuck, sorry. Um, got any tips for managing your weight? 
specifically how to get enough to pistol whip and jump over fences when wearing a plate carrier. I'm just running SKS and two silenced pistols, bunch of random mags. Um, pretty much never have any stamina. Well, you just answered your own question, man. A bunch of random shit. I would really, once you get a plate carrier, try to focus on like one, you know, one suppressed pistol if you have enough bullets for it to kill all your zombies. And then the one primary weapon, really just drop as much useless shit or uh, excess stuff, like luxury items as you can until you have at least like 40 to 50% stamina. And that's usually the sweet spot so you can jump over fences and do pistol whips. I mean, in a perfect world, once you have the plate carrier and like a really good gun, maybe drop your like second primary, like maybe drop your double barrel shotgun once you have an assault rifle. Um, maybe you have an assault rifle with a really good scope, so it's kind of like having a snipe as well, you know, if you can pull that off. But usually for me, if I just drop all those little trinkets that are kind of like for other weapons and, you know, stuff that I'm probably not going to use, you can almost always get to like 40 to 50% stamina. Maybe even just get an extra backpack. And uh, if it makes you feel better, you can just stash all of your excess shit in like a random backpack, drop it in a bush, and then if you die... On your super geared guy, you can just at least come back for the the leftovers, you know. That'll be like your your few hour daily backpack stash. Um, yo, yup, Def. Thanks for the twenty seven months, man. Time flies for sure. We got Slimp. Thanks for the big resub. Um, or Def Slimp and Chop. Thanks for the six months. I hope I run into you on day one one day, dude. I hope we, I hope I bump into all you guys and have some good runs, man. Cheese sauce. Thanks for the three months. Uh, Katrin, thanks for, again for the 33. We got Skold. Fodder Skold, thanks for the resub. Probably butchering some of these names like Shift Tuck. Uh, we got Coney gifting the sub to Wade. And again, Gustav, thanks for all the insane support, man. Um, Snake Bite Scares, thanks for the 4 month sub. We got M16, dude. We got the new M16 in the game that we're hunting down. Thanks for the 6 months, dude. Um, we got Timber Slick, Catalan, thanks for the gift. All right, guys, every time we have a server restart or a death, we'll take like a, you know, two to five minute break. Probably not going to have to deal with a queue tonight. Um, but I do want to encourage you guys again to maybe jump into or download the experimental branch in Steam and try to jump into one of these test servers uh, so the developers get enough feedback to, you know, steer the game in the right direction with some of this zombie stuff and damage values and armor and all that good stuff. So anyways, I'll be back in a few. I'm going to run to the bathroom and grab a drink. Um, if you do want to read up on this current update we're playing, you can do... Explanation point update in the chat. Check out that link, and uh, we'll be back in just a few. And do it on the way out. Local, thanks for the uh, gifted sub to Uncle Buck. I appreciate all the gifts. I'll be right back.
Alright guys, we're loading back into the server. It's already back up to a medium pop. So, you know, as long as it's... I'd like to see it at least at like a 40 plus pop while we're playing in it. And that's definitely going to be enough for hopefully consistent encounters. Um, but at the end of the day, I'm not expecting to go in here and have a totally normal session and, you know, kill a bunch of dudes. Uh, I think it's going to be a win if we can just practice these new zombies, show off some new stuff, and try to get our hands on that new gun. Um, and obviously enjoy a little bit of Chinaris. You know, I do have confidence some of these encounters are going to be legit, and I have confidence some of these guys are going to be snooping around. So, like I said, we're going to go solo for the rest of the night here. Yo, April, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. That's insane. You've been really generous um, towards the channel for so long. Um, with the tier two 10 month sub as well, I says, thanks for being here. Or she says, thanks for being here uh, for all of us to enjoy with great content. Always lots and lots of laughs. Holy shit, I'm glad you're still enjoying it. Thanks for being so supportive. We got Cool Beans with the six months. Uh, local client with the gift. If I missed you earlier, that was... Oh, yeah, that was going out to you, uh, Uncle Buck. I got that one. Thanks for that. All right. What were we about to do? We we're about to stealth call these damn zombies. Hacking up along here, no big deal. <sighs> Not that I don't think the restart spawns new loot, but I almost just want to check around the medical. <laughs> Maybe I can kill a couple of medical zombies, and get a few pills. <coughs> your Steam doesn't give you an option for experimental. Um, so you're in your Steam library and you see Daisy, right? It should be an undownloaded Daisy experimental right next to it. Or somewhere on that list. Hmm, head torch. Instead of flashlights. Eh, actually, let's keep both of these. <sighs> I gotta get rid of this blurriness. We got a runner over there. I'm not gonna lie, the runners do look really dumb just because of the way that they stop and then run, stop and then run. It'd be kind of badass if they could just non-stop, like, spaz around. Almost like they, they're, they like, sniffing something out. But they just look kind of buggy. Probably kill him easy with a 22 or the sledge. Let's do a little bit of knife practice with the new zombies. Experience the runner zombie. Yeah. Yeah. Too short. 
Oh shit, you see that new attack? It's kind of cool looking. It's actually the attack that you would see on the Molsk, but it would very rarely happen. For like one out of every hundred swings, you would see that like claw attack they do. But with this new update, it seems like it's for every single zombie. And that's kind of nice. A little bit less predictable, more variation. like the cutthroat animation. Oh yeah, you're right. Looks like he's raising up his hand to do the animation. I'm waiting for him to do it again here. Oh, so that's the thing with this, though. When you have, um, when you're coughing, sneezing, or when you're, like, wiping the sweat off your brow, I think if you're aiming down sights, or if you have your weapon raised, that shit doesn't happen, right? So what it creates is, like, you know, this geared dude, like, sitting in a corner just having his gun raised because he doesn't want to... I don't know if it cancels out the noise, though. Does it prevent you from making the noises? Or does it just prevent the animations? Because, yeah, if it, if it prevents the noises, that's too much. That's like cheapo, he's just going to camp in a corner and sit there and wait for you to open the door thing. It does prevent noise. Oh god, well they gotta, they gotta look into that then. You know, they did just fix something really big though. Um, they fixed this bug where like, people weren't hearing any of these ambient sounds. They were only hearing player sounds. So imagine just like, running through the world hearing people from as far away as possible, like crystal clear. Who knows how many people were using that shit against us in the last patch. Um, but yeah, that got fixed. Probably not that many, actually. Um, but it might have accidentally happened to some people, too. Alright, let's kill these medical zombies. Yeah, we also boiled some food and gasoline once on stream, and they just fixed it. I'm sure some other people discovered it before us, but it was kind of funny to see that get fixed. Some gasoline fucking... Or you just like have a big pot of gasoline, you boil up your steaks in it. Oh yeah, you can pass your sickness to other people. Nice sounding gun. Blood test kit. Whether well, removed drinking, force feeding gasoline and alcohol tincture. Wait, they removed feeding people gasoline? I thought they only removed feeding people alcohol tincture and uh, disinfectant spray. I didn't see anything about gasoline. Yeah, I think they could have left that in, but as long as there's one poison in the game. I'm happy. Fuck, so the chambered 22 pistol uh, jams way more than if you have a mag for it. This is rough. Ah, uh, fuck it. I'm just gonna loot this one more time because I feel like we're getting kind of screwed by the medical loot today. We haven't found anything. Bag. I 
Watching you inject the wrong blood to somebody. Yeah, people were getting away with that too. In a previous update, you could actually use anybody's blood, which I didn't know. Uh, but now apparently that is fixed and you'll have the... God, it's such a disgusting reaction. What's it called? The hemo-something reaction. If you get the wrong blood type in you. We could test that on somebody. Yeah. Makes me kind of cringe to think about that shit. That's like another method of poison. Hemolytic, yeah. Looks like in Daisy, maybe he just passes out until he dies. I don't know. What? <laughs> Fuck's that? Wait a minute. Who's that? What the fuck? Never mind. We're good. Who did that? Look at this fucking clown. He's got his hat covering his eyeballs. Yeah, yo, you guys good? Can't fucking see shit. <sighs> it's like clipping through his forehead. Yeah, you got some meds. <coughs> what? Ah. Ah. Oh, he's got some rags or bandits. <laughs> What's going on? Ah. Zombies are hearing each other. As long as you catch them in the back before they fully recognize, you can get that stealth go with the blade. That was weird. A little bit of a delay to pull out my gun. So the thing with throwing items, it's like clockwork. You throw it, they sometimes will go for it. But if you're like within their field of view, they might just turn on you. But it seems like they always somehow know where that thrown item came from. And they always come back to the thrower's area. Which I think that part is kind of broken. They definitely should not know where the item was thrown from. They should probably just stay wherever the item landed. That almost looks like a dude. It's like, it, you know, we're not fucking sprinting out here, we're sneaking around. And they're usually running back to us before we're sneaking past the next obstacle. So, it's a cool mechanic, but it's like, we can't really rely on it. However, if it was too good, I guess you'd just fucking throw an item at every single zombie. Um, but you gotta move very slow to pull that shit off. And a, probably a player is gonna find you. Let's a few houses. One more stop at military, and then we'll start heading towards the center of the map. Let's go with the green hoodie. Hmm. 20 slots, though.
Alright, so we have two pieces of chicken to cook up at some point. Yeah, the blur is the new fever sickness. Man, you guys are way too generous. I look over and see a whole new sheet of alerts. We got Teddy, Crowd Control, Frito, Rex. Thanks for all the big support. Uh, Leroy had me doubled over laughing from two VODs ago. Thanks for the great content. <laughs> Fucking Leroy. That was a good run, man. Um, Coney, thanks for gifting another five subs. And thanks for watching the VODs, man. We've had so many cool characters lately. Um, Captain Squeezy, thanks for the tip. And uh, Harry, thanks for the six. <laughs> oh, such a dainty little sneeze. Um, Banana Jelly, thanks for the 40 month sub. Kind of like the effect. Oh, man. I'm not digging the blur, to be honest. If it's going to be like a common thing for most of your fresh spawn lives on, uh, on Trinaris with like normal weather, eh. Fuck the blurry screen, dude, but we'll see, we'll see. It's like, it doesn't really deter you enough to, like, fuck you over. It's just annoying. I don't know. Is so sick. Um, no, we, we could probably try to find the right meds and it'll be easy, but I haven't found the right meds yet. Oh, we got another one of these runners. Moseying around. This thing in action all the time. Yeah, what are you doing, man? Damn, he got the hit off on me. He's quick. Cereal boxes growing in the weeds. It's jammed again. Alright, we're done using this actually. Until I get a mag, this is silly. This will be our emergency gun. Do you think the popularity of GTRP has led to better daisy characters? I would argue though that like a lot of the guys I run into don't really go as far as the the GTRP guys do. More like light, kind of just like natural survival roleplay. I think is what I usually bump into and what I try to do. Um, but yeah, I mean Daisy's always had its RP scene and always had like its characters that try to get immersed and kind of roleplay a little bit. So yeah, sure it could have helped, but I don't know. I'm sure they help each other enough, you know, back and forth. I think there's some people out there that just play those two games or similar games to them. Huh. Oh wow, so maybe the best way is going to be to figure out how much space you really have with these zombies to make noise until they realize. Let's try to do that again. I uh, know, so see, she turned maybe a little bit quicker and we could have pulled it off. 
Ooh, that directional audio is different. She's like really loud. What the fuck's going on? Whoa! Jeez. That was laggy. Is two kilos in vanilla though it's really oh, wait about three kilos hold up when i highlight it here it says two and then when i highlight it here it says about three the fuck's that all about two two yeah Police zombie. So I bet when you throw an item and they're running towards the item, you might have a little window to just run up and stab them in the back before they actually switch targets over to you. I should try that again. Yeah, I'm pretty much happy. As long as we're in a zone as zombies and a few police and military zombies, we're good. Let's go back to the tents and maybe find an M16. Somewhere over here. It's ambience. Got to get used to it. Bushes rustling in the wind. Oh, canceled my attack. You get two balls, you pay. be able to clean my hands up with this water if I can get another chicken. Gosh, I didn't realize how long has my sickness been gone. Dude, that's amazing. Let's get this blood off my hands immediately just in case it comes back in some weird way. Can you wash hands while you walk? Now it doesn't look damaged anymore. It looks pristine or worn, even though it's badly damaged. Something's a little fucked up with this radio. We'll use it as a zombie distractor. chickens fixed. Unfortunately, dude, I feel like the invincible chickens is only a thing on Essaker, and it might be something to do with the terrain on Essaker. I don't really know. Maybe certain areas. I could be wrong about that, but I've never had any problems killing chickens on the other maps. I mean, there are no chickens on the Molsk, but we got plenty of uh, experience with chickens on Trinaris, obviously. Yeah, different tiers of zombies now. I mean, I'm assuming that the police and the military guys are doing way more damage than the civilian guys. But you can still kill them pretty quick with headshots.
Let's actually get this deer stand first. Chicken and no teddy bear. What do you mean, kid? There's no uh, no teddy bears in the mall. I thought there was. I could have sworn I buried a teddy bear, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe not actually. Are teddy bears in the mall? Oh, there's none. Okay, damn. I guess I buried a cooking pot or something then. Okay, we do have some magnification. Yeah, the best thing about the teddy bear is that you can bury it and come back and dig up your stash later. We thought that zombie had a plate here, but it's probably just a backpack or something. Chest rig, maybe. I enjoy these Chinaris days though, where it's just kind of quiet and we get to travel around and when something does happen, it's extra intense because you're not as used to like the constant engagement like Esker has, you know, and like the Molsk has constant engagement too, but it's different. But this map, you know, it might be slow for some people, but I do really enjoy it. I think the spacing is perfect some days, other days kind of slow or maybe even too fast, but you got to get those days where it's just right on this map. What are the negatives about this game on console? Uh, I mean, just overall, man. If you can swap to this game on PC, you're going to have more options with mods and multiple maps. Probably a better experience overall. Shit, dude. I'm acting... I'm going to be really antisocial today, by the way. I don't even want to talk to people right now. Some dude earlier pissed me off, so I'm going to run away. That guy's got a rifle on his back. Let's go loot the tents. Maybe blast this guy if he shows up. I don't think that was a shotgun on his back. I think it was a civilian rifle. He didn't pull it out, so... We got a few Xboxers or Playstationers in the chat. How is this new update feeling for you guys? Or wait, can you can the console guys test experimental? I never even thought about that. I guess they probably don't, huh? Oh wait, yeah they do. Yeah they do. Because the fucking devs tweet about it. Xbox does, but Playstation doesn't. Yes, what do you guys think? <clears throat> Is the performance pretty decent or? I know taking a tour to the Daisy Twitter, you know, you go to the comments section, a lot of the guys are like asking for the Xbox update and stuff, but um, I don't know, man. I haven't played it yet. I've only played PC Daisy. Overall, that's going to be the better experience. But if your only option is console, I'd still give it a shot. Might be your gateway to eventually buying a nice PC or a decent PC to run it. Play console in the meantime. Oh shit, that's right up ahead.
Oh shit. Another terrible mistake. I'm not gonna lie, it feels, it feels weird. Something about it. When you're going from like crouching to standing to crouching again. It's gonna take some practice with this new update. I feel like with this update, I have to. Ooh, there's a grenade right there. I have to be like a little bit closer to the zombie's face for the headshot. Or something. I don't know, just a little bit of a difference. Damn, five, five, six rounds. Frag. Shouldn't be peeking that. Oh my god, I fucking see a guy. How oh, the fuck is that guy not nuked by that nade? Holy shit. that was a zombie that was him that guy just yoloed at me dude that's bullshit i think that fucking bush saved his life from the grenade that was like right next to him i like peeked just to show you guys the fucking kill and it didn't even get him dude i was so confident that nade was gonna fucking blast his ass Ah, oh, so i think he you know you can still just kind of disrespect the zombies and just fucking run past them and blast them you know uh, I guess I do that type of shit too where you're just like fuck the zombies I'm gonna get the kill before I even think about bandaging and dealing with zombies you know fuck alright let's go for a different path I'm not going back to destroy we've died there twice let's go west uh, damn it that would have been so cool to like peek and just see the guy blow up he had a fucking shoddy yo dude Jackal thanks for that 10 months um, awesome to watch as always What's been a real standout for the game lately? Well, we got this new update that's adding like a bunch of zombie changes. That's probably the biggest thing we're testing today. Um, really, I think for me lately, it's just been some solid servers to play in, man. Some solid first-person servers that have a good population. Um, probably the recent Essaker, like Namolsk and Essaker, have been two new maps uh, that are really sweet, like modded maps. I'd say probably my favorite time in the last year is probably like the first few months of Namolsk. Um, even the first few months of Livonia, when we got back into that. I mean, really, just getting a fresh map is one of the best things, and that's what we've been doing lately. Did peek it? Nah, so the zombies that were running around us, he was just running up, basically from, like, where we last saw him, threw those zombies straight to us. I was just unexpected. Damn it, dude, I wish I could have, uh, usually what I do with the nades is you, like, unpin it, and then just drop it on the ground. But we had the perfect opportunity to throw that thing. And honestly, Matt, that's another good reason to just not fucking throw nades. Like, try to do the drop. Because, like, sometimes they're in a position where, like, a little bush or, like, a like a box will block the damage. But, it is what it is. Oh, shit. So, we're, we spawned in uh, Berezino, I think. Mm, not the path I wanted to take. We're not going to be able to go west. But we should be able to get to the center of the map a little bit faster. And we'll be able to check out this city. Yeah, we haven't been through the big city of Berezino yet today, at least. Mm, maybe the key to this run as well is going to be like get the heat buff or get some warm clothing so we don't get sick right away. Or try to get some meds. So I think that sickness is probably burning through your food and water a little bit fast. I mean, faster than the default would. Hmm. 
Zombies are attracted to smoke grenades. Right, so you're just saying if you pop a smoke grenade and throw it, the zombies are probably going to run to it and actually stay on top of it instead of, like, running back to the sender. That'll be good to test out. Let's keep all of our goodies in here just in case we got to do a quick drop. Yeah, I remember the apple bug. It's really good that that got fixed. That completely destroyed all the survival and all the like looting and need for food. I remember there was a time where we really thought that most survivors weren't entering like the uh, the central towns or the outskirt towns because they didn't need to to get food. And then once the apple bug got fixed, people actually had to disperse and loot every single town. So that was a big change. And it felt shitty too because you were like acting like the bigger man for not doing the bug at one point, but you knew that everybody else, or a lot of people in the server, were doing the apple bug. So it was just a really shitty feeling. Which, of course, I did it, like, in the earliest days I did it, and then I started to realize, oh, this is ruining the game, and I stopped. But, you know, we all did it a little bit at one point, probably, back in the day. Yeah, juicers. They were definitely called juicers. The fucking steroided commandos. Lurking in the spawn zones, relying on apples. That's how the apple or the uh, juice box emote came about. It's super old still. We gotta revamp it maybe with the uh, animated emotes, like you squeeze the juice box, and maybe the animation like fills up a pool of juice at the bottom. I think that'd be cool. And it gets all like scrunched up. percent rice the stick fuckers oh yeah the stick fuckers were back with the apple juicers they would grab their stick harvest their apples go to town poke a fucking geared dude in the head real quick get fully geared you'd see the stick fuckers jousting with each other whoever hits the headshot first wins It was kind of sickening, to be honest. Like, they're sitting there poking each other in the face with sharpened sticks. But, yeah. It's kind of good now, because the stick isn't a good melee weapon. And even when it's sharpened, I don't think it's that good. Dude, we just got another thing of rice. That was a 58er. Magazine by the chair. Wait. Ooh, nice eye, dude. We got a 22 mag. Missed the small stone being one of uh, your weapons of choice. It was just so satisfying, mainly with the old uh, ragdoll system. When you punched a dude and he actually died from the punch, it was like a KO punch in uh, in like boxing or MMA, where you just fucking put his lights out with a with a right hook, and um, it definitely looked way better than stabbing somebody with a stick. You know, it felt good too. You had to work for it because you didn't have any range. But it was so fucking satisfying to like punch a dude out uh, with the stone. Because you know, I think the stone and the stick did about the same damage, but they had way different ranges. So we kind of vetoed the stick and swore by the stone to kind of say, fuck you, I'm going to kill you anyways, you know? Didn't always work out. Holy shit, dude, that was awesome. Thunderstorm. Missed a cucumber. Oh yeah, dude, that zucchini was rotten as hell. I'm not eating that shit. Missed the weather. Yeah, the, Lindsay, there was like a buggy thing, and that's the reason that the weather was taken out or reduced. It was like for the best. It's not because of like a player's decision. Um, but I think the devs are working on it.
Yeah, I feel like I, I had some rain on Esker not too long ago, I believe. And obviously we got rain on uh, Experimental Trinaris right now. Ooh, here we go. What's up, house? Ooh. Ah. The low techs. Be able to get some fruits. Dude, the wind right now is so nice. With the storm, this is like such a good atmosphere right now. I just gotta say. Like, um. It's been so long. Oh, how's that not a uh, stuff there? It's been so long since we've had this thunder. Holy fuck. And then this fucking zombie's gotta ruin the whole thing. Oh, there we go. No, no, no. Notice how he's louder, though? What the fuck was that? Oh. See that new attack? Oh, he's fucking bugging out. He does that cool, like, forward claw attack. It's kind of mean looking. I think rain helps with the zombies. Yeah, so the zombies are going to be more docile during the storm. Be able to sneak up on him easier. Where exactly was the can of Pepsi? Shut the fuck, dude. She had a purse um, or a handbag or something. Probably some pockets. Ooh, was that a fruit? There. Rotten one. You can see the lightning strikes too if I'm looking at the right spot. Oh. Zombies on somebody else over there. Okay, we don't have any bullets. Getting thirsty. Look at this chick. She's loaded. She's got a tater, or potato and a Sprite. Don't even see it. What the fuck happened here? Who's in here? Zombie aggroed on somebody. Maybe chicken? Oh, I don't know. Did zombies chase chickens? Table. 
worries. We're good. Let's just chill for a sec. Is it hard to hear enemy footsteps in the rain? I would assume so. I think if somebody's wearing like their Nikes or the, the default like running shoes and you've got enough ambience in the background, it's going to be very hard to hear them. Like somebody snuck up on me earlier. I, I heard nothing. I might have also been kind of like talking to you guys, so I don't know. that be the new runner type? I'm convinced this new runner type is literally just zombies that like run forward a few steps, stop, run forward again, stop. I don't know if they're working properly right now. If anything, they make you think you saw some fast player movement in the distance, or they make it hard for you to shoot and or like hit a headshot with a pistol if you're creeping around. So I can see the purpose, but I just don't think they look that good yet. Gonna have at least one tater. Runners just fake aggro all the time. That's kind of what they're doing. They just don't run for long periods of time. But it looks like they're aggroed on something. Just gonna get randomly sick here with the rain. Or maybe it's impossible to get sick. Maybe we'll only get sick if we turn blue temperature. Soda in months. <clears throat> yeah. I'm the same way these days. I feel like if I'm gonna drink something tasty, there's just so many like other alternatives to soda that are tasty. Oh my god, there's the pills that we probably need. We're gonna need these eventually. Only five of them too. Yeah, I pretty much cut out soda for a long time. I used to drink it a lot when I was younger. For a fact, like the heaviest I ever was as a kid was when I was drinking a lot of soda, and then I stopped drinking soda like sometime in middle school or going into middle school, whatever it was, and I immediately lost like all that little, just that little bit of extra like heaviness I had as a kid, and uh, it was just all from that fucking sugar soda weight, I swear, all of it, that fucking sugar. <laughs> Gun on the bed. I'll go back in a second. There was actually a gun. Yo, what's up, Lex? Good document. Um, called Sugar Makes You Never Want Sugar Again. Oh, God. I know there's probably some documents out or documentaries out there where once you watch it, you're like, you have a totally different outlook on something. And, you know, for some people, that's probably the best thing for them depending on what the topic is. Others, you just, like, don't want to fucking watch it. Because you know that, you know, moderation and everything. So there was a gun on this bed? Oh, yeah, there was a gun. Nice, dude. Fuck. You guys are spotting the goodies for me today. We got five shots. I'm 
with a mag. <laughs> People talking shit on soda like they never drank a liter before. So we've all dabbled in the soda a bit, right? So Lex, what's your plan, dude? Are you going to test out this experimental update, or are you going to keep, uh... Are you playing Essica? What's your plan for the next few streams, dude? I think I'm going to try to do a few full ones on experimental. You know, I think the devs maybe desperately need some good feedback towards, like, the armor and, um, the damage system, and maybe even the zombies, you know? And, uh, it seems like this update's shaping up pretty well. If we can just give them some solid feedback, I bet we're going to have a pretty good mix between 1.11 and then the latest update we've been playing. So... Maybe we can fill up some of these experimental servers and just try to play normal. Be good to have a few different options to go back and forth to. Maybe like a Livonia experimental and a Chinaris. I don't know. We could definitely do, or somebody could host a um, Livonia experimental, but Sangun was saying it doesn't always get the immediate support like Chinaris does during the testing phase, so that's why we went with Chinaris. Should probably be cutting up rags, right? Because we really only have two band-aids. Gotta get in the mindset of cutting up all these damn rags. And then we gotta disinfect them too. I haven't even gotten to that part. We gotta pay attention to uh, alcohol tincture and disinfectant spray. When is the update coming live? Um, hopefully after they feel like they've gotten enough of the right feedback and made a few little tweaks, you know? Once this update feels good, they'll probably pass it over. I think they want to give people enough time to possibly discover some bugs and some balance and stuff, right? So nobody really knows yet. It just came out this morning. Probably faster if more people play it. I'm going to go with that. Let's take our temp here. Actually kind of matters, right, for this new fever. Make sure we're not too cold or hot. When's the last time you took a hostage? Oh, we robbed somebody earlier, but he was a really nice fisherman. I think we robbed a few people. Thirty-six point six. That's perfect. Call that stick up. Well, you know what I mean. We could have done worse, but we chose not to. Took it easy on him. Tom Cruise tactics. team up with your victims. Yeah, we rob them, they start talking to you. You start seeing the good in their voice. You start thinking they're a potential partner in crime.
Got another Makarov. With a mag, too. Makarov in a hunting spot. One bullet. Oh no, the shop is almost empty. No, I almost forgot about the shop until you <laughs> mentioned it. Now we're gonna be here for the next three hours. Thanks, dude. No, I'm just kidding. We're heading the fuck out of here. Some strawberry jam. Gotta get more rags. Dresses are perfect for rags. <clears throat> I need to get a bunch, right? Four or six. Yo, Fragrass, thanks for the 28 months. BB as well, thanks for the five months up. We got Sweezy with the two. Oh, yeah, six rags. Alright, so we got some nine mil. We got 22 shots. Oh, I think the shop thing is awesome when it lines up well. If you just have the right amount of people showing up and not the same people coming back after they die and like, you know, some people actually have cool items instead of just the shit they spawn with. I think the shop's really cool when it works out. Other times it's just like you keep striking out. It turns into a shit show. Let's leave that chicken. Oh, 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 oh. Dead zombies right next to that nice police car. Somebody's here. Probably heading towards the hospital from here. Damn, I'll take your old stab vest. I got a repair kit for that. Somebody has a clip of the guy that brought in the stained manure bag and he raises it up. He locks eyes with me, positions himself right in front of the register. Raises up his fucking stained bag of manure. And then my fucking associates tell him to get out of the shop. Escorting him out. This guy can't be too far away. That's a better looking pants. I'm just going to assume that he looted most of this. So the storm and the rain is really helping with the audio. Just like accidentally walked right up on her. It's 
Let's actually take that because we're going to make a fire sometime soon. What's the deal with the potato? Can I roast a potato with the skin on, like on a grill top? Maybe that's what we should do. Or do you absolutely have to skin it? Doesn't work that way, but it should, damn. These are weird. Can't press tab on them, but you gotta hold F. Then you can see if there's something in there. Yeah, I'm on experimental right now. I'm gonna do a full session of experimental. Like I said at the beginning, I feel like in the past I made a mistake of being like, alright, let's just do a little peek at experimental and then we're gonna join the normal servers. So some people like heard that and were like, oh, okay, I'm not gonna fucking play then. So, I want to do at least, I don't know if they're all going to be consecutive, but I want to do at least a few full streams of experimental, if possible. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard, especially if the server has 40 plus players. Maybe even a full 80 players, who knows, depending on the day. Could definitely pull that off over the weekend. Uh, but seriously, we should thoroughly test experimental every time it comes out. All of us have been put it off, or uh, neglecting it. Um, not all of us, sorry. I've been neglecting it, and I know a lot of other people have too. There's also a lot of dedicated testers, there's just not enough of them. And uh, we can really just have a normal session while testing. We can try our best at least. Mr. Mag, it's alright. I'm kind of speedily looking for this guy. It's around a time right now where he might loot all of our stuff and then leave and we're not going to see him at all. But if I get up here quick, he's probably looting the hospital or that military tent. we got enough bullets to do something. You started watching with Esker, so this feels new. Oh man, this is such a big map, it's awesome. And it's so cool, honestly, to have people that are new to Chinaris that came in with these other maps. Because you've got a whole another world to explore once you feel like playing this. Maybe save the durability of my axe now that we got this little steak knife. Still raining. I haven't touched blue cold, so I guess we don't have to make the fire yet. Oh my god, I thought that was a bad dude looking at me. Some motorcycle zombie with a backpack. This beautiful scene of Chinaris. The mysterious new zombies. Yo. Turn around. Yo, yo. Other way. Let me get a sweet picture of you. Oh no, she's too crazy. She's too crazy. a full bag of powdered milk. Uh. She gave me so much time right there.
Ooh, what do you got, son? Fucking nasty tomato. Yikes. I bet we get up there and see some dead zombies. Let's try to get the high ground. What do you need to disinfect the rags now in this update? So you're going to need either disinfectant spray, which is that spray bottle, or uh, alcohol tincture. Now they also added iodine spray, or iodine solution, but I think that's to combine with, um, well you also combine that with rags. But I still am trying to figure out when to use the iodine Holy shit, we have a sporter and a mag for it. Works to disinfect as well, so it does the exact same job you're saying? All three items do the exact same thing or what? Consider eating like 98% of your food oh, and then using the last little bit as a zombie distraction. Might not be the best idea, but these pates don't have too many calories. Or just any junk items, really. Oh, disinfectant doesn't work on rags. I gotta test it out. I haven't found one yet. Zombies. This would be a good weapon for another life. If he's about to walk in here. I love this part of the map, or this little area of bears, you know. Oh shit, he probably ran to PD. He's probably loading a gun as we speak, huh? Yep. Definitely. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool to get one of these apartments. Look through the windows. I wonder if that's possible. <sighs> Did you see me? I don't know if you saw me. Just 
barely see that doorway. I love to look at this. I wish I could get like a decent picture. It's always kind of weird though taking pictures through windows. Love how we got a fucking guy over here and I'm taking pictures. God damn it. Somebody walking around here. so fucking cool if we just started sneaking through this window here. I feel like he didn't go out the front because that zombie's still chilling. Probably setting up a damn ambush for me. This guy left. Anyways, see if we can get something good. Oh shit, and all right off the bat. Fucking Glock. Trying to get the binos, see the Glock. Talk to him. Yeah. We're trying to go solo today, but I might speak up. Still go solo while talking to people and interacting with some people. Mills primary. 22 is kind of the luxury gun there that we're not trying to use. Yo, anybody here? Yo, you in here, dude? Took off from here, he's probably hitting hospital. Going up to Gorka. But shit, if he left that clock, he probably already has a good pistol. So he didn't see it. I think it's on the tip top of the roof. Maybe it's not here.
Where would we go next? Well, like I said, he's probably gonna go to that road, uh, leading from Berezino to Gorka. There's a little military checkpoint there with some tents. That's where we want to go to. Definitely sucks that there's somebody, like, right in front of us scooping up all of our zombie kills and good loot. So let's try to prevent that from happening too much. Nag up there. Nah, that's all good again. Let's just get out of here. I'm gonna miss some stuff. I'm actually really happy with the stuff that we have right now. Three loaded guns, plenty of food in our belly. Let's roll. Dead zombie, we're right on this trail, probably. So cool if he stopped to cook up some chicken breast or something. Alright, nighttime's coming, so we need some darker clothes. Looks like them is really easy now. So they're really easy in 1v1s once you figure out the system. They can definitely fuck you up in uh, groups though. Like 2 to 4 plus, they can definitely fuck you up. Um, but I think we're going to see some more changes on top of this update. They're going to continue to fine-tune it, hopefully, so we have the best of the last few updates. There's definitely some good things that are coming with it. Um, but I agree, the zombies need something that either forces you or encourages you to use the dodge. Like, maybe one of their attacks, you have to... It'd be best if you dodged one of their attacks, like that's, you know, the good way. Or maybe they have um, one attack that you can't block, because they have, what, at least three different attacks. Or like, let's say they have like four attacks at least, I think. Um, if one of those could be like unblockable or you gotta dodge it, I think that'd be really good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Or the other thing too is you can infinitely block zombies. Maybe they gotta punish you for just blocking for too long. Either your stamina drains while you block or one of the zombie hits. Maybe like, could, maybe they could do it so like if your character does successfully block a zombie hit, then you lose stamina. I don't know. But then that's going to be if you are getting slammed by two or three zombies and you block all their attacks, you're going to have zero stamina and you're not going to be able to power slam. So yeah, that's why we got to test. We got to just play, kill some dudes, kill some zombies, see how it feels. No, I mean um, 1.11 and 1.12. I'm saying hopefully we get the best of both worlds with their zombies. Because each update's a bit different in the zombie department, and now this update is even more different, you know? Three different, like, metas, or three different types of uh, zombie fights, basically. Like, the best way to approach each zombie situation has been changing. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna die on my, on the, whatever they say. Um, die in the hill of saying, like, if they're going to add this mechanic of the game, this dodge, it's, it is in the game. It has been for a long time. Um, this is their opportunity to make it useful, kind of like it was in the previous update. I think they, if it's going to be a mechanic, let's fucking use it for something, you know? So, yeah. Looking forward to the next little batch of tweaks they do. Shit. Uh, 
I'm just getting cocky. Oh, dude, look at that attack she did. That's the claw. That's that new one. So I think with that new attack, there's at least three or four. Do you not play Escrow and Experimental? Uh, I don't think so. There's something about Esker being a modded map and this being like we're testing the vanilla version of the game. I don't think we'd want to anyways, man. Esker's super cool, but it's a work in progress. And uh, I think Trinaris and Livonia are going to be the best places to test a new vanilla update. Like, uh, basically, you know, there's some problems with Esker. Now, imagine if we were testing a new update, and then we ran into an Esker problem, and we thought it was because of the new update, and then we start getting, like, mind-fucked. That's the problem. So, it's best to play on a map like Trinaris or Livoni, where it's fully fleshed out, stable as hell, and then you know it's, like, a new update problem. Now, I think Namals could pull off testing a new update. I wonder if you can do that. I think you can, right? If somebody hosts, like, an experimental Namals, I really don't know. Maybe not. Well, yeah, apparently some of the zombies do slower attacks or they do less damage or they can, you know, they're easier to kill. There is supposed to be some variation to the zombies if you read up in the patch notes. We might not always realize that if we just like smack him in the head twice really, really quick. Is Trinaris a stable? Oh yeah, compared to other maps. I mean, Trinaris with a certain amount of players and not a bunch of shit added to it, definitely stable. If you're playing on a server that isn't stable, it's probably because they got a bunch of mods slapped on and too many players on it. which should be finished and stable to like Essaker, which is the brand new hotness that's under development, you know? They shouldn't even be really compared. <laughs> yeah, zombies are attracted to fireplaces. Actually, we have a perfect opportunity to test that out right here. I'm going to light the fire. Hopefully these guys don't see me. Shit, do I have matches? I don't have a fire starter, do I? Alright, check it out. We're going to start this fire in the house, but I got to go old school. Get this bark. Shimmy it up real good. Now. Holy shit, Evie, thanks for another 10 gifted subs. You've been so supportive with the gifts. Um, are you planning on checking out this experimental update as well? Thank you so much for all the support. Hope you're having a good night. Husky man as well, thanks for the four months. Just my monthly reminder that you're a good man. Thanks for the entertainment and great community slash hug. Aw, oh, dude, thank you so much for keeping the sub going. Check this out. That zombie's all the way over here. We can easily slip in. Thank you so much for all the gifts. Here we go. Here we go. Nice and fast like. So what is the best way to roast our tater? We gotta skin it first. Oh shit. I gotta take off one of my sticks. Can I still do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah cook up some rags to make up for the lack of sticks just for this little test. Thought I would have had three sticks, but I only have two. 
Yo, wet paint. Thanks for the thousand bits, dude. Let me get this nice and sizzled up, too. Fucking parts racing. <laughs> I'm out of bullets. This is what I should have done is pull out my fucking pistol, my other pistol. Oh, his fucking legs all jacked out. Dude, that was so fucking sweet that they didn't realize I was there. I thought for sure they were going to know I was in there, like they're going to hear me. They fucked up my test though. Dude, moments like that. When you're fucking, you're about to do something, you're just chilling, and a player opens a shed next to you, not knowing that you're there. It's like, no other fucking game, dude. <laughs> it gives you that crazy feeling of like, oh shit. I fucking love it. It's what's so addicting. Get this guy's stuff inside first. Oh man, he almost had me though, dude. I fucked up. I thought I was being so sneaky by sitting next to the door. And really, he had me. That zombie kind of helped me a little bit. He got the first few shots. If I would have gotten there a little bit sooner, maybe he wouldn't have seen it, but fuck. That was close. Best zombie killer in the sledgehammer. This dude's got a big loot sack for all of our needs here. Oh shit, he's got some. Oh, that sledge is like slightly off the screen. What the fuck? You guys see that? This sledge is touching the border. This sledge is a little bit farther to the side. Oh, now it's fixed. I don't know why I'm looking at noticing stuff like that. Totally unplayable, Mandy. Like, maybe you should implement some mods to fix this, dude. The fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> oh my god, look at this. All kinds of goodies. This one's got a bullet in it, too. No, nah, Mandy's done some awesome mods for us, man. I can't wait to see what you whip up next. Or Mandy might actually help us uh, balance the armor and the helmets if we feel like we need to. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, alright. I think that's good enough. Let's just bounce out of here. But he's ruined, his coat's good. Where'd that other checker go? I feel like we shouldn't have too many bad guys around me right now. At least not bad guys with big guns. That's good enough for me. Get 
Gamma's for wussies. I'll give you a little bit of gamma on the way out. Yeah, sorry man, I don't have the gamma set up for you today. I'm willing to use my light sources though. Do I have a flashlight ready for us? No, I don't have any flashlight yet, unfortunately, dude. I do need to reload my pistol, though. Fire sticks? Yeah. Let's not even mess with that fire anymore. I don't need to mess with the, the uh, potatoes after we made all that damn noise. Oh, yeah, I should have repaired the armor. Long time ago. I got so distracted. How important is fishing? Ah. Totally depends on the server you're playing on, man, or the map you're on. Sometimes you're gonna spawn in and immediately find some food. Other times you want to get like a safe strategy and that might involve getting all the supplies to fish. So if you do get unlucky, you still have a guaranteed food source. It's always smart to get like a rope and some fishing hooks and a blade. It's getting very dark though. At least in the woods. Okay, so let's get a little bit more organized here. I'll drop all this food for a sec. Let's do a quick inventory check. Got an extra 22 mag. What's up, Johnny? Yeah, we're playing Shinaris all day today. Let's just drop these rubbers. Hmm. Keep the fire starter just in case. Got matches. Oh, we don't need the fire starter. I got matches. Cool. Got some pills for our future sickness. I always want to leave a little bit of space up here in case we got to drag a mag manually to reload it. Alright, so we're not sick. We're a little bit hungry. Don't have any food. Well, I mean, we have the potatoes, but we don't have any, like, substantial food. I think potatoes are pretty low in calories. Let's skin up one of these and eat it up. stick out is this glow stick that's on my backpack strap. Oh yeah, we'll do sledgehammer instead of axe. Ditch that. Mm. Alright, there we go. I have to be like super anal about my inventory or else I'm gonna go insane. And at the end of the day, we're kind of killing this night cycle off slowly. This is the time to do all of our micromanagement and our traveling. Well, 
actually bust out a glow stick. I think I'm just gonna try to have a little bit more confidence walking around with guns and armor right now in this patch. In like a testing environment. I want you guys to be able to see, but I don't want to give you gamma. Oh, this is where having a blade is really good, shit. Flashlight. 45 ACP rounds. Ah. Oh, check that out. Whoa. Oh, it went on my backpack slot. Okay, so you can still extinguish it, hotkey it, extinguish it, like put it in your pocket. I like that. Your jacket's always good. So throwing objects mildly interests zombies. Does the sound of a zombie body dropping provide the same effect? I don't know actually about a body dropping on the ground. They took out the the sound of a zombie body hitting the ground when you do a stealth kill, and I'm assuming that's so other players don't hear it. I don't know if it triggers other zombies. Drop guns in the mill tents make me wonder if they got an M16. Ooh, there's a grenade. Make up for the one that we used up. Now, thrown items definitely attract the zombies. It just seems like they're giving up on the thrown item a little bit too fast right now. Somehow the zombie's so smart that he's like, oh, that's not a guy. There's no way. footsteps, I think. Oh, those are zombies. Dude, if you're here learning, uh, that's awesome, man. If I could even show you one thing about DayZ, then I'll feel good about doing the stream. So that's fine actually when you kill them in the middle of their like overhead claw attack there. Looks pretty vicious. Left five six rounds. No, I haven't shot the burst fire yet. From what I've heard though, the new M16 can't take any optics. Um, you have the option of burst firing with it. You can do semi-auto, and I think you have to fully hold down left click to trigger the full three round burst. But if you do like a partial, then I guess it shoots one or two rounds. Um, but I don't know, I haven't got it in my hands yet. I just heard little snippets.
feel like I'm hearing somebody creeping around, but it's just the ambience. Okay, so we got a decent rifle now. Only got two shots for it, though. Might as well sew up our shirt. We're going to keep this for the long haul. Dev vest armor is better than field vest inventory space. Oh, in my opinion, 100%. I can manage lower inventory space. You can't always manage getting yourself shot. So, yeah. And from here on out, I think armor is just essential when you end up getting to the end game versus somebody with a plate carrier and you both are shooting each other at the same time. It's, it's essential. Uh, but if you have confidence, just be like a really elusive, high stamina, you know, just some dude that doesn't get shot, you can get away without it. You know, I think I would always assume that some of our best runs in Daisy were the ones that we just didn't really get shot that much. Maybe out of pure luck, maybe out of just good positioning, good decision making on that one life or that one day. And sometimes you get killed because you run out of stamina, so a few different ways to go. That vest isn't that heavy though. It's really just the, the plate carrier and the press to uh, get over on the heavy end, right? How much is the stab vest actually? Four kilos. Way less than a press vest. Or, um, I don't know what the press is, but the stab is what, like, thir or, uh, not stab, the plate carrier is like 13 kilos, right? Seven. Did you watch Black Summer? Yeah, I thought Black Summer was like a mediocre zombie show. Like, if you want to watch some zombie apocalypse show, you might as well watch it. But it's not like going to be in my top shows or whatever. Just something to brainlessly watch, I'd say. It's decent. I'm probably a little bit too judgmental. You know, some people just want to chill out and watch whatever. I look at, or I looked at Black Summer as like, ah, this is kind of on the cheesy end of the, the zombie flicks, you know? see maybe there's like a new season or maybe there's some other new zombie shows out on Netflix or something I gotta check out I'd like to watch something similar to Daisy they also made the inventory size bigger for armor Right, so if you kill some dude and you're trying to bring the armor to your stash or gonna go hide it for later, or bring it to a friend, it's gonna be bigger in your inventory. So I guess that's good. Alright, so this is Gorka. The main attraction here is probably the police station and the medical, and then we gotta get out of here and head towards the center of the map. That's where the rest of the military loots will be. Probably the next chance for the M16. Yeah, there's supposed to be like a new Resident Evil show and a new La or a Last of a show coming out. There's a couple of cool things in the works. getting like a fun little system of tossing your glow stick to distract the zombie then killing it well that didn't work I should use a blade and try to get the backstab but if it was like pitch black and I didn't want to give you guys gamma I think this would be a fun way to play so 
everyone on the server. Oh, let, when I first joined, there was 40. And I think right before, after the last reset, there was at least over 40. So I'll check again soon, but dude, this is the first day of the test. We're trying to spread the word about these experimental servers and fill them up. So regardless of population, I'm playing here tonight. Again, I encourage you guys to go to your Steam library and start downloading experimental so you can play this. There's probably only a handful of servers hosting like populated experimental, so jump on in. It'd be nice to fill up a few with the help of you guys. Man, I guess we got the sledge. You can kind of just wait for that little stabilized what the fuck moment they do and then just dome them. Don't have to worry about the backstab with a knife. Uh. What? Sound like somebody's right here. I think it's just a zombie in here, though. So I'll tell you what, I am not getting the ADS bug that much. Where you like have a hard time raising up your weapon. Shit, that's not my knife anymore. Dude, there's a dead cow right there. I wonder if these zombies killed the cow. Oh, you fucker. cancel that zombie attack. That's what I like to see. The zombie will often cancel your attack, but you can do the same back to them. Wait a minute. No, no can flick? Come on, no. There we go. The ADS bug is still alive and well. It's just, there are a few different factors that make it happen more. Like, it's in the base game, no matter what, currently. But there's a few factors that make it happen more or less. And this server... It's not happening nearly as much as it usually does for me. Guaranteed. I would have noticed it with all this repetitive melee, raising melee, ra you know. No, no, the experimental branch is not buggy as shit. It, so far it's fine, you know. For the most part I haven't bumped into any like game breaking bug, right? I haven't had a hand bug yet either. Uh, but again, circumstances are going to be different if the server is like full under decent amount of stress as opposed to like 40 out of 80 players. Um, so here, just for my own knowledge actually, let me see. Let me just check real quick and see how many people are in here. Oh yeah, we got a good amount of people. Like, you could consider this high pop if we're going to hot spots. Okay, so we got the gun flashlight, we've got a battery. But again, it could be better if you guys um, end up downloading experimental. There's a day one Trinaris experimental, and then there's also some official servers and maybe some other community servers that you can play the, the latest update in. Daisy map. Oh man, it's always. I'm gonna say Namals for now. But uh, I got the most playtime on this map, man. Chinaris. If I could only pick one map, it would be Chinaris. But over the last couple years, I'd say Namals has been my favorite new experience that surprised me. And, uh, you know, Esker's great. I love the big city of Esker the most out of the whole map, you know. But I just wanna. Let them continue development. Dude, that zombie is running right at me. I wonder if he's on somebody else. Maybe that's one of the runner zombies. Ah. Spaghetti.
be the best if you like accidentally pull out your glow stick and you aggro all three zombies. Darkness has helped me there. Actually, I can't really explain that one. I made a loud door noise and everything. Oh shit, that's a big mag. best foliage. I like Livonia. I don't want to say it's the best. Personally, when I look at Livonia, I see a lot of green. And sometimes I'm in the mood for that. Other times it's just like too much of the same green. But it has some really good areas. Every map shines in its own way. Every map has a really fun route or uh, different like loot routes and fun paths you can take that are pretty eventful. But um, yeah, it's very, very green. Very lush all over the place. Yeah, somebody was trying to bring it up earlier. We got a new, like, desert map coming out sometime soon. But the word on the street is that it's going to come out initially for, like, certain servers only, like some kind of server exclusive. And then sometime down the line, they're going to let other people host it. But it's like a desert map. We're going to have to see if that's going to be, like, fully fleshed out or if it's something that's kind of a work in progress like Esker. I don't really know. How long do the updates remain in experimental branch? Man, it really depends. I don't have a good grasp on... Do you guys know how long the last few updates have stayed in this branch? I think the devs, you know, let us test. And if they feel like the testing has been accomplished, they'll pass it over to stable. Damn, dude. I guess we're just gonna stick with the Glock since this one's damaged. I gotta drain these bullets. I don't think it's called Takistan, right? Isn't it called something with a Q? Walmart or something. Understanding a few of these road signs too. Or just some of the text in Daisy and Tarkov. Let's bust open the spaghetti. How do you normally deal with treating cholera sickness? I mean, for the longest time lately, dude, we're just getting vitamins and popping them. And just when the pill or when the little pill icon goes away and you still got the amoeba, pop another vitamin. But, um, it's, I don't know. Usually every time we get a new update in Experimental, I feel like everybody's getting sick. And it has something to do with the weather. Maybe it has something to do with this new update, adding a new sickness. But, for the most part, it's probably going to be vitamins or tetra. I believe. I already got a full thing of tape. Let's go stash this somewhere. Whoa! Jesus Christ, dude. You got your fucking mic, dude. What the Dude, that guy's fucking echo was immense. I just panicked the fuck out of my shot there. Oh, somebody else? It's probably a zombie. What? Oh, that's terrible. Oh, 
Sounds like they're fighting somebody else. And we had this situation earlier where the uh, the gun melee went through the zombie twice and it just happened again. Oh shit. He's got a fresh stab vest on. Let's try this again. That's a GG, folks. That's all she wrote. I don't know what's going on right now, by the way. I'm just going to get a little lean into the right. All right. Just a little one. Cock it back. Oh fuck, I've been bleeding this whole time. I've been dicking around. I deserve that. I think I was saline, right? Actually, no, I don't fucking deserve that. Because we're bugged. And I don't have a saline. Shit, that was my previous life. It's okay, we're right next to a medical spot. Maybe we'll get what we need. Yo, Bomb, thank you so much for the raid, dude. You're having some internet issues? Oh, that sucks, man. Thank you so much for sending everybody over, dude. We're, uh, we're testing out this new update. I haven't got the new gun yet, but we're kind of feeling out these zombies everywhere we go. If you guys haven't checked out Bomb, awesome Daisy streamer. Thanks, dude. I'm sure he'll be back on once his internet's fixed, either, you know, tomorrow or the next day, whatever. Yo, Evil, thanks for giving that sub to Mocus and House. Thanks for giving that sub to Evil. There might be another dude out here. I'm just kind of listening for footsteps. That guy we killed, I think he had a Mosin? He had something really good. Alright, let's swap over to the 9 mil for now. Let's let these zombies chill out for a second. Flashlight for the next night cycle. Us for steam. You want that shit up? We're getting poured on. I wish I leave this guy before somebody else does. Sometimes I'll have like a friend that has less gear and they just run up and grab everything. Yeah, I don't know. At first he didn't have his gun out when I thought he might have seen me, but then it got weird. Oh my god. I can scope Mosin and a Delgrel shotgun.
this point, I guess we're stashing the 22 rifle. It'd be cool to shoot zombies with a 22, but that hasn't changed. The melee has changed, not shooting them in the head. So, nothing new there. I'm dump that out later though, maybe get a 22 pistol for zombies in the future. We're probably gonna ditch this too for the shoddy. I didn't even look at the other stuff, but I see what you guys are saying. I'm going to go back and check in a few. Alright, so we'll probably just pick whichever zombie killer has the most ammo and drop everything else. Um, that's weird, I was just locked in a slow walk all of a sudden. This guy had been doing some looting and looking back, he's dressed like a medic. Maybe he was he was probably making an effort to approach me without killing. But at the end of the day, you can could have only been looting today. So it's not like you had some mega long-term medic roleplay character all fleshed out. Holy shit, you're right, I did have a scout. My god. Holy. Alright, what's my inventory looking like? Fuck, he's got a car battery too. 10 kilos. This thing is loaded. If we could find the new scope and put it on here, that'd be sweet to test out. and probably keep all three of these somehow. Let's pick all this shit back up in a second. Let me just start from the bottom. His bag's ruined, so we have to keep ours. Pistol. We'll go somewhere else and organize all this. Let's make one improvised suppressor and toss it on. I don't worry about suppressors, man. I think they make you do less damage, obviously. Just ditch this stuff. Let's get a little bit loose with it. I'm starting to think if I know the guy is super armored, I just want to go loud to make sure he dies. Mm. I want all these things. That's probably good enough. Use up that saline as well. Yeah, we don't have an IV star kit, do we? We'll take that saline to the medical and try to get hooked up. Oh, drop the binos, of course, of course, because I have scopes. Sometimes you just like look at that item and assume that it's great. Oh, I'm glad you like, uh, watching the solo sessions, man. I love it, man. I used to only play this game solo for the longest time. Gotta switch it up, though, every once in a while. 
We already got a couple of knives. We got a knife in our boots. Leather sewing kit. Alright, that's cool me. We can leave this for the next guy that leads this place. Last little bit of zombie killing ammo. Here we drop the sledge. Yeah, it's undeniable that the sledge is such a good zombie killer though. I don't know. I want to drop it. And I guess we could. If we just use the knife and the pistol. Definitely could drop it. Head torch. What about the head torch? some meds and then we'll get up on the hill and try to snipe this place out. I bet somebody's showing up. <laughs> Good news, that best. Oh, we got one. We got a pristine one. That's all that matters. I guess going from worn to pristine is a pretty good step if you can do it. Ah, oh, yeah. One reason to drop the sledge, though, and focus on a knife is so we don't have to think about if we can do the stealth attack or not. You just always have a weapon that can. Um, but at the same time, you can just walk up and smash him in the head with a power attack. Pretty much the same as a stealth kill. If you got the stamina. Definitely want those jeans. What's your deal? Get in there. Okay, so we need an IV starter kit to hook up the saline bag. I am regenerating my blood pretty quick though, back in the white. Full set of hunting. Oh dude, that guy we killed. He did a fucking swaparoo at the last second. Think about it. Well, I guess it makes sense, though. He went from full white hunter, because he had all that gear looting hunting shit, to full red medical right in here, I bet. I guess isn't. I don't know what that, if that matters much, but... Clearly, he likes to be in bright colors. People in bright col or, uh, colors usually like to be seen. If he's a medic, fair play. You know, I'd want to be seen too if I was a medic so I can help people out, but not as a, uh, a hunter or sniper. Would you look at that? A can of opened mystery food. Now the question is, did somebody open this? Or is that a new thing? You just find it opened... If you're like desperate, you just get super lucky. I mean, I'll eat 20% of it, right? Because I know that'll be okay. <laughs> Did somebody really do that? Maybe. It's only right that we leave it for the next guy. 
it was a walking armory, right? I mean, in my eyes, not to sound too crazy here, but in my eyes, he was a fucking geared dude that wanted to look like a like a friendly medic, but it is what it is. It's all good. right into it so we can actually get the kill. Twenty three percent. I think you can eat at least twenty five percent. I don't know the exact amount that you can eat. house Somebody's just chilling up there. Ah, that weapon raise gets you. What if you pop a vitamin and then eat the mystery food? And, oh, good question. Can you just slam the whole thing in one sitting? I don't know. I think it's something about getting too much in your belly. I feel like it fills you up a lot, but it doesn't provide a whole lot of nutrition. So maybe if you eat too much, you throw up. I'm not quite sure. You can easily pull off the mystery food though. You just eat a little bit of it until your food arrow starts going back down again, and then you're free to continue eating. You can finish it by yourself pretty quick that way, I think. There's like a time frame where they say even if you space it out, if you ate it within all of it within a certain amount of time, you're still gonna puke. Maybe there's something like that. And I would hope there are some mysteries, even if you're an experienced player where you're just like, oh, I don't know. I usually try to keep it that way. I don't really need to know everything down to a science. like a leaf flying. I think it's a dude. I can't do the... Hold on a second. How much stamina do I have? Let's see how many weapon melees we can do. Oh. One, two... Uh, you get like that extra one at the end if you spam it, that's kind of weird. We don't actually need a zombie to test this. So we got a little bit less than half stamina, we can do one, two. Alright, and that's all. But then watch this. If we spam the fuck out of it, you do three. That's a little weird. Let's just bring it on. 
so I can kill some zombies. Keep going back and forth with my hotkeys today. See why the uh, some servers take out that weapon raise. That wasn't the best example, but it gets so annoying when there's like a player about to kill your teammate and you just cannot get that extra inch through a window or something. She heard something. Shots like that. They're canceling out my weapon melee. Let's try that again. Nah, dude, that feels like trash. Something with the new update is, uh... It's really fucking up the gun melee. So that battery that we found on the zombie had like a random durability to it, random charge left. Yeah, I don't know, it's funny because I remember when the other experimental update came out, we were feeling a lot of like ghost gun bashes or ghost pistol whips. Um, and then when I think it, when it passed stable, I didn't notice it as bad. And now sure enough, this update again feels like we have more ghost hits. Or maybe it's not a ghost hit, maybe it is the zombie hit canceling our hit. But I don't know if that should be possible. Like, fucking... I feel like the only way to get out of a zombie, or some of the bullshit zombie moments, is just to smack him with your gun and then take a few steps away. 
Yeah, DZSA is still nice. I love checking in on DZSA to see the server list and the populations real quick rather than dealing with the Steam Launcher, but you can really just get away with using the Steam Launcher only right now. Um, I still go back and forth. Seems only up when they're attacking straight on. Yeah, and that's usually when you're doing the pistol melee, right? Or the weapon melee is when they're in your face. I gotta find a weapon repair kit. Still going strong. Yeah, we've been out for about seven hours. I don't want to overdo it since we're going to have another full session of the testing next, or, uh, next stream, but we'll be on for at least another like one to three hours. Um, I want to at least get all the way down to the Northwest Airfield and maybe Tizzy. And if I don't get the M16, so be it. We'll have a mission for next time, but I got to at least get down there once today. I don't normally like racing for stuff, so that's why I'm not doing that. It becomes a little bit too stressful when you're like racing for one specific thing. You might miss out on some of the, the fun on the way. Mm, and you might actually ruin the new stuff for yourself, you know, if you're like, you get it and you're just like, oh, that's it, okay. Oh, I have a cleaning kit in my pants? Oh. I guess I was saying we just need to use one. Forgot I had one. Uh. What's the big deal about the M16? They came out in the 60s and soldiers complained about them. Well, I look at Daisy as more of an older school game where it would be more neat for me to see older, less effective weapons in the mix than like high tier, you know, latest fucking 60 round assault rifle, the best shit on it, up to date, 2021, you know? Like, I definitely want more civilian old school guns in the game. But, uh, I don't know, man. I swear, from my point of view, I heard that the M16 burst fire was being added by, like, some modder that figured out how to mod it in. And then, like, a week later, we heard it was coming to official stable day Z. Now, I don't think those two things are linked, I guess. Or maybe they're just two separate things. But, um, I, I don't know. I guess just the burst fire capabilities became possible in the Daisy world, and some people jumped on it, and now we're getting it. So. Now... I was thinking originally that'd be cool if it was just locked to burst fire. So it's a totally unique gun. It's kind of hard to use. You can't put optics on it right now. But I think you can still select semi-auto. Can you select full auto? I don't know. I haven't got it yet. Um, but yeah, it's, at the end of the day, it's going to be interesting to see if when we do have it, are we using semi primarily or are we actually using the burst fire when like, you know, it's life or death versus geared guys. So I don't know. But yeah, this game is less about, like, super juiced up guns, in my opinion, man. It's all about the the civilian stuff and the lower tier military shit. I mean, you can get the crazy guns and mods and stuff for sure, if you want them. Certain servers have them.
the hell is that thing? Is that a mushroom? Oyster mushroom. Looked like an ear. Small cluster of rubbery mushrooms. Tough, but tasty if properly prepared. Yeah, nobody's got time for that shit. Give me some of that now. I wonder if you can eat while you're on your back like this. See if this is saving my scope state. Yeah, okay, it is. No shortage of noise. Let's get up in this building and chill for a few minutes. It'd be kind of cool if somebody showed up in the town and we could snipe it out. second can you fucking block with guns now or am i bugged out of my mind because i'm doing shit too fast no way what wait you can block with guns now no no there's no fucking way dude because you need to back up and shoot people you need to back step. Like, what if... No, this is impossible, dude, because there's a guy right here, and you're backing up to shoot him, and you're just like, uh, eh, I'm fucking bugged, dude. There's no way. Okay, so I think what happened... I'm doing things... Daisy has a problem where, like, they want to do their animations, but if you know the mechanics, you can do things so fast that, like, you're opening a door while raising your gun while doing this other thing, and I think we fucking bugged ourselves out by doing two animations at the same time. Oh, so I just raised my gun, it kicked me back out. Now I committed to it. But I'm still bugged. That was weird though, that was like the ADS bug where it forces you to stop aiming right there. Alright, alright, it's good that we're discovering new stuff. Let's try the basics, so... <laughs> jump in. Let's do F5. No, let's do another like animation maybe. Damn. <laughs> that dodgy mushroom. Let's do like a fake log out. Hmm. There we go. So one of the things used to be to like punch a wall that'll stabilize you. But I thought that was the same as jumping. Like, if you punch something, it kind of, like, re, uh, I guess it restarts your character's position or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> Solution. Punch shit. Mission accomplished. And honestly, who knows? Like, there was probably... A couple of random team-ups out there, people are having a great time. And they fucking re-logged and ruined it all. Got to the back of the line in queue. And all they had to do was punch something. You never know. The other thing too is like, you know, you get up on something like this. And you just jump off. And that's enough to like, allow you to use your inventory if you can't access it. Or maybe uh, debug you.
Yeah, we'd have to watch it back. I think it was a combination of opening the door and raising my gun to clear out the room. And that's what caused the bug. How to debug yourself, yeah. And I'd, if I can help in any way, because I know that's the department that's the worst to deal with when you gotta wait in queue after a hand bug or something. You gotta run through all those little troubleshooting steps before you give up. It is silly. It's like one of those things you have to learn before you can enjoy the game, I guess, is some of the bug fixes. God. Alright, well, if we do see people up here, they're probably just bums that we have way more gear than. So let's go to the center of the map. <laughs> mm, actually our food, our apple is full right now, so I'm not going to stress over chicken. How did that happen? Maybe this is the character that we started off by eating two different things of rice. Didn't that handbook happen to you before and you had to tie your hands up to fix it? Yeah, another uh, troubleshooting method is getting your hands tied up. Sometimes you can't do that if you're bugged, but you can have somebody else do it for you. But yeah, some bugs you just can't use your hands, so that's not an option. No, I haven't had the M16 yet. I know probably a few people grabbed it earlier. Probably the first wave of people that were testing out this update. I'm sure somebody out there had it. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be our mission for tonight and probably our mission for the next couple streams. But damn, at this point, I've got so much gear. I don't need anything except for the new stuff. I'm set. New scope and new gun. Probably at this point, we could uh, definitely slim down, try to get as much stamina as possible. And I hate to see the sledgehammer go, but that's going to be the easiest way to get stamina. Yeah, I don't think the M16 is going to be like farthest tier military loot. It's probably going to end up being like the first military tier you find. You might have a chance of finding it. I don't think it should be too rare. Do we really need a compass on Chinaris? Maybe. We'll try to get lost. After Novian Star, or after like the airfield and Tizzy, then maybe we could try to get lost after that. So plate care is only on zombies now. Yeah, that's another like really good topic we should talk about is you can only get the plate care, like the best armor, on certain military zombies. So it's not spawning in the world anymore, you have to actually find the zombie. And apparently it's always badly damaged when they're wearing it. So you can't just light it up with your M4, you actually have to be careful. Headshot it, or stealth kill it, melee in, in the right areas, I don't know what you gotta do. But yeah, just make sure you don't shoot it. Um, and then you gotta repair it. So, there's a lot that goes into it instead of just like, Oh, first thing I found in this military base was a, a pristine plate carrier on the ground, you know? So I think that's a good change. As long as the zombies aren't too common with it. And we gotta see, what about the other armor types? Like, how do you get stab vests and press vests? Is that also zombies only? Or are those in the, in the uh, world spawns? 
That's an interesting way to adjust how strong it is. I agree. I think the way to get it is cool, but they still need to nerf it a little bit. If it's a tank in like three 308 shots, it should definitely be nerfed a little bit still. Um, but here's the deal though. Here's the catch. In all the previous versions of Daisy up until now, the arms counted as being armored when you had the armor on. And a lot of fights where you're noticing how OP armor is, it's when like you're shooting at each other, you've got your gun like this, and a lot of the times their bullets hit you in the arms or the hand, and uh, they were tanking some rounds. So now with this new patch, you're going to have a shoulder area and an arm area that's just flesh. It's totally exposed. Um, so that alone is going to be maybe a bit of a change. But I'm not going to know until we shoot some dudes and get into some fights. Yeah, so many uh, kills have been prevented because of the hands and arms. And yeah, as cool as it is to have the scout, this shares ammo with the new gun. So I should try to save my 5.56 with the M16, maybe. The arm and leg damage was decreased. Right, but I'd rather have decreased arm damage than plate carrier arms. Damage is also reduced for leg shots, so you might not go uncon when you break a leg now. Nice, and I could have sworn in the previous patch there was a time or two where I didn't go uncon with a broken leg. But now that's going to happen more often. Or, uh, yeah, I think I snapped a leg from falling and I didn't go uncon like once. You want a tizzy? Uh, right now we're just going to the closest military spot, which is going to be Starry Sabor. After that, we'll probably hit all the military spots on the way to Tizzy, yeah. The goal is the M16. Really, uh, not just that, but also there should be like another tier of military zombies that I haven't fought yet. So I gotta find them. I love Chinaris. Oh yeah, dude, this is a good reason to play some Chinaris for those of us that uh, haven't played it in a while. Maybe people that have like barely played it, you know, if they got in during the mosque or whatever. Melee weapons now suck. Uh, I don't know what you've been doing, dude. If you hit the headshots, there's a lot of good melees now in this update. Like civilian zombies, you just hit them in the head. You can do like a, like a one-hit power attack with a sledge. You can do a two-hit power attack with knives. This update made the zombies easier, I think, if you're doing uh, 1v1s. You just gotta get the right melee weapons. They reduce armor on zombie heads. That's a great change. Also, like, less helmets in general on zombies. Hmm. Yeah, which might make it go from, like, a two-hit power attack to a four-hit headshot or something if they have the right helmet on. Do you want experimental or an actual server? Oh, we're on experimental, dude, because it's the first day of this new update being tested. Um, and as long as we have a decent player count, we're going to try to have a normal session. So it's something I'm not really going to discuss too much. But yeah, this is Novi Sabor. Let's scope it out, and then we'll go hit the Miltensis story. Dude, Langs, thanks for the seven months. Texas, thanks for the 39 months sub. Now oh, we got Batista, Illist, um, Anglo. I always forgot to say your name. Anglo Saxon Jackson, thanks for the seven months sub, dude. We got Carl, thanks for the 41 months. Um, that's a long time, dude. Thanks for all the support. O2 Blue, thanks for the eight. And uh, dude, it's me. Thanks for using your Prime sub again for four months. Uh, don't like that they nerfed the suppressors on weapons. 
Ah, I mean, what's the deal? They're making it so your suppressor is going to break a little bit faster now in this update. I don't know. First of all, lately, I think we've been getting robbed of some kills because suppress shots do less damage, especially at range. And also, I think Daisy is best when uh, there's more loud shots than suppress shots. It makes the map feel more active. It brings people together. It, it's more exciting, you know, more risky when you're making noise and firing. It's like more valuable to use a bullet. Fuck suppressors if you ask me, dude. I think Daisy would be the best if suppressors were just like obscenely rare. It's really rare. Um, but that's also because I just play so much. There's some guys that definitely appreciate being able to take out their zombies with a suppressed pistol. It definitely feels good. Or you're like the solo guy taking out a squad and your only chance is because you have a suppressed rifle. You know, that feels good too. But, you know, sometimes it's just the fucking, there's too many of them. Or some dude's like relying on constant improvised bottle suppressors. Every snipe shot he takes. Being super sneaky. Nobody's here, from the looks of it. I usually go down to the hunting camp, but actually they didn't mention the hunting zombies being buffed up. I wonder if they could afford to do that as well. Fire? Wait, did you see a fire down there? No way. Did you see some uh, smoke coming out of a chimney? <sighs> Are you talking about like maybe a heli crash? I guess I have seen a heli crash out in this field before. That's Starry Military right there. Dude, I'm not seeing it. Did the fire just go out or something? I have a bad habit of doing a mix of like scoping areas out and reading chat at the same time, so I'm definitely going to miss some shit. Um, far tree line looks like smoke from the corner of your eye. Oh, the far tree line. Okay. Let's just do a full sweep. The, oh, the tree line itself looks like smoke. Okay. Well, let's see if there's somebody over there. I see something like moving in the sky, but that's not smoke. It's like a little graphical problem. Somebody's out here cooking his meat, and I'm this geared up. He might not be the biggest fish to fry out here. We gotta go for the geared guys our size. Don't you see zombies in and around the town if there's a player down there? You know what, I'm trying to get that out of my mind completely, but I guess you're right. We didn't see too many zombies, if even any. I guess I wasn't really paying attention. Um, there used to be this thing in the game, and I guess it's still kind of there, where you'd get within a certain range, scope in. If there was no zombies, then you knew there was nobody within, like, 600 meters. And I personally hated that. It took away the mystery within seconds. And Daisy heavily relies on mystery. So, I don't like that. And even if I'm aware of it, I'm not going to say it out loud all the time. Um... At any point, somebody could show up, they could log in, they could enter the zone, whatever, you know, so I'm just going to try to stay optimistic. And I guess that is somewhat in the game. 
still, which is disappointing if you ask me. You shouldn't be able to metagame an area based off of zombies within seconds, but uh, yeah, I mean, I guess at the end of the day it rewards the dude that scopes out an area from a distance, and not everybody has the patience to do that. A lot of people just run in. So, I guess there's pros and cons. Different play styles. But yeah, again, I, I still think it shouldn't be shouldn't be possible to just know anything for sure off of zombies. Look at this. We got a fucking cow being chased by zombies. And you see that little movement didn't give me like a heart r or like a rush of adrenaline because I'm thinking like, ah, he's probably fucking right. There's nobody here, you know? You got to keep that mystery going. Because that fucking cow might scare the hell out of you and make your night, you know? Oh, shit. give up on the oh that served as like a back hit i wonder if you can actually uh oh here we go i think you can do a back hit on the zombies and kill them quick Zombies are definitely more efficient at killing cows now. Wait, what the fuck's going on in there? <laughs> so we hit each other without canceling. All right, dude. Fuck's sake. I wonder if we'll see, uh, eventually in the patch notes, we're going to see that zombies are no longer being teleported to rooftops. That'll be a good fix. Kind of one of those things that sends the like, what the fuck is going on flag up. Especially to new guys. Especially when you get to witness the zombie being teleported. Wait a second. What the fuck's going on with that zombie? Is that a runner or is she actually aggroed on somebody? Hmm. <sighs> and I guess that's why they did that, huh? To make you be like, oh shit, is that a fucking dude over there? She actually ran off of the roof. This chick is psycho. She's running all over the place. How'd she get off the roof so quick? They usually get stuck up there. This is good though, because I can't imagine this is like their, the way they intended the runners to be. What we're seeing right here. Like 
phasing around, stopping so quick. Yeah, guys, remember, when we're doing the experimental days, I know it's not going to be for everybody, but um, we're going to be heavily, like, just talking about fucking shit that we wish was fixed because, you know, I have hopes that, obviously, our community is big enough that we can actually influence the feedback and make some little tweaks and changes, and it would be an absolute honor if, like, you know, one of the devs was ever lurking to our experimental streams and they were like, oh, you know, I, I didn't notice that little tiny detail that just helped us fix the problem, you know? I would love to help with that type of shit. But I'll try to shut up as soon as we get into stable. Let's check PD. Stop! Where's, where the fuck's he going? Oh, you know what sometimes happens is you like miss and then they go for where your bullet hit. Maybe that's what he was doing. Yeah, let's get a pistol light for the next night cycle. in the game oh, i mean dude there's a, there's a ton of animals in the game it, again that a lot of this stuff comes out of the servers like some servers increase animal spawns and reduce food spawns so you pretty much like at some point you should be fishing or hunting anytime you have the opportunity other servers you spawn in with a fucking tin of beans and you you're never gonna have to hunt it's totally server related they got plenty of animals um there are a couple less animals than there used to be maybe they'll re-add them i can't really remember what animal we're missing right now uh, what are we missing, guys? We used to have rabbits bouncing around. Now the boars are in the game. We got boars and pigs, deer, elk, bears, wolves. Uh, what else did I miss? Did I say goats? Rams? Whatever. Oh, dude, the new scope. What? We got the new scope from a fucking police building. Dude, here we go. Look at this fucking thing. Actually, wait, take that off. Or wait, I can't take it off. That red dot is built into the top of it. Um, hold on, hold on. Let's get this on the gun. Right. There's no battery slot. Okay, so it's just good to go. Oh, it's fucking big in the inventory, dude. Look at this. Standardized rail-mounted 6X magnifying scope designed for Western designated marksman rifles. Baraka site is mounted on the top railing. 
ATOG 6x48 scope. Thing is big. Oh yeah, I mean it's fucking good though. You don't need a battery, it's got a good dot. Glare is not too bad. I bet this is real good. So, we can't just slap that on the Mosin. Gives us a reason to keep the Pioneer and use it actually as our primary. Oh, another thing for the latest wave of people. No more of this bullshit pressing 4 and whipping out your M4 out of your backpack in less than a millisecond. Now it's proper. You pull something out of your bag, it's the same as like... I think this back slot up here. A little bit slower. No more instant sledgehammer bullshit. No more instant fucking gun bullshit. It takes a little while to uh, equip your items, just like it should. Anybody that's sad about that, we just gotta get over fucking people over with our sledges and turning on people with bare hands, you know? Or when we had bare hands a second ago. Now remember, this top left slot should be the fastest. And then I think the top right slot's a little bit slower. Yep, you see that? So the intro of that... Oh, no, no, no. Sorry. But yeah, I think the backpack is just the same as the slow back slot. It's not the fast slot. That's cool. Yep, so whatever you want to be able to pull out as fast as possible, always top left slot. Not in the inventory anymore. And for me, that's usually a shotgun. Or whatever my, like, oh shit gun is. The other day, I fucking died at the airfield because I was swapping up all my hotkeys. So, just stick to your... In my opinion, primary weapon is always on this, and then whatever your uh, favorite hotkey is. Which, for me, is going to be three. Fast. Most convenient goes hand in hand. Alright. Alright, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's try to do some proper sniping. The skin the potato improve it? Now, skin of the potato allows you to eat it. Now, once it's skinned, I think you can enhance it, right? You can, like, boil it up or something. Sucks for you, you've always liked the primary on the right slot. Yeah. I mean, wh why do you really like it, though? Just like the way it looks on your character? Because at the end of the day, all that matters is what your hotkeys say. Experimental feels good, man. It feels smooth. I think overall, more people are going to be happy with these zombies than their initial impressions of uh, the last update zombies. A lot of people are going to be happy that they can block their attacks, at least. I'm not a huge fan that some of my like um, gun melee attacks are ghost hits. They're going right through the zombie point blank. But that can probably be fixed. He changes the way armor works, so a few people were freaking out because they're like, what the fuck? This whole update was supposed to be about tweaking the armor and the damage and you guys didn't touch either or something. It's like they didn't touch the armor values in this. What they did do though is, you know, change the way that you can get armor and change the way your arms take damage. So there's a few factors to consider before we uh, start shit talking the armor again. What's probably going to happen is um, if it's still viewed as a problem in this patch, you're going to see probably some community servers just make their own changes. Until the devs are like, all right, this is this is where we think it should be, and um, and that might mean you know one less headshot for the best helmet, one less snipe shot for the best armor. I think we can easily start there.
What does experimental mean? So there's the stable branch, that's where everything is ready to go, ready to play. It's the game. And then there's experimental, where if they're about to add something new and they need to test it before it gets dropped into like the main servers, you, you experiment, you test it, give the devs a feedback, and then they make some changes, tweak it up, fix it up, and add it to the main game to stable. Get a little phase to make sure that they didn't miss any big problems or big balance and issues. Oh wait, what are we making a list on again? Zero? I got sidetracked. Oh, we still got the hotbar bug. See on number four, I got both rifles on top of each other. The Mosin and the Scout. I mean, all I can remember doing is just dragging new stuff to the number four key. Looks good there, just the Scout. Get out of that. Now it's like a Mosin on top of the Scout. Look, da bandages damaged. Clean, damaged, clean. That's because I swapped those out too. So many bugs. I mean, these are <clears throat> these are minuscule compared to what we used to deal with, dude. We used to have like fucking 15 game-breaking bugs in certain daisy patches. Now we have like a few inconveniences. Until you get fucking slammed by like, you know, the ADS bug and the hand bug at the worst times, that's for sure. Yeah, we got the new scope. We're gonna try to use this. Pretty much my favorite snipe spot almost. Actually, yeah, I gotta park and take a picture of this new gun before I die with it, or the new scope at least. That's the angle right there. So that Baraka set on top, you cannot take it off, and you don't need to put a battery in it. It's just ready to go. I'm assuming that's like tritium or whatever it's called. So we're just going to scroll wheel up and down. <laughs> Get so picky. What map is this? Fully on it. I know you know what map this is. Don't lie to me. Once you see this spot, you know what map this is. It's crazy. Like just uh, all the memories that come flowing back in your brain just randomly when you when I'm in this spot, like looking down at Novian Star. You just think of some like random moment that happened. You're in a house cooking some food, a squad of four dudes runs in, starts blasting you. Somehow you kill them all, but then you pass out, and some other dude handcuffs you. Like, just all kinds of good Shinaris memories from back in the day. We gotta make some more. Remember we had like a crazy moment over here in Novi. I had an M4, there was a squad of like four or five dudes that were rushing after us. And somehow we came out on top. We had like the coolest 1v5, or at the time it was like my only 1v5 that I ever had. In that type of like, it looked like a fucking CSGO round or something, you know? And uh, those moments just stick with you forever in this game. But I was extremely lucky too. I think I passed out like multiple times.
All right, so what is the range on this? We can go all the way up to 800 meters. Maybe we should do some test shots. I can make at least one more imp or two more improvised suppressors, right? Fuck, problem is I dropped my tape like a dumbass. Why did I do that? The suppressor's vibrating. Oh, I didn't even notice. Let me check. <laughs> Relaxing to the towns. No, I'm just joking. I'm just... I was going to be surprised if you forgot, okay? Oh, let's get the range finder. So that zombie we just saw was about 500 out. Alright, the suppressor is shaking. I was just so focused on the crosshair. It's not always shaking though. That was weird though. It feels like the very minute readjustments with this scope. It's kind of like, I don't know. I don't want to say it's on a grid system, but it might be a little bit hard to get that final little movement there. Like if I want to stay inside that white box, it's like, you got to try a little bit harder than I normally have to try, I think. Hmm, I don't know. I'm going to practice with it. Also, my sensitivity got reset for experimental. That could also be uh, playing a role here. I gotta go back and make sure I got the right sensitivity before next stream. It's always the worst thing you can do is change up your sense. Oh, dude, what am I doing? We only have four shots for this gun. No more zombie killing. We gotta wait for players. That was worth it though. At least now if we get shot in the back, we can say that we use the new scope. What's your normal sense? Oh dude, I don't even know. In day Z, something happened. So look at this, my sensitivity is all the way at the lowest it can possibly go. And that's when my DPI takes over and does the rest of the work. Um, but I swear, I was playing in DayZ to do a full 360 for the longest time. Just one full swipe of my mouse pad, whatever the current size of my mouse pad was at the time. This, the, from one side to the other, was a full spin from, you know, the start to finish. And then I think I got a new PC. Maybe I took a break from DayZ. New update came out. Something happened that, like, reverted all my settings. And I just started using this sense, which is fucking insanely faster. So, like, that's the center point, right? That tree. This is one full swipe. So, there's the tree. I'm going past the tree, and then another half. Uh, which is a lot higher of a sense than I used to ever use for any video game. But the thing is, in Daisy, it's weird. Like, you can, you can try to match up your sense in aim labs to Daisy, but it does not feel the same. Because Daisy has this, like, inertia, clunky, like, just player feeling to it. Just like a unique feel. And uh, I think that's why my sense is higher. Because I'm not constantly fighting people and aiming. I'm more so like being this kind of slower, smoother cameraman or whatever. And um, I would really throw my fucking shoulder. My shoulder and my back would hurt if I had a lower sensitivity. So yeah. I think just constantly when you're panning around and stuff, you need to go on a little bit of the higher end. Ever since to be all wrong. Oh man, well, another another thing I would say is like, you want to be able to do the minuscule movements, right? There's a dude right there, there's a dude right there. You need to be able to control like going back and forth, but you also want to be able to just flick on the dude that surprised you from any angle. And if you can control the small stuff 
and the big stuff, that's your sensitivity. You know, so that's the way I would try to explain it. But then you just gotta pick something and risk it and stick with it and just get used to it and you'll eventually, you'll get good at any sensitivity if you stick with it. But you always wonder like, oh, is this too fast? Is this too slow? Is it limiting me or preventing me from doing this in a certain way? And that'll eat at your brain until you get comfortable. I remember trying to get comfortable early on in CSGO, I was like, what the fuck, I gotta figure out this sensitivity thing. I gotta get a good mouse pad, I gotta get a good mouse, you know. I gotta figure out where my arm lays, what my posture, you know, the posture of it and stuff. Yeah, that's another good tip too. Some people are like, well, are you an arm gamer or a wrist gamer? And it's like, well, if you can do both, like sometimes if you're rest in your arm for like depending on, on you you might like to have your arm rested for certain movements or you might like to back up your arm and have that bigger range of motion and freedom you know kind of depends what you're doing or it just depends on the person you know some people <clears throat> keep their hand and their arm in the same spot the whole time and they're great other people go back and forth from wrist to a little bit of your forearm on the desk or whatever. Oh man, and I say pull back. I guess for you guys it would be push forward. Oh. Are those shots? Taters. Somebody here? Is that a fucking zombie? Nah, man, you'd be surprised, dude. If you watch a fucking professional, uh, like, Counter-Strike event, you'll see a little bit of everything, man. <clears throat> you'll see people that rely on their shoulder joint all the time. You'll see people that just do wrist all the time. You gotta remember, there are, there are kids that grow up doing, like, their fucking weird, unique posture while they're either playing console or PC, and they stick with it. And that might not be for the best at the time, but they just get so used to it, so good with it. Anything is fucking possible when it comes to, uh, you know, just mouse and keyboard preference on PC or uh, gaming. Now I'd recommend you get a good posture or else you're going to have fucked up back and everything in the future. I think that's what I did at first. I might have had a bad posture <clears throat> until I started worrying about it and then I just forced myself to change. And, uh, you know, I still, it happens every time. Anytime there's a new Tarkov update and I go back to Tarkov for the first time in a long time and you're wearing, you know, different gear that changes the, the your turn speed and your sensitivity, kind of, I always have a really bad back ache and shoulder ache uh, trying to get back into Tarkov. Something about the sensitivity always changed with the gear you're wearing and just the... Yeah, I don't know. Kind of the same thing about Daisy. You want to have that good sensitivity where you can do the small movements and the big ones. These little runners. Kind of physical therapy. No, it's not like that bad, dude. I'm just saying you notice like the your fucking arm working harder. It's like if you're naked in Tarkov versus having the heaviest gear, it's such a big difference. And you can you're gonna change that like in the middle of a raid after you kill a dude half the time. Inconsistent, you know?
Oh, Rod, you're actually seeing a... You're just seeing like a snippet of Daisy because we're in a test server with a questionable population. Oh, wow, you get the back hit as a uh, one-hit kill there. Um, it totally depends, man. Some maps are very small with, you know, lots of player encounters. Other maps are a lot bigger. Um, if you know the map and you know where all, like, the hot spots are, like military bases, just good loot, high traffic areas, you can increase your chance of encounters for sure. Right now, we're just testing out the new stuff. Might see some people, might not. But yeah, this right here is like the one of the uh, Chernow hotspots for sure, or Chernar's hotspots. It always has been. I'm also kind of thinking that most people we see aren't going to be like lurking around for kills. They're probably going to be traveling around looking for new stuff and fighting zombies. So maybe I shouldn't lurk too much. out of zombie killing rounds. We only got like six, nine mil shots left. Welcomed. Ooh, and some more zombie killing rounds. We got some nine mil. Damn, just destroyed it. The sledge is hard to drop, man. It's five kilos. I think really we just got to get like a splitting axe or a fire axe, pickaxe, and see how those hold up compared to this in this patch. Because those all weigh less. Alright, so we also got to look at these mill zombies. Okay. I think eventually we're going to see a military zombie with a plate carrier on. Obviously. But I don't know what zones they spawn in. Maybe they can only be up at like Northwest Airfield and beyond. I'm not sure. Or could they just be at any military spot on the map?
Might just end up shooting these zombies if they aggro us. I don't think we'll be able to use this new scope if we do get the M16. But yeah, either way, we gotta find some more 5.56 rounds and maybe even like a few magazines for our future M16. Wouldn't mind just using the scope tonight and then finding the gun next stream. I don't know. Another canteen. Damn, lots of canteens on the zombies. <clears throat> I'm starting to lose my voice here. Actually, let's get up on top of the hill so we can use the snipe and use the new scope. We've checked all the military spawns, unfortunately. Wait. Oh yeah, okay. I was gonna say. Thought that was a different military zombie somebody else killed. Yeah, Core, the M16 is coming to vanilla. This is the experimental patch that has it. <gasps> so this is kind of cool because we need to spot like this. And then once we see something decent, just boom. More field of view. It does have a little bit of that same glare that the normal MRS has, though. That tint to it. It's not going to make it so you can't see the target, though. This is Starry Sabor. The previous town we were in down the street is Novi Sabor. So on Esker you got Novi Grad, that's with an I, and then this is Novi with a Y. That's another good thing too, maybe if we find a heli crash, I guess there's a chance the M16 could be there.
Alright, well, you gotta remember, we fired some shots in story. We might attract some people to this area. Uh, but let's go to BMC. It's just a mill base that's pretty close. Probably our next best bet to get the gun. We might have people from both directions coming towards the noise. But we don't want to lurk around too much and wait. I don't want to like fire bait shots and then wait 30 minutes for them to show up. That was Starry Novi. Uh, the last one was Starry. Gotta remember that Starry has the military tents. And Novi has the police station. Yeah, I might as well get the high ground since we got a good rifle. So this is Cabanino. Sabor translates to New Cathedral. Interesting. Yeah, it does have a big church. Well, damn, maybe that's the better way to remember it then is... Um, well, actually, no, no, because Starry has a church as well. Starry's old cathedral. Novi's new. Right. Yeah, I remember the old and new part, but I forgot the cathedral part, I guess. Is that a fucking dude creeping out? Oh my god, it's one of these weird runner zombies again. I guess they're doing their job of making you think it's a player at first. place to climb up. So runners are just weak but faster? I don't actually know. To my understanding runners just run around before they see anybody. They're just like running, stopping, running. So you're over there thinking, okay maybe there's somebody here. Or like, what the fuck did I just see? Was that a player? It seems like that's what their purpose is. Maybe keep you on your toes a little bit. I just don't think they look good right now. It, if anything, it makes you wonder if like the server performance is fucked up because the zombie is so like weird looking. And maybe the server performance is a little fucked up. I don't know. This is the first day of the update. But uh, everything else feels great, man. I got no complaints as far as feels go. I'm actually happy there's less um, aim down sight bugs or like weapon raise bugs right now. Um, haven't actually had like a bad hand bug today. We did have one though where every time I backed up it like raised up my firearm like I was blocking with my gun. And we fixed that by punching a wall. So that was the biggest problem so far today. <laughs> Sounds so silly. So we fi fixed that by punching a wall because I was fucking raging out and uh, seemed to fix the issue. Like you fucking punched a hole in your monitor or something. It's 
slugs. Dude, your 300 ping absolutely contributes to getting stuck on the other side of a door, man. Are you maybe doing it too fast? Like, when you're interacting with doors? Are you... Like... Giving it... Are you letting it fully open and stop and then going? Because, like, some people will do this thing where they're trying to evade people. Or they're, or they're trying to, like, shut the door in somebody's face. And if you do it too soon, like right here... Or, like... So it actually pushes you a little bit... That's most likely when you're getting hung up. But, um, yeah, man. Might be your 300 ping. That's too bad. I do know some people that play with just about that, though. There's the duct tape. Oh, there's a weird little audio clip there. Make more suppressors with this tape. Figure when it's, you're running through in a hurry. I almost wonder if you're scraping the edge of your body on the edge of the door frame. And that's what's causing it. Maybe you just have to try your hardest to be like ultra precise. When you're moving around. Sledge OP. Oh, the sledge has always been top tier. But, um, yeah, it's probably the highest tier right now, depending on how you gauge, like, speed and weight. understand why you don't have yeah it'd be cool to have a server for every single region man i mean in a dream world we would have like some kind of connections with capable server hosts and server admins that we could trust from like different divisions and have like yeah just like subdivisions of of people that manage their own space and servers and stuff but you know right now we just got we got the team of people we can trust in the states and uh that's all we're really ready for right now if you're talking about the day one servers. Mm -hmm. Deeg mag in case we get that later. Doing the Tarkov wipe next week. I might jump into the Tarkov wipe just for like a few days, you know, check out the factory expansion, kill the new boss, see how the progression feels, you know, and then if we're like, if we're already feeling like it's the same, you play for two weeks, you're super rich with the best, uh, be, or, ugh, best loot and best guns, <clears throat> then I'll probably be back to just, you know, whatever we're doing in DayZ. Um, but if this new update did make a bunch of cool changes, maybe I would. We try to fit Tarkov back into the rotation regularly for a little bit. Um, I haven't even thought about it, dude. I see that we're getting some like cool looking close range uh, boss on factory. But that's that's not really the biggest thing on my agenda, you know. I'd like to go in there and fight him a few times for sure at least. Oh, it's not confirmed that they're doing a wipe yet. Oh yeah. Yeah, people it's the same deal with the whole the talk of uh, shenanigans, people coming in wondering when the wipe is. They hear some rumor from a streamer that's like trolling, and they're like, oh yeah, it's on Thursday. Today's Thursday, right? We don't have a wipe. I had like 20 people in the chat the other day saying it was going to happen today. It's funny how that happens every time, too. <laughs> so much confusion.
You recommend a community vanilla server? Oh man, I would just get over there, get over the whole like vanilla thing. Just try to find any server that has a good connection and good player count and f check out their mods. Like, you know, we host the day one servers and it's vanilla with some quality of life additions. Dude, did I see, what is, what's that noise I just heard? It sounded like a punch, like somebody just punched the air. Um, some people get this thing in their head where they're like, oh, I, I don't want to fucking download some weird mods, dude. I got to play vanilla. That's all I know is vanilla. It's like, nah, dude, just go play, uh, try like a lightly modded server like day one. Um, but yeah, I can recommend servers all day, but when it comes down to it, it's what server do you have a good connection to that has a good amount of players in it during the hours that you play. So that's going to be on you to study the, the server filter and add some good servers to your favorites, depending on where you live. Guys take down the Esker server? No, no, there should still be Esker 1 and 2, man. Uh, make sure you join the day one Discord if you're ever having an issue joining. Try to get the IP address so you can direct connect right to it. Alright, guys, I'm not gonna lie, we did not take a break on the last death. I'm gonna run to the bathroom, run to the kitchen, grab like a quick granola bar or something, and then we're gonna try to power through the next like three big military bases. So, bear with me for a second. I'm actually going to log out of the server just to make sure I don't get, like, ran up on. Let's take, like, a five-minute break on the dot. And then we'll be back for the rest of the stream. Um, yo, Eckerd, thanks for all the bits, dude. I gotta catch up with these alerts, too. Figure this is a good time since we're not getting shot at. Um, yo, Yumbanant, thanks for the 27 months. We got Awesome Mooney, thanks for the four months sub, dude. Nice using the Prime again. Um, Juan De Nero, thanks for the eight months. We got iPlayPC, thanks for the nine, dude. Hope you're doing well, man. Yeah, experimental's been good. We've had enough player encounters that it's not like, it hasn't been a dry day, but obviously, you know, if you're playing Shinaris with like 40-some players, it's not going to be the most exciting session, you know? Uh, but it's been fun, dude. We're learning new stuff about this new update. Yo, Freak, thanks for the brand new sub. Um, I think I got all you guys. If I missed you, dude, Fave with a tier 2 3-year sub. That's fucking nuts, man. Thanks for the massive support. We got Snedge and Squid. Fish again. Thanks for everything, guys. We'll be back in just a few, guys. I'm going to run to the kitchen the bathroom. Uh, do the same if you have to. I'll be right back.
All right, thanks for being patient, guys. I just took a look at the server population. Obviously, it's you know it's decent. It's not the best right now, but we got enough people in here to justify going to the next few areas. Um, I think we got a pretty good chance of finding the M16 at probably Northwest Airfield because it has so much mill loot. Um, if not there, definitely Tizzy. If we don't get shot on our way there, at least. Um, yeah, we've been on for like eight and a half hours. It's like 2 a.m. This will probably be the final character of the night. Uh, but we'll be back in the experimental servers next time. If you guys do want to help us populate the experimental servers, it'd be huge. Um, same rules apply as far as like stream stalking or stream sniping goes with any streamer on the server. But you guys are more than welcome to join the uh, day one Chinaris experimental. Um, all you got to do is obviously go to your Steam library, download, or go to, look underneath Daisy. You'll see Daisy Experimental. It's a separate download. Um, and then once you get it, you just do the normal steps, like go to the community tab, type in day one, or just type in EXP or experimental, just any little keywords or letters. Um, and then, yeah, just add like a few experimental servers to your favorites. So they're easy to find when you're trying to rejoin or after a crash or something. Um, but yeah, this server is right around 40 players. It's not going to be the most active, but, uh, if we're going to just military bases, we got a good chance of, uh, you know, maybe shooting somebody with a new scope or getting a new gun and using that. <clears throat> um, we have Solid Snake, we got, is it King, Lack of Beans, uh, Mobius, thanks for hanging out with me tonight, um, and dude, Jaeger, thanks for the 42 months, time has flown by and this is the best community, oh uh, dude, you're still the best community, dude, thanks for being part of it, man, thank you so much for the support, uh, we got Queen Nunzi, Eckerd, thanks for all the bits, and uh, dude, Cage, he says, um, thanks for doing what you do, you are me and my uh, girlfriend's favorite, or comfort streamer, we look forward to your streams every day, uh, thanks for the content, hope you and Shadow have an amazing day. Dude, thanks for the five months of Prime, and that's, dude, that's one of the best messages I can get. Um, I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for the kind words. I'm glad you guys enjoy watching the stream together, especially. I feel like sometimes people come in there like, dude, my fucking, my wife just passed out. I can finally catch her stream, dude. She hates when I'm up all night watching. So it's so cool that you guys actually uh, watch it together without any problems, <laughs> without me getting in the way. Um, yo, Craves, what's up? Solid Snake. Having an issue joining. We're just stuck at like a loading screen right now. I guess I'll show you guys. This is what I've been looking at for the last little bit. Weird, I hope we're not bugged. You guys can see this, right? Hmm. Might have to back out. Oh, I was trying to join as the server was restarting. That's my bad. That makes sense. All right, it's okay. It's only going to take like one or two minutes to restart here. Um, yeah. That was bad timing. If I would have known that the server restart was coming, I would have taken the food break right now, and that would have made more sense. But I kind of forgot. Um, but yo, Bond, thanks for the two months, dude. We got Summy as well. Thanks for the two months sub. Hope you're still enjoying it, man. Your wife's boyfriend loves the stream. Nice, dude. I hope you guys are good buddies. Um, yo, Fargoth. Thanks for coming in. Dude, Fargoth from freaking Morrowind? What's up, dude? I haven't seen you in forever. I remember doing your quest with the ring. Your ring was such a piece of shit, though. What was it? Like, regenerate HP, like, 10 points. <clears throat> trash, bro. Absolute trash. Thanks for the follow, though. I'll take it. I think Fargoth's ring was actually in the barrel in between the first few doors, right? You, that's like one of the first items you loot. Oh no, we just took a break. We're good to go. The server restarts are actually pretty quick. I just usually try to make it like a five minute break. Uh, where can you see the details of the update? Do exclamation point updates? I think I put the command in the title right now if you want to find it. So there's a message from the devs and there's also the patch notes that list it off. Oh yeah, we haven't found the new machetes yet. I guess that's just like civilian or industrial loot. Hmm. Actually, I'm going to check and see who else is streaming right now because I would love to host somebody that's playing experimental when I get off. 
Let me just take a quick look while the server's restarting. Yeah, cool. Looks like a few people are playing it at least. <clears throat> no, no, not the Kukri and not the Fang. There's like two brand new machetes. Um, I don't know if it's just like a different color or if the shape is also different. Oh, let's see if we can get in. Quick rundown on your impressions for the European dudes. Uh, I think zombies are heading in the right direction overall, now that we have different variations. I think it's super cool that there could be, you know, a weaker zombie and then a stronger one. Um, honestly though, there's something weird with the, with the whole system because you can block every single zombie attack. Just infinitely block. Um, and even the military zombies, we're taking them down pretty easily with like two quick knife power attacks so what i want to see is like certain attacks or maybe the zombies have one really good attack that you either have to dodge or you cannot block or maybe it just like breaks your block or it drains a lot of your stamina it's got to do something um if they can just add a little bit more variation to the zombie combat now so you have to think about like each fight might just be a little bit different um i think that'll be perfect but yeah let's jump back in and kill a bunch of zombies i'll show you right now But yeah, it's definitely, some things are getting better, man, and they're going to continue to make changes on top of this, so we can't get too, too nasty about anything. Okay, so what were we talking about? We need more rounds for this. I only have four shots with a scout, and this is the new scope. No battery needed. 6x ACOG. Baraka sites built on. Snipe spot up there. I'll go there next. So this is Vibor Military. Thought that was a dude, but we got zombies. Mm, about 600 out. 550. some deer in the distance. reminds me of the daisy mod for some reason. I think looking at Vresna kill does it.
Wait a minute, so we got some doors open and some doors closed. I wonder if that means they just locked up the zombies or if they're actually... Dude, no way. We heard that crazy sound again. It was like boom, boom, boom. What the hell is that noise? And again, don't tell us. Don't tell us. We gotta find it. That's a zombie. Get lucky and find some heli crashes too. Sweet to dome some of these zombies, but I only have four shots. We can't do it. Right, so we already got the airfield borders. This. Let's just loot the place quick because there could be an M16 here. I gotta get myself some EpiPens and probably drop some of this extra loot, shed some weight. Let's we'll try to find. Ooh, this is kind of new. If we find a backpack down here, we can make a little backpack stash, maybe give it to somebody, leave it out in the open for the next guy. It's been a fun torch in ours. I'm a little disappointed we didn't hit the western side, but that's going to give us, you know, a whole other thing to do next time. And I bet the M16 will be a lot easier to find on the western side of the map with all the mill bases in a row. Maybe Zelnagors. Or like Pavlovo, Zelnagors, Mishkino, then up here to VMC and Northwest and Tizzy and all that. That's got to be a guaranteed M16. I see some movement in there. Probably a zombie though. Oh, zombie with a massive backpack. Say goodbye to the sledge with one final kill. Yo. What? Let's 
get rid of this thing. It's just too heavy. We're getting into the deep shit. We need our stamina. This thing is five kilos. Oh, it is actually good to talk to them so they like just look at you and expose their face. So you like get the guaranteed headshot. But right there, you know, you're fucking, you're an inch short and then you wish you wouldn't have done it. But I guess with the sledge, you don't really have to worry about the stealth kill. As long as you power slam them right in the face. So we got the small bag to make a stash out of, but we got this big one. Be able to put this on most guns. I should really get a picture of just this. Can the infected hear the clock? We gotta drop a wrench or a can of beans next to him and see. Well, they respond to thrown items, so maybe they will respond to a dropped item. With, as long as you do G. I don't have any beans on me. Alright, nobody's here. Let's get this backpack and then we'll start looting. That could be in the building, I guess. So three little baby hits, and obviously you can do blocks in between, and that's on a military zombie. Oh. Shots that way. Dead northeast. That could be, like, really close. I can't tell. Oh, yeah, that's got to be close. These fuckers are going for him. Oh shit. Dude, I saw the commander zombie. He's here. Ah! <laughs> 
Because this thing. Tell you, we're not bleeding too much from zombies. I should have used a grenade on them. So much for that fucking commander zombie. He looks kind of unique though. His face and everything, it's a new dude. So what I read was the commander zombies do some crazy scream that aggro's like all their fellow zombies to come help them kill me. I don't know if we really heard that though. I guess he was going for that other guy. Alright dude, maybe this guy's got the M16. Or maybe as a friend. So at first I was thinking like, man, Commander Zombie doing a fucking loud scream, getting all of them like, you know, when he turns into a zombie, he might be the dumbest of the bunch when it comes to all the zombies, but from just a video game, you know, a mechanic aspect of having like different types of zombies, I think it's really good. I think it's cool. Just anything like that, where there's like a specific thing that they do, they specialize in something, whether they're slow or fast or powerful, or maybe they do that screech that alerts the other zombies, anything that's like adds some variation, I think is kind of cool. Somebody the other day was like, you know, easy, just make the zombies have like random HP values and random damage output and looks, sizes, and it's like, yeah, that would be kind of fun. And then this update kind of has it. But, you know, you don't always notice it, I guess. Or I haven't noticed it too much yet. But that's because, you know, we've had good melee weapons and we've had good guns for most of this. on AK-101. How many bullets in the mag? Nice. Alright, we're gonna use all these for the scout or the new gun. Yeah, play care pouches would be kind of cool in the future. I think we need to accept, like, we don't care about these other AKs and different calibers right now because we just want to focus on the new stuff. As long as we have some working guns, we're good. Nice, that might be our new zombie killer. Running super low on 9mm. Hmm. Alright, probably back to that backpack stash. We gotta do a beard check and see how long he's been out here. Will the 6x go on the tundra? No. So it doesn't have that Picatinny rail. That would clamp onto. Well, 
clearly must have his tactical belt. It's more tactical than a basic belt. Might as well, actually, dude, let's just ditch the Deeg stuff. We just want to focus on the new stuff. We don't need to worry about the Deeg. Don't need to worry about 45 ACP. check in a second. Uh, let's take his battery out of this thing. Actually, maybe we should have the AK escort us to the bag. That's a better idea. How long have you been out here, dude? Damn, that's pretty good. That's not bad. It's not fucking bad, dude. I'm sorry about this. My biggest mine, though. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I fucking thought. I guess we're about even. Trade knives. Oh, it says knife. Better durability. We're going to come back here. this little bag stash to gain stamina because we can always come back for it or we can always leave it somewhere and maybe someone else will find it or if we plan on playing later we could come back after we die all right so we'll do the ak last we'll be able to pick it up if we hear somebody's footsteps um let's go with stuff that we're probably just not going to use we already have plenty of these rounds We think maybe we can get the devs to add the feature to combine bandages if they're going to keep these as the spawn or the spawn band-aids. So we can't customize the M16 to put the flashlight on it, right? Don't think we need it then. We've got normal flashlights. Need to get a head torch or some night vision. Just for the sake of stamina, let's get rid of another sewing kit. AK is so sick. It's so sick, man. I wish I just knew who Ivan was and I just sent him like a random anonymous screenshot of like the dopest, like most decked out AK ever. And he opens it up and he's just like, what? It's so sick. It's the least I could do. I guess that's about it. We want to be able to drag our improvised suppressors onto the gun really quick, though. So let me get both of these up. 
Rangefinder is hotkeyed, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's eat up this tater. Dude probably hasn't touched Daisy since you yoinked his AK. <laughs> Dude, I should have never fucking told him what I did with that AK. We spawn into Borish. I see Ivan in the distance busting out his in-game map, started trying to figure out how to get back to his fucking AK. And then I lay him the bad news. Like, that's like giving somebody some really bad news when it comes to Ivan and his AK. Uh, closure's important. True, true. But who knows, maybe Ivan would have had like a badass adventure on his way back up there. And we fucked that up. Alright, so let's get this going as well. The super sick AK needs to go. We gotta focus all the 5.56 five, rounds into either the new scope on the Pioneer or the new uh, M16. White two pistols, but well, I think we're gonna go balls out and just kill as many zombies as we need to with the Glock and then transition over to the 22. Thing is, I have two mags for the Glock, only one mag for the 22. This one can have a flashlight, which is gonna be kinda cool because this server gets pretty dark for like a decent amount of time. So you always gotta remember, there's pros and cons to each pistol, and that's why we keep multiple sometimes. Mm. Even if it comes down to you just have 10 bolts for one, 20 for the other. The other one's like the best pistol in the game, but it's badly damaged. Like, one can have a suppressor, one can't, you know. Okay. Back to looking for the M16 and maybe make one more run past his body. So we can't put this on the M16. Stash Mosin. Oh, wait a minute. Let's just stash the Mosin. Because I'm going to be strictly using this new scope. And you can't use the new scope on the Mosin. There we go. Now we're talking. Uh, we can repair the Glock, yes. <clears throat> we gotta decide though. Like if I found a badly damaged M16 and then I wasted the kit on the Glock, that'd kinda suck. Remember, too, we found this new scope at the police station in Novi. It wasn't even really military loot. Why does it sound like they're entering the Temple of Doom? Alright, so the background sound, this is actually the original Daisy Mod ambient soundtrack. If it's too loud or too quiet, I haven't used it in a while. But I figured we'd bust it back out whenever we play Chinaris. The problem with this soundtrack for me is it gets too intense sometimes when you're just chilling. That's why I usually use a different soundtrack these days. But at the right moments, holy shit. At the right moments, it brings back a lot of nostalgia. Oh my god, dude, the M16's right there. Wait a minute, what the fuck? I thought I was already in here. I guess I wasn't. Dude, there it is. Somebody just left it in this pile of shit. Okay, what's the deal? Do we have a big magazine for it or something? That's only a 10-rounder. Dude, somebody was fucking laying waste over here. What is all this? Alright, well I guess we are... Let's just put it in the backpack for now. Or no, let's put it in our primary slot. Dude, we fucking got it. Three shots in the mag. Okay, so we press X in the bottom left. Burst. Semi-auto burst. Alright, so we can't go on full auto. That's good. Alright, so you guys said that we can't put any scopes on it. It's just iron sights or nothing, huh? Yep, 
Yep. Can't put any optics on there. Can't yoink off the carry handle. That's all right. So it's going to be more of like a starter rifle or medium tier rifle. Um, I'm assuming it can take up to like the 6 round mag though. So it's got a suppressor slot and it's got the bayonet slot and a ghillie wrap slot. Dude, holy shit. All right, both of our guns are using the 5.56. Five, so we don't have a ton of it. Let's keep the shoddy for now. All right, new mission. Get a big mag. Get more bullets and kill somebody with the burst fire. Let's make sure we're not missing any 5.56. Five, Take the suppressor from the AK in the backpack. I don't think that... Uh, oh, wait. No, no, no. I don't think that suppressor would work on M16. Dude, that's a completely different type. However, let's see. It will be bottle suppressor. Yeah. So that'll work. I wonder if the official NATO suppressor works. I gotta take a picture of this before I get blasted. We'll have this pile of shit in the background, too, to remember that we found it here. All right, that's a new gun. I want to do the burst. Let me count how many bullets we got. Uh, 15. Yeah, we probably got enough to at least do burst on the zombies for a minute. Press on the scorpion. Yeah, I should probably take that for the Glock. I'm getting so side or blinded by the new gun here. This thing is damaged. Okay, what about nine mil shots? Damn, plenty of 45 ACP. If we, oh, dude, here's a new item: the uh, iodine tincture. We found this earlier. Common antiseptic used to medicate exposed wounds. Uh, solution of iodine and potassium iodide. So we can combine that with rags. It says disinfect. So can you disinfect a whole stack of six rags with like the smallest amount of this? Or maybe it uses, um, maybe it's per rag. Did I see zombies? Thought I heard like a distant aggro. about other people's food right now. We still got full white apple here. go. I guess we'll just go to the airfield. Because now we're not... Oh, dude, the, uh, the commander's back. Check this guy out. Different color shirt, and I think he's got the different face, obviously. I mean, let's be honest, dude. Using the burst fire on a horde of zombies is probably just as good as trying to find a player that might kill me. Okay, so we got seven bullets left. So for the first one, I just did two shots because I didn't hold it down long enough. Shit. Okay, I'm bleeding. 
I kind of want to get to a spot where I can test out the uh, the pull of the trigger. Try to do two shots instead of three, or maybe just one shot. Let's get her stamina. Fucking dick. The plate carrier zombie. Badly damaged. There we go, there we go. Alright, so that's how you get them now. The only way you can get them is on certain zombies, and they're always gonna be badly damaged. So you gotta be careful, and then you gotta fix them. Did I fucking slashed him in the head? I shot him in the head twice. That helmet's still looking good. Okay, so wait, we had those pouches. Where were the pouches? Helmet is worn. That's cool though, man. He had a helmet and the plate carrier, so he's definitely the hardest to kill. Oh yeah, yeah, on the body in the barrack, right? I don't need this right away. Takes long to do that second one. Oh, because our stamina is still insanely low. Or now it's insanely low because we got this fucking 13 kilo plate on. Ah, okay, that makes me want to drop the shoddy. But we need to get more bullets before we can drop the shoddy. So yeah, dude, that burst was pretty badass though. We gave him the fucking three round burst right there. Dude, I think close range point fire and that burst is gonna feel amazing. Well, let's get the uh, the pouches so we can hold even more stuff to make us have even less stamina. I'm down though. Because rifle have interchangeable parts. Nope. Cannot modify anything. You can put a suppressor on it or a bayonet or a ghillie wrap. <clears throat> or a bigger magazine. These are the sights you got. This is vanilla gun rays right here. What the fuck was that guy just doing? Anyways, uh, uh, I'm trying to... Let me just show you, dude. I'm, I'm trying to get there, but it's fu Can you just give me a second, dude? Just give me a fucking second and I'll show you. Um, Alright, there it is. So these are the sights. <laughs> Alright, nice. Let's move all of this little stuff to the top. It's nice and neat. I know we got six shots left. Mm. 
It might be kind of cool to take a few of these things to the stash just in case. I don't know why I'm trying to hook up other people right now. We got a little bit of alcohol tincture. Let's clean up rags. The only other thing I forgot is the knife, right? Oh no, he's got that machete there. Damn, so we can't put this machete... That's actually going to be a good melee. Can't put it in our boot slot, but it'll be worth the inventory space. It's not the new one, though. <laughs> so we live at BMC now. I'm just assuming somebody's going to find this loot. Or like, you know, if I go to the... Let's say I went to the Northwest Airfield and uh, we found something specific, we could come back here and grab something from our stash if we needed to. Uh, but in this case, we probably won't. A little bit of unknown food never hurt anybody. Is that about it for us? Let's fix up our shirt. Stash stays there. Well, the bags are going to stay there for what? Like six hours or something. At least. Might as well bring attention to this weird thing with the Pioneer, too. That's like a delayed reload, let me see. Or it has a delayed mag unload. Let's see it in action. Yeah, see, it like puts it back up. Watch as he takes it out and then does that weird, that awkward movement. He does like a double. Hmm. Alright. I think we're good. What was that because he's unknown food work? I've eaten half a can, I've been fine, then eaten the other half and gotten sick. Um, lately I've been fine, and all I do is eat like 20 to 25%, wait for the food air to start going down again, and then eat another 20-25% until it's all gone. I don't think I've gotten sick from it or thrown up since. Or you do like, you know, just pass it around your group and tell them not to eat too much. You show suppressed M16 sound. Yeah, we could do an improvised suppressor on it. Is that going to sound different than the real suppressor? I don't know. I'll check this out, though. Oh, we can see the iron sights over the improvised suppressor. Oh, dude, and there's some loot here, which has three bullets for, or, uh, for the gun that we have. Those are tracers. Dude, that's so fucking lucky. It's only three shots, but still. What is this shit? Empty matches and some rags. Leave it on burst fire, try out the suppressor. Actually has a pretty damn good feel to it, how you can just let one or two shots go instead of committing to the full burst. 
Did not expect it to feel like this. It's probably going to totally melt somebody if you land all three shots. More truck loot. Wait a minute, you can actually disarm a landmine with a screwdriver. And somebody told me that you can also do that with a knife. I wonder if you can do it with a knife. Maybe it's bugged. Yo, what's up, Dems? I'm not sure if I quite understand what you mean, food, but yeah, I mean, we could tap- Ooh, there's a car here. You could let go a quick tap and then do a quick three-round burst right after. I'm gonna have to feel it out. Dude, what the fuck happened here? Oh, you know what? This is always the worst. I feel like these little divots always get your car stuck, and they were here trying to remove the tires, put them back on to boost it out of there, and they got totally fucked, and their car got stuck. That's too damn bad. all fun and games on, you know, first day of the new update until you get your car stuck. I don't understand that AK got 21 bolts in the mag. It's 556, same as M16. Oh, you might be the dude that's talking about different suppressors. Man, um, I didn't have a big understanding of it. But since I've been playing so many freaking games like this, now I do. Like, an AK magazine is not going to fit in an M16. It's a completely different weapon system made from in a completely different area, you know, of the world. Or originally, at least. So, like, you can't just have interchangeable parts in every department for every gun. Magazines are different. Suppressors, optics, that shit's all different. All the parts. There's a few things that are interchangeable, but... Not for AKs and M4s. Look at them, like... You know, enemies almost. I think of like an American AR-15 versus like a AK-47, you know. Same bullet though. Oh yeah, same bullet. So there are 5.56 AKs in real life. It's the same caliber. And we actually took those bullets to use in our Pioneer and our M16. So these two guns here, both take 5.56, just like the AK-101. Now the AK-74, that takes 5.45 by um, 45, and then the AKM takes 7.62 by 39. You know, and then you got like the Mosin that takes 7.62 by 54, instead of the 7.62 by 39. You know, so you always get mixed up with the 7.62s until you... Uh, you figure out that one is bigger than the other. Any kills with the M16? Uh, no. Nah. We killed like the new, one of the new zombie guys, which I won't spoil too much. You didn't see it. Uh, we haven't killed any players with it yet, though. We sniped a dude in VMC with the Pioneer, and then we found this M16 in a big, uh, like stash of loot, big pile. Yeah, um, so if you play on, like, day one Livonia, you can get your own helicopter and fly around. Certain servers have helicopters via mods. Uh, but in most of these servers, you're just going to find, like, helicopter crashes that can spawn, like, good military loot.
Yeah, so at first I figured this gun was going to be a little bit more customizable. I figured you were definitely going to be able to put an optic on it. And maybe change out like the handguard to put a flashlight on it or something. But it's kind of cool, you know, to have a, a lower tier AR than an M4. Because some servers will add like, you know, a, a semi-auto AR-15. And this kind of takes that role. But it gives you the burst fire capability. Assess rounds. Oh shit, this thing's jammed. Before we go, I think it is actually worth fixing up this Glock. The M16 is worn. We got two uses in this. If we kill a dude and then have like 20 zombies on us, we gotta use the Glock or the MK. <clears throat> uh, just tune in. How difficult it was it to get the plate carrier? So we just got it from one of the zombies at VMC, and it was probably the second wave of zombies that spawned in actually. Oh, the suppressor's damaged, though. I'm going to take a risk. Let's do the suppressor as well. Hopefully the M16 doesn't get damaged right away. Um, some people claim that the, or the uh, plate carrier zombies seem a little bit too common. I haven't played enough to really know yet. those bandages up top. Alright, that should be good. It's got some really nice details. M16A2, caliber 5.56, semi-burst. Let's try to get a bigger magazine. It's kind of nice that we get the smallest mag for the first time we use the gun, and then we gotta build our way up. Yeah, I mean, I wonder when the M16 like first came out, for or when the military first started using it. I guess I always thought they were using 20 round mags because the pic the or the mags seemed pretty short in all the pictures I would see. I don't know if they were ever really using the 10 round mags, but maybe. Zombie. snipe spot up there in that tree line.
test out the burst fire one more time since we found those three bullets. And that will summon maybe all the bad guys to this area. Actually, let's do a proper look at this place before we start firing shots. As far as we know, there could be like a group of four just casually looting around the place. But I want to fire this burst at least a few more times at zombies. So we can hear the suppressor. Oh yeah, so I guess if we're testing the suppressor, nobody's going to hear it right away. We can afford to do that right now. Unless they're super close, they'll hear it. What are the best plans for loot? Honestly, dude... They made this change at one point where if you're near like a medical room or a military room, police room, then the stuff around it, like a shed or a car or just like another house near it, like sometimes you'll find that loot kind of dripping over to the surrounding areas. So if you're at the Northwest Airfield, like, like this place, just check everything. You might find an M4 in a shed because it's right next to a barrack. Um, you know, they might always change little things, but it's worth checking every single building here. However, I'm not going to check every building because I have everything I need. I got the new gun. I got the new scope. All we need is a few more bullets. And a magazine. And some poor bastard to test this thing out on. Try to go for the double kill if they line up again. Oh, nice. I hit him. Alright, one shot from the M16 suppressed. Oof, and now that's indoors though. No, stop moving. Yo, 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 Doosh. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, man, I'm wasting bullets. Man, I'm not, uh, I'm not very happy with the weapon, or, uh, I'm not very pleased with the weapon melee in this experimental patch. It feels a little broken. We heard the gun. Let's go loud with this now. Uh, weapon melee was getting killed earlier. It's buggy. Yeah, it just feels a little weird. But again, it felt weird last experimental, and then it felt good and stable, I think, for the most part. So, I think we'll be okay. Oh, he's about to give us a stealth hit. Claw tech. So we haven't bled too much from zombie hits today. We just had two bleeds in a row there. 
It feels like maybe the zo or the uh, military zombies make you bleed way more than civilian zombies. Wait a second, what the fuck's he doing? Ooh, it's another plate carrier zombie. Nah, nobody's getting that one. That shit's too good. Too good to pass around. Another one. Holy fuck, it's the goddamn, uh... Wait, that's the chief scream? I thought he was supposed to, like, screech to the whole mill base. Let's get a good look at you, buddy. Come on in. Step into my office. Oh, shit, I just wanted to shoot him in the leg. Fucking ran right in. Oh, dude, check it out. What? Is that a... I wonder if you can get a pistol out every once in a while. I always wondered if I could do like some sneaky shit. Like, you come out, you fucking lay down, and then you. Ooh, that was actually pretty good. I just feel like I'd get shot trying to do this shit. happening here. Oh no! Let's not get killed over that shit. Just not feeling comfortable with the weapon melee. It's a holster, obviously, but I meant, like, um, it seemed unique in a way, right? They took the holster and cut it up a little bit and put it on the belt instead. I don't know if somebody answered, but is there a chance that he can drop a pistol? I'm assuming he can. Maybe it'll show up in his inventory space. Oh man, so we saw one play care zombie at VMC and then two here right away. It's going to take not the right bullets for us either. around all right so let's just do small attacks maybe on the second guy all right so if we just do the small attacks here how many is it gonna take on a military guy going for where my bullet went. This guy. Ah. 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 
Three little headshots with the machete. And the thing with this new system is you allow them to get so close. Um, I guess that's with a knife. You can get some, some better ranged weapons. But it just feels like I'm letting them get so much closer than last patch. Maybe they're just more aggressive in a way. It's probably the military zombies being a little bit more aggressive than the civilian ones. Uh, do you think we'll actually see the plague here being used a lot less now, or will its rarity not affect how... I don't know. I think, honestly, some server... Uh, or the people that run some of the servers are probably going to lower it, or... Um, change how many of those play care zombies are in play, I guess, or how often they spawn. And also maybe consider tweaking it so they can take, like, one less of the best calibers. Um, but a lot of people are going to assume that's one of those things where, like, you know, the dude that can play all day every day and just farm the best gear is going to have it all the time. And the dude that just kind of casually plays isn't going to have it that much. You know, that's probably what people are going to say. Since they didn't really address the problem of the plate carrier, they just made it, like, on a military zombie kind of rare. So, uh, I don't know, man. I don't have all the answers. I'm just, uh, we're just day one testing it out. And I think it's a really neat system they came up with that you can only get it on military zombies and it's going to be damaged. So, as long as the amount of those zombies is controlled, not too common, I think it'll be okay. Uh, but I still think it needs nerfed a little bit. Like, the amount of damage it can take. Bear pants. Uh, I seem to have pissed myself. Yeah, let's fix these up. Seems like the stab vest. Oh! Holy shit! We gotta seal our first M16 player kill. <laughs> Dude, that's another play care zombie. He just took so much fucking lead. Are you kidding me? I actually just ran it dry. All we got left is the uh, three shots in the scout. Oh, fuck. Let's keep it in the scout. Let's go back to the shoddy as our main here. Dude, I told you, man, that burst is going to fucking shred people up close. Remember the... Uh, M16 and like Modern Warfare 2. Best fucking gun. Dude, that's trash. Come on. I don't know if it's gonna feel that good, but it kinda gave me a little feeling of that. How many bullets are you gonna take, son? Alright, so let me just confirm real quick that that's another plate carrier zombie. Oh, dude, this guy might have rounds for us. He probably does. Only seven bullets for us. He's got an SKS. That's really good. Alright, let's see him pull back. Actually, no. We still got some stuff to show off real quick. Pretty dope. Okay, if that was a longer mag, he would have actually held on to it properly there.
with a knife on them. Oh. There we go. See, we gotta stab a zombie with it, see how good it is. Problem with this is with weapon rays, it makes your gun longer. So like from here, it's raising up. But yeah, it's a spot to hold your knife. It's a nice tool. I actually, I was playing off stream one night and I was playing the mosque and I had an SKS with a bayonet on it. And I, w I was in Lebjance, like the spawn zone. I just got lucky, killed the geared guy. I was teaming up with some other random. Anyways, this fucking dude rushes me with a melee weapon and I gave him one of these. And it insta killed him. It like stabbed him straight in the head and fucking killed him. And it was like one of the most satisfying kills ever. And I was like so pissed that I wasn't streaming for it. So we gotta try that. He probably had like 75% HP though, or less. <gasps> we got fucking bogeys in the house. <gasps> oh, he's got the juggernaut helmet on. Fuck me. Did just see me, right? Oh my. What, Daisy? Can you fucking. Can we not do this right now? Guys, like right here. Oh, fucking shit! How are you okay? How the fuck are you okay, man? Dude, what? How are you okay? You just take that fucking fuck down like it's fucking nothing! I got one of these fucking juiced out plate carriers, dude. You know this shit's OP. Where the fuck you been? Get over here and kill me! I'm sick of Chanaroos! Kill me, dude! No, the fucking gun went! No! <laughs> what? I'm still alive, dude. I'm so sorry. I should be dead. Maybe you can hear me, but you, you fucking bested me, dude. You definitely bested me. <laughs> Dude, I've been if you can hear me, I've been having the fucking bugged gun whip all day, but yours fucking works, and you definitely won that fight. Sorry, dude. Oh, man. Okay, to be honest, though, the first engagement, I think I should have won with the fucking M16. The second engagement, he should have won. 100%. I think my plate carrier fucking saved me, and I don't know what the fuck the M16 was doing on that first one. No, I know who it was. Dude, I know when when Saramore like breathes into his fucking mic, I know it's him, okay? <laughs> I always know when he's talking. 
Uh, I'm about to get off, dudes. He's a good. I don't mind if you guys call him out. Sarah Moore's streaming some experimental, which is awesome. Uh, go check him out. He's fucking awesome. He doesn't breathe into his mic, but I meant like if he's even fucking around me, I can smell the guy. He's he's a good dude. Yeah, he's shit talking uh Chernaris. I know he's not the biggest Chernaris fan, but that's because he's played fucking thousands of hours of it like I have. And also you gotta remember, we've been playing on like a 40, 45 man server, so we're probably not getting as much action as uh we would like to, you know. Maybe I whiffed. Okay, whether I whiffed or not, you know, we should have fucking both blasted each other in that first fight there. Oh dude, he's got twenty rounds for us. Well, dude, he's got all the shit that we need. We could have had a truce and I could have uh we could have passed around the M16 for a few shots here. That's too bad. Dude, he's got everything that we need. There's fucking zombies dancing around outside. But yeah, I mean, I assume he might be going to bed the way that he sounded there. It sounded like he wanted to get off of Chinaris, but if he's still on, definitely go check him out. All right, so we got some pills. <laughs> He's right over there like, what the fuck? <laughs> Dude, my plate carrier is not even damaged. It's still worn. But what was that? So, where's his shotgun? What kind of shells did he have? Uh, seven. Wait a second. There's a slug, dude. I think he was using slugs. That's the problem. I was using slugs the other day, dude. This guy took two slugs point blank and he did not have armor on. Buck. Now, I think it was a mix of one buck and then one slug. Two slugs. Yeah, he had some slugs in there. Maybe one buck. I mean, you can't help it. You never know. Like, sometimes a slug just one taps a geared guy. Other times, you hit, like, a, f like a normal dude three times. So. He commented on it. Oh, he probably didn't realize that he had a mix of different types of shells in there then. Hmm. Okay, well, my HP is yellow. Get rid of this one. It happens, dude. Sometimes you're just holding R and you don't realize what you're loading in. I've been trying to do that thing where you drop, like, the biggest stack. Or, uh, you pick up the last biggest stack you pick up are going to be the shells that you use. That's good, though, man. Honestly, like, we need shit like that where you can dissect a fight. Like, that was perfect, actually. In a way, because then we're gonna be, look at that and be like, okay, is the is that where the plate carrier should be? You know, that's the type of shit we need in experimental. Oh yeah, the big M16 mag. What am I doing? I should have fucking known it was going to be a troublemaker when I saw him wearing a military helmet and then a dress. Oh no, dude, I could have stabbed him with the bayonet. I was close enough. Dude, what am I doing? That time when I missed, I should have just bayoneted. Oh my god. Fuck, I'm burping. I can't even talk. That would have been so badass, dude. Are you kidding me? Alright, I need a new shirt. 
Gonna let our HP go up. Could sit here and fuck around the inventory all night. Exactly, you get lost in the moment, man. It happens. Sometimes Daisy just takes over. Hmm. <sighs> okay, six extra shots, full 30 round mag. We can afford to reload the scout. But yeah, I mean, guys, if you think about it, like, I think they want the plate carrier to tank all the, like, non-military shit. I feel like the devs are really pushing for that. And he, yeah, he shot me with, a, like, a slug and a buck and a plate carrier. And as, you'll see that my shirt is fucked up. I think I should have lost that fight, by the way. But, you know, if the plate carrier is in the right spot and it's pretty balanced, it should save you from a shotgun. Um, however, like, I don't know, a point-blank buck and a point-blank slug? Maybe not. You know, I don't really know the answer to that. But in theory, it makes sense. Like, the best armor in the game should kind of, like, really help against civilian stuff. But military shit should still take you out. Oh no. Oh. No, there's another one. No. Okay, we gotta end at some point, dude. At least now we'll start fresh next time. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm awake. What the fucking How am I up so soon? Dude, how the fuck did I wake up so soon? It must be the new unconscious. How the fuck peanut, would you get up peanut, that peanut. soon? Yo, I'm on the roof. I'm on the roof. Did you get him? Yeah, he's dead. Alright, cover me. I'm gonna start banging on the roof. Hey, are you alive? She was still out there. Oh, he's out front. Gore. Gore. Oh no, <laughs> dude! I shot him in the in the fucking face with the neck. I saw the blood, dude. It's all good. I'm getting like so tired. We gotta go to bed, anyways. Dudes, it's been so much fucking fun. I'm glad we got to at least kill, like, one dude at the M16. Uh, I knew as soon as there was multiples, and I'm fucking blinking red HP that I wasn't going to make it out of there. Uh, I really don't think that he was buying that I was on the roof, as you can see. He was holding that angle. And he started bullshitting back to me, too. He was like, he was like, yeah, 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 it's me, man, it's me. <laughs> it didn't work out, though. All right, dudes, I got to wrap it up. Like I said, I want to host somebody that's playing experimental. Give me a few minutes to find somebody that can pick up where we left off. Um... Man, it felt so good to fucking turn and, like, blaze that guy up close, at least. Uh, it did not feel good with the first engagement with Saramore, but, again, I feel like we both blasted the shit out of each other. I must have missed the M16 shots. That would have been so sweet if we could have fucking stabbed somebody with a bayonet, though, and then just dumped, like, the full burst fire right into their chest. Uh, I, I don't know if the nades did any damage. Sometimes the nades go through walls, so I probably shouldn't have even thrown those. I could have fucking blown myself up. Um, but anyways, guys, what I should be saying is if you want to check out this update that we've been playing all day uh, for the last, like, 10 hours, all you got to do is go to your Steam library, download the Daisy Experimental branch, and then you can join a server like, you know, there's the Day 1 Experimental Chinaris, there's probably, like, the official servers. Um, the official servers actually have this thing where, like, you might spawn inland, and you might spawn with, like, some gear, I believe. So they're trying to push it, make it a little bit easier for you to go and, like, grab the M16 and test out the new update. So consider doing that, but I'd really appreciate it, too, if you guys filled up uh, the day one Shinar server, that way we can kind of get feedback and test and, um, you know, the admins can help us out if we have problems and we can try to get like a full 80 players in there over the weekend maybe and just try to play some normal Daisy, get into some good fights, test out the armor and the M16 and the zombies and all that stuff. So, you know, tell your friends, try to get it all set up at least for the weekend.
download experimental. Um, and yeah, do exclamation point update if you want to read through the patch notes, or maybe send the link to your buddies or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to head out of here, dudes. I'm going to check and see who's streaming and uh, we will pass the raid over and I will see you guys on the next one. Um, I'll make a post on Twitter before we pick back up with some more experimental. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for the insane support. I'm probably missing some guys here. We got, uh, oh dude, is it feeding? Thanks for the brand new prom sub, Leet. Thanks for the 13 months. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, Big Bad L, thanks for the 15 months. Um, still the best content on Twitch. Thanks for all the streams. Dude, I'm glad you're still enjoying them after so much time, dude. Um, it does mean a lot. The long-term subs help me keep doing this, man. Um, Gilbertus, thanks for the 33 months. We got Naked Chick. Naked Chick in a fight club. Naked Chick fill a fight club. Dude, thanks for the 34 months. What the hell did you change your name to? Or from, I mean. Thank you so much for almost three years subbing, dude. We got uh, Danosaur, Mr. Gucci. Botros, thanks for the big resubs. Wild Memester, thanks for the brand new prop sub, dude. Um, dude, Stony OG, OG is right, man. Thanks for the 51 months, subbing from pretty much the beginning. Hope you're doing good, man. Uh, we got Blueface, Pepe Smash or Pepe Smasher, thanks for the bits. Chit as well, thanks for all the bits, man. Uh, Blue Blazes, thanks for the the uh, four month resub. Oh. Damn, I'm missing all kinds of stuff. We got Coffee Dog with the gift that's a Black Cat, Crash Nebula, um, Bondioso. I think I'm all caught up. Thank you guys so much for all the insane support. Queen Nunzi as well. If you guys haven't checked her out, she streams a bunch of Daisy. Thanks for the bits. I hope you guys have a good night as well. Give me a few minutes. I'm going to find somebody to raid. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Um, yeah, have a good night. Oh yeah, um, dudes, obviously this is a great time to uh, pass the raid over, obviously, to somebody that we just bumped into. I think it's been a while since I hosted him. Um, we hosted him in the past. Awesome dude. Really consistent Daisy streamer. He's been doing really well lately on Twitch. Uh, it's been awesome to see his channel growing. Um, and he's actually, it's awesome that we bumped into him testing out Trinaris, or testing out Experimental, but now he's playing some normal Esker from the looks of it. So if you want to go catch like a normal Daisy run, not that Esker is really that normal. It's pretty fucking fast and action-packed, but uh, it's a lot of fun. And that's what Saramore's starting up with right now. He's only been on for four hours. Um, so that's surprising. I thought he was about to get off. But if he's only been on for four hours, maybe I can send you guys over there and he'll be on for at least like another three or four or something. So anyways, show this dude some love. Awesome streamer. Um, he's the guy we just bumped into that, you know, fucking we blasted each other. Um, let's just say we killed each other, to be honest. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.